try to explain what I'm going through. Give you something to read into in a million different ways. A sick version of telephone. Thought that the click was a microphone. A game we thought we had all outgrown, but still everybody plays. Ignoring all of the remedies, believing all of the rumors. With their endless database. I want to sit with my enemies and say we should have done this sooner. While I look them in the face Maybe that's the crack the case Kicking her husband out. His second wife is a talent scout. Finally got him caught. While she was throwing out all his clothes, she heard a voice from beyond the throats. Punish him for the life he chose, but forgive the past that he did not. It's really hard to hate anyone when you know they've lived through now once they've given you a taste she said this is for you to overcome but I will always love you in her perfect state of grace maybe that's the crack the case you want to ask of me I'll answer open and honestly whatever that means finding out that we occupy somebody else's opposing side on the banks of some great divide two versions of a dream countless revisions of history trying to tell us the future between each commercial break I want to call off the cavalry declare no winners or losers and forgive our shared mistakes you can pick the time 
I try to close my eyes, clear my mind, and just listen to the wildfire flow. Such whispers on the breeze, they don't come easy now. Over all this noise, I spent my youth among the pines. They used to sing a tune so fine. And the winds moved like an echo, carrying their voices. sway at all that ancient dance which is lost and the winds move like an echo inside and Starlight and sleep together form eternity, and the winds move like an echo. Is a world that I saw. <laughs> Hello, hi, hi. Sorry, I'm a little late. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Hi, everybody. There is music in the lobby. Sorry. Um, Gator, hi. Too early. Yeah, it always takes me a few. Chef Summer Rose. Aw, oh, man. How, how are you? I was thinking of you recently. You're a hitman. For what? Ozzy Welsh. Hi. How rude of me. And Capulli, hello, hello, hello. 
I'm sorry it took me a couple extra minutes. Um, I had to clean up glass in my bathroom because I didn't get all of it yesterday. So, um, I was about ready to, like, put on the small amount of makeup that I do. I realized that I needed to get the little broom and take care of the broken glass issue. So I had to do that. Plus, like, the timing of, like, eating before stream was a little bit later than I would prefer. So I just, my timing wasn't the best today. So that's why I was a little bit late. Sorry. Hi, Basil. Please don't go on the desk. Ozzy Welsh, how's it going? Bread? Bread slices are amazing for picking up glass. Huh. I guess because it, like, just mushes onto the glass and picks it up. I don't think there were too many tiny shards. I can just show you all. Because I broke my pipe yesterday like an idiot. And it... Like, I smacked it on the side of the sink while I was cleaning it. And now it is fucked. So there weren't too many tiny pieces. But I wanted to, you know, get that taken care of. So it was not... So I didn't have, like, sharp shards of glass on the same countertop where I have, like, makeup and stuff like that. It's basically learned that if you sit at this desk and start talking, I mean, she will get this. Um, so before, um, at the other house, she had her bed, there was a green, there was a green cushion, and that was her cat bed, and I purposely had it on my desk at the old house, and so she got used to coming up on my desk. And then after we moved, I kind of decided I didn't want her to be on my desk all the time because it's really in the way. So I've been trying to deter her from jumping up on my desk all the time. But she still does it because she's used to it from the old house. And then people redeem like giving her pets and it just like... Yes, it undo it undoes all of the progress. All the progress I've made in getting her to stay off my desk. Tamper tempered glass, you're good. Alright, good to know, Gator, thank you. 21st pilot, welcome in. How are you tonight? Um, I didn't I need to go grab a NOS. I didn't do that yet. So no jumping up. Um, so I I figured I would just we would just field trip it down to the fridge for a NOS. So I have like a real question for Pilot, anybody else. So in a chat, when you say like, I say, how's it going? Cause I guess that's like a proper greeting in America. Um, and you say doing well and you, are you, are you saying that like the same way you'd say that in person, like in passing on the sidewalk to somebody when there's those people who are like, hey, how's it going? And that's that that whole mouthful of words is the greeting. Or are you saying that to actually answer it and to in actually inquire about my well-being? Because I really never know how people intend that phrasing. I also cleaned my water bottle this evening, which I also shouldn't have done because that was the worst possible timing for that. But my water bottle was disgusting and I just was fed up with it and I had to clean it and now it's just so much better. It's your genuine and simple way to respond and inquire how you are. Thanks for entertaining my question there. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm here, I'm existing, I'm fine. As good as usual, I don't know. I never know what to say with that because also Every person who comes in all says, like, some variation of that. Because I'm always like, hey, how's it going? And then people are like, oh, I'm good and you. And I just, like, I'll be honest, some streams I get, like, kind of sick of coming up with ways to phrase how I am. Because, <laughs> well, I overthink everything. We know that. We know that. I 
socially awkward, so that's the best I can do. We're all socially awkward here, which means that nobody is socially awkward. Maybe. maybe, maybe but also maybe not. Ooh, upgrade. Fancy. The how are you was always challenging for me when visiting North America. Mm-hmm. Yes, you have to learn how to answer it. Me too, because it's a like it's a it's like more of a call and response. People almost never are asking, oh, how's it going? Because they genuinely care about your well-being. Our neighbor at the rental house, um, before people other people moved in there, before he sold his house and moved, anyway, his name was Josh. And he was totally one of those people who would be like, Hey, how's it going? Well, like, and he and I would, like, neighbor chit-chat while working on our yards and stuff. Every fucking time he would get me. And I'd always be like, oh, yeah, I'm doing okay. Or I'd be like, oh, like, I would, like, I'm, I'm autistic. Everything is literal. Like, I would always answer how I actually was. So this guy probably thought I was, like, the weirdest person he's ever met. <laughs> so dumb. And we are playing Stream Raiders since we are... Hanging at the computer desk tonight. If you'd like to join us in that battle, you can. You're uh, just type exclamation mark battle in the chat to join. Is it true that if someone says what's up, I could just sort of say what's up in response in the US? Um, maybe. I'm not the best person to ask for that because I I didn't grow up here and I'm autistic. Like all the cultural norms are foreign to me. I do care, unless you're Carrot Top or Celine Dion. That's true. That's true. Busy, busy in response. Hi, Cypher. That is that is a good one. Like, some good re default responses are like, busy, busy, or like, the usual, or, I don't know. What are, what are good responses for that? Eh, mouse, please work. Sorry, I'm adding a quote real quick. Um, yeah, if you say busy, busy, then you don't have to specify whether it's good or bad. Because the person doesn't care anyway. Wait, you didn't grow up in the US. No, I did not. Um, today, I'm normally fucked up. Hi, Carl. Am I forgetting something here? You're not forgetting anything. You, maybe you just don't know. Maybe it hasn't come up in a bit. Nothing much. That is a good, a good, like, proper, properly acceptable response. What's up? You can all, yeah, you can also say the sky because people say that and that's supposed to be the, like, snarky response. Look, Gator, I like, I like, I like your, I like your wording, your words there because that is, those are two very, not two, it's one important thing to know about Gator. He does care, unless it's Caratop or Celine Dion. That's the best way to get beaten up. Can be. Depends, it depends on who's asking, I guess. Depends on who's asking. Um, oh, NOS. We gotta go, get, we gotta go field trip for NOS. Let me bring up the field trip camera thing, camera screen. Get this going. Um, and that's droid cam. I have like five other phone camera stream things I wanted to try out. And I, wait, what? Why is that all? Why is that weird? Start. Flip the camera. Okay. All right. We're going to get NOS, everybody. So, you know, seatbelts, buckle up. We're going to run to the refrigerator. Field trip. There it is. Sometimes you need to take an ass open to gauge the optimal time for the use of those responses. You're winding up vintage mohair yarn. The fuzziest thing I've touched a month. What was the fuzziest thing you touched last month? Hmm. Um, but yeah, come with me. We're going to the refrigerator. I'll try not to make anyone seasick.
kind of figured out that the key is to hold the phone up high. Um, oh, we have the new thing of NOS that we have to open. Like one of those fridge pack things. Ah. This is going to come off in pieces because I'm using one hand. Great success. Ta da! Ah. We don't have sound effects. All right, all right. Then grab a koozie to keep the drink cool. The usual. All right. Use one hand, so we'll just do it upstairs. Hi, Basil. Okay, fine. Back again, back again. What is it? Home again, home again. Jiggity jog. That's that's how it goes. I'm back. All right. I hope. Hopefully, somebody enjoyed that. A cat, obviously. All right, just Jay. Just it could it could be anything. Could be absolutely anything. Velku, hello. Field trip. We did. We had to go get the the Noth for tonight. Twenty first pilot. Thank you. I really like this house. Like I understand why the people who lived here. Who were the original owners? I understand why they never moved because this house is amazing. Multi packing, we don't fuck around. No, we don't fuck around with the NOS. We are serious. It's because I, I, at first, I was the only person who drank NOS in the house, and then Dan started like sneaking some of them. So then he just started buying like the, the box of it because he drinks it in the morning instead of coffee. Which is not great, but, you know, gotta choose your battles and all that. Belku, how was your Sunday? Multi-story house. It is, um, it's like a tri, a tri-level or a split thing. So, like, I don't know how to explain it. If you, you can see from the outside, which I guess there's pictures of that on the album, exclamation mark house, but... Oh, you're gonna kill, you're gonna kill Jaws. Wait, what? Gator. Thanks for hanging out, but I want to know more about this Jaws thing. Um, but the only part that's upstairs is like three bedrooms and a bathroom. And then there's like the main level, which is just the living room, dining room, and kitchen, and the garage. And then the downstairs is like a family room and an office and a bathroom. And then there's the basement, which is like one area, one area that's not, it's not the whole house basement. It was a smooth switch to field trip. <gasps> was it? Was it, Christian? Thank you. Thanks for noticing and thank you for saying something. Also, hello and balloon Dan. Welcome, friends. Welcome. Energy drinks are play. I agree with you, pilot. I don't like energy drinks. Only this one. Um, Oddwells, there is, it's not so much house, but there's an album if you'd like to see, um, exclamation mark house will bring up, um, a little bit of information and a photo album of pictures from, from the listing. Oh, you got it working. Yay, balloon in, that's excellent. Did I know, did we know that you streamed? Did we know that? I don't know if I knew that. Um, about to go drop a follow over there for sure. Not cool at all. I see doing 
Oh, you're doing balloon science in just chatting. All right, interesting. Let's go one bit. OBS crashed there. Oh, but you did do some in science and tech. Science and tech, that's the good shit. Usually stratospheric balloon science educational stuff. Sometimes just hanging out, chatting, or playing games. Excellent, excellent. Ah, I can't... I'm having one of those days where I can't get my mouse to click in the right spot. It snowed all day. Did it really? Oh, wow. The shark. Yeah, I know. I know... I know Jaws is the shark, but is there like a Jaws computer game? I didn't know there was a game. But yeah, I don't think it was known. Yes, get that shadow. Everybody go follow Dan. He's he's such a lovely member of the community here. He is newer. He's only been with us about a month, but he jumped right in with both feet and he's got he's got a lot of good stuff to contribute here, and we like him a lot. I'm gonna be streaming tonight. For only three seconds time. Oh, for the second time. Oh, really? Oh, it's for NES. I see, I see. Basil. You make me nuts. And I think, Cypher, I think I already follow you, so I will find out when that happens. Uh, it has nothing to do with the movie. Oh, interesting, interesting. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I do love the the real wooden floors here. I do kind of wish we'd had some, like, just, you know, an extra $10,000 lying around to, like, redo all our floors, because I thought that, well, we don't want to put new flooring in. We love our hardwood floors, but it could have been nice to have them, like, Clean, not cleaned up, but like they need some TLC. Like the finish is faded in a few spots. So like it would have been nice if we'd been able to like do a sand and put a new varnish on the floors, but we didn't have dollars for that at the time. So maybe later on. I really think that the the wall phone is the shining star of the house. Basil, I'll give you a hug. The game was made before the movie. What? How? That's weird. Does the phone still work? Um, I I assume so. However, um, the number is not in service because like the pre the previous occupants of the house haven't lived here for a little bit. So. I assume it works just fine, but we don't have a phone service hooked up to it. I would love to figure out, like, a way to, I like, it would be cool to route, like, our phone calls through our cell phone to that just for funsies or something, but then you still have to pay for the landline and all of that, and it's, like, super novel and fun, but maybe more effort than it's worth. Like landline or you make income. Um, there is a landline. Um, there is a like a landline phone. It's a rotary phone built into the wall in the kitchen. It's it's in the photos under the exclamation mark house album. If you want to see it, but um, this house is also fully wired for intercoms too. Um, don't lay your head on the keyboard. Okay, lay down. No, you can lay down here, but. Um, but yeah, so it also, you can also see in the pictures, there's, stop hitting the keyboard with your head. There's, um, what is the word I'm looking for? There's metal panels on the walls in a lot of the photos. And those metal panels are to cover up all of the wiring and housing for a new tone, in, a new tone intercom system throughout the whole house, which is really fucking cool. But the um, previous owners just never actually installed them. And I think it would be really fun to hunt down a, like, 1960s Newtone intercom system and install that shit. Uh, does the phone service, they'll come check it for free. 
I mean, yeah, I'm, I am confident it probably works, but again, we'd have to get phone service. So you need free PBX. I don't know what free PBX is, and I don't know what a, what is a call manager. It, Dan, it totally is a time capsule house. Yes, it's a single owner time capsule house. Um, the original owners, um, it was built for the people who lived here before us. It was built in 1963. We have photos of, of all the rooms in the house during construction. It was a single owner time capsule. Everything was kept pristine and original the whole time they lived here. It is amazing. The next best thing could be those old old time handsets that plug into a mobile phone. Uh, kind of. I mean, I'm not like dying to talk on a old, old style phone just for the sake of it, but I just really like the novelty of it. You grew up with those in the house. They are cool to play with. They are. We had a rotary phone when I was growing up at one point. Basil is very small. She's a little bitty. So I'm fine. Oh, yes. I'm very into all things mid-century. I have been since I was, I don't know, probably around 10 or so. The device you plug from a landline to a cell phone that lets you use the mobile service like a bypass. A bypass. I see. I mean... I'm, I know there are things that exist to allow us to use the rotary phone with with cell phones. I know that those exist. I'm just saying it's not a big enough priority for either of us to actually go through the effort to make that happen at this time. Because, like, like all like all good millennials, we try not to talk on the phone unless it's really necessary. The new tone intercoms are cool to play with. I've never seen them. I don't know what they even look like. Vintage stuff is the best. It's true. Fuck it. What? Fuck it. Rip it out. I'm not ripping up. Gator. No, you are wrong. An operating system that manages phone lines and extensions and stuff. A call manager interferes between the internet and the phone lines. Uh, or interfaces between them. I see. I see. I know, I know there's lots of things out there to make it work. I just, I just don't think it's really a priority. Yeah. At least like maybe down the line, we might be like, it might be a fun like little project to get that working one day, but this is just not a priority. Don't talk on the phone unless I absolutely need to. I'm sure, like, I'm sure, I'm, I'm guessing that all of you feel the same way. The, personally, the intercom system would be a higher priority than the phone. Because we are really bad about, like, yelling across the house at each other. And I, I really hate that. It's such a terrible habit. But intercom would completely fix that. Velvet blacklight poster from Marilyn Monroe doing the steam pose, wearing a Dodgers bandana like a bandit. What the fuck? Where do you come up with this? That's why it just takes up space instead of being used. Uh-huh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yep. That's why. Um, Capulli, I see that you sent me a message on Discord, but I am going to not click on it because considering the link to your merch thing is in your about page, just post the links in Discord, like, regular channels, or post them in the Twitch chat. You don't have to send me that directly. Oh my gosh. That's so funny how Mark's name got messed up on his race. That's so hilarious. I don't often talk on the phone, but when I do, I pace in a circle around the living room. My partner, he is a pacer, a phone pacer. Cause he'll get on he'll get on the phone and then it's just back and forth back and forth i'm always like can can you stop or can you go somewhere else i i'm a doodler while i'm on the phone because i sit i sit down usually like if i'm 
if I need to call like the doctor's office or some place where they're going to be giving me information, um, I generally do that from my desk. And I, so I sit down here and then I get like a piece of paper or a notebook to write down whatever information they're going to tell me. And um, so inevitably I end up just like scribbling or drawing little designs and stuff. I don't know if my guys will do much, but I'm dropping warriors and paladins. Excellent, pilot. Thanks for thanks for joining the battle. I appreciate it. I'm just happy to have people jumping in because I haven't run stream raiders in probably like six months. We're winding up 40-year-old mohair on it. How is that pronounced? Nostipin? Nostipine? I don't know. That's such an interesting word. Of undetermined age, so I'm really, you, yeah, you really are, you're deep in it with the vintage fiber arts, but that's fantastic. That is the right tools for the right job, 100%. Okay, it's like, what's this? Well, she's just in the way of everything. So this is, this is a puzzle I picked up yesterday. Yesterday we went to the mall. Um, I wanted, I needed socks, so we went to Big Sporting Goods so I could get the socks that I like. And then we, like, did a lap around the mall, and they have... Um, there's a store that's like puzzles and like games and all that stuff and I saw this and I thought it looked like fun so I thought that I would try it out and we could see how it goes. I didn't post it because it always needs a disclaimer how it's not for monetary gain and so on. I see. You should write that out with the link at the bottom and then you can just copy and paste that every time that you need to. Or if there's somewhere in the shop to write about things, then say that or put it in the description of every item. No idea. That's fine. The internet knows, I'm sure. Oh, tweezers for plastic wrapping. I had these to pick up tiny pieces of glass. But yeah, you gotta have something to get the plastic going. Internet delivers. What is this? Oh my god. Why? Why though? Why does that picture need to exist? You went to the mall? Like what? Yeah, we we have a weird thing. Like we never go to the mall like ever, ever, except like once a year. And it's usually in January, February for some reason. We end up going to the mall and I bought some socks. I got a pair of sweatpants and a game. Because we're always like, we need, it started, so it started out because we both need, need some new pants. And so we were like, let's go to the mall, I guess. But we keep forgetting that the mall is not for us anymore. We're too old, generally, to buy most of our clothes at the mall. Some things, okay, but not, not pants and stuff like that. So, you know. Caged animal, welcome in, welcome in. How's it going? Happy day after your birthday. You got the desk together and set up. Congrats. Oh, it's supposed to be written... Oh, with the special... The special O. How, Carl, do you know how that's pronounced? Have a good one, Gator. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, the texture of all these papers and stuff is not good. Also, I'm fucking cold, so I'm going to close these curtains. Because it's, it's cold outside, and I haven't closed the curtains yet. All right. How to support those local jobs. Oh yeah, we're all about supporting local business. All about it. We live in a place that has actually quite a bit, quite a lot of local businesses and we are, we're lucky enough to live here in like, sometimes we call it a liberal hippie oasis because it is a very liberal area and people are super into supporting local business and Farming and organics and all, all of the shit. 
Sometimes it's also called the Portland of Illinois because it, it really is. Reminds me, you've got a piece of stag that was going to be a knife handle until it drill blew out that side. It could be repurposed into a pipe with very little worth if you want it. Oh, little work. Um, maybe. How does that even work? Are you offering to send that to me and then I have to figure out how to make it into a pipe? Or are you offering to make it into a pipe and then send it to me? Wikipedia offers a Danish spelling, but it's nearly the same. Nostip, is it? I just don't know how to pronounce it from those letters. I need like the phonetics. Shelving to go on the desk. The hometown of Hal 9000. Oh, the, what is this place? Champaign, Illinois. We've got that. They're really proud of that shit. There's a water tower way, way, way on the other side of town that says like something about innovation. I don't know. You could say it like you and luck. So an uh sound, but it might depend on dialect or whatever. I see. I get Yes. Champagne or Brana. Close enough. Same thing. Cage, you'll get it eventually. Just get some shelves up on the wall above your desk. That's what I did. You adore the balls that it makes. Oh, those are answers. Oh, no, I don't want to give answers. Instructions. Each logic links puzzle is categorized by four levels, which identify the difficulty of the puzzle and shape of the solution. Each puzzle indicates which colored chips to use. Use the clues to arrange the chips and solve the puzzle. Yep. But between does not imply order. So a yellow chip between a blue and green chip. Oh, right, right, right. One chip does not touch another chip means the chip does not touch on the sides, top and bottom. I see. Well, let's keep going with this. Oh, you've got a drill press and it's already got a hole drilled down the center. So you can do a big hole where it blew out. I mean, I'm game. I'm game to give it a try. Adventure. Rickhan, welcome in. Hi. Hello, hello. How are you this evening? Who had these? Who had these as part of some game? And what game was it? Like... What 90s game was it, like a board game, that had these? Because the, like, I opened this and I saw these and it, like, took me way back, but I can't quite place what game that was. The little pipe news palette would. Yeah, Gage, like I said, do whatever you gotta do. Piddly wings. I never played that, so it wasn't that. Uh... I don't want to, like, rip the nice paper. I know I'm sitting in Makers and Crafting, but, like, we're definitely not doing any crafting yet. You used to see that bingo event at the Catholic school. Yeah, you could use those for bingo. That's true. That's true. I don't know. It was, like, I was th I'm thinking of, like, a regular, like, classic board game. Like, when I say classic board game, I mean, like, all the Milton Bradley type ones that we played as kids, not all the shit now that they have in called board games. Gambling. Gambling is bad. Don't do that. And yet, so many churches have bingo. I'm just checking something. Yeah, let's give that a shot. Hmm? Now shit. What? What? What does that even mean? I wish that this could show up better. It says use one blue chip, one green chip, and one white chip. So let's try this. Let's try this. That's kind of annoying, though, that it you can't really read it. And I... Mm, 
do I dare zoom this in more because I don't want it to get fucked up. But then it's not going to focus, really. Sal, thank you for gifting a sub to Gator. Enjoy. Enjoy flexing that uh, founder's badge. One, we are one step closer to the cooking stream sub goal. Can't like so bad, I hurt myself. Oh, wow. That's a bit, that's extreme. Yikes. I wasn't even thinking of like real gambling. I was thinking of like how when my mother was growing up, she wasn't like she and her siblings, they were not allowed to play card games because cards are used in gambling. Like they, they weren't allowed to play card games even if it was like not face cards, like like a deck of cards, since deck of cards is used for gambling, they couldn't have those, but they also just couldn't have like any card games, which is ridiculous. Blue, we need a green, nah, and a white. The blue chip and the green chip do not touch. Wait, you did this, you did a second one. Oh, I think my alerts are not on here for some reason. Oops, that's weird. Um, thank you for gifting that to Pilot. That's so nice. I shall squander this gift here. <laughs> I suppose it's yours to do with as you please. I think, I think Basil, Basil just wants to be where I am. That's why she's plopped here on the desk. She follows me everywhere. She follows me everywhere. Um, like if I'm staying, I was standing in the bathroom getting ready for stream and she was just plopped right next to my feet, sitting there waiting. I took a shower earlier and she just sat there on the floor in front of the heating vent. So I think she just likes to stay there because it's the warmest spot, but I don't know. Maybe 27, it's not that much in the US. Oh, in Istanbul, you can buy an apartment with 27K. Let's, uh, Raycan, let's, let's convert that. I'm curious, let's take a look. Basil, you're in the way, currency converter. Let's see how much that is in US. Um, what what is the oh turkish lira is it lira is that the dollars so 1355 turkish lira is one dollar in us just trying to get us to the cooking stream hey i appreciate that effort i really do i i would really like to have this happen i would really like to have the cooking stream happen like I don't know, like the first weekend in February. So then there's padding between cooking stream exciting time and like my birthday. Video suggests the O sound is a bit like the word learn, like an er or an I sound. Okay, weird. 10 days St. Jude. 10 days St. Jude charity, 24 hour stream. Come by, donate, fuck off. Got it, got it. Is it 10 days long or is it in 10 days from now? The blue chip and green chip do not touch. The blue chip, so blue and green don't touch. And the blue chip is on the left of the white chip. So I think it's like that. So let's check the answer to puzzle one. Yes, that's the answer to puzzle one. It's blue, white, green. But I feel like this doesn't translate to being fun on stream. I just wanted to like open it because I got it and I didn't open it. This is interesting. Hi, Jomzy. Hi, buddy. What's going on? What is interesting? 
They removed zeros from the Turkish Lira. The paper money used to be in the thousands. Interesting. Yeah, so 13.55 Turkish Lira is one US dollar. So if you said, you said that was 27,000. So that is, that's just under $2,000 US. Just under $2,000 US. So still, that's still a pretty, reason, pretty big sum to be losing in gambling. This logic puzzle game that is clearly going to get more complex rapidly. Yes, yes it is. Because um, I thought it could be fun, like, I don't know. Because pe I know people here also like puzzles, but it's not so fun when, like, you all can't see the card and read it, and I don't feel like holding it up like this the whole time. So I'm not sure what the answer is to that problem. Oh, wait, are you saying, are you saying 27,000 in US dollars? Because that will buy you far more than an apartment. Yeah, the Zimbabwe thing is really messed up. Yep, I uh, remember hearing about that. Well, that's a lot. That's a lot. I don't really gamble ever. When we used to go to Las Vegas um, in the summertime, sometimes I would, I'd, I'd spend like $50 at slot machines and then that was it. <laughs> Cause I don't know. I feel like you have to, you have to have enough money to be able to gamble and I don't have money. So I don't gamble. So we need purple yellow and a green. So this says neither end is purple. I think that means the purple goes in the center. The purple chip is directly on the right of the yellow chip. I think that's probably what they're looking for. I'm going to shake this and make these little chips like fly off of the paper. I think that's what, I think that's probably the right answer. None of the shops I went to even accepted it. They took you a seller. Yeah, I've heard stuff like that. Somewhere, somewhere I have a stash of like some foreign currencies. Like when I moved back here, I still had some money in my wallet. So I have some like PNG Kinas and Toyas in a wallet, in a shoebox, in another box somewhere. There might be some like Australian currency and some stuff that's in between here and there. And I figured like, hey, well, if and when I ever travel again, maybe these will be useful. If not, then they're memories. The hyperinflation in 1920 Germany that if someone left if someone left a wheelbarrow full of money in the streets, a thief would leave the money and take the wheelbarrow. Why? Why is that? I don't, I don't, I guess I'm not up on my 1920s German history. I know like stuff was brewing and everything. And that was like World War, World War One, or right after World War One. I, I forget the years exactly. Do we want, do you guys want me to do any of these? Because I'm can. I'm also fine to like fuck off with these and not subject anyone to watching me do these. Cause money, oh, the money came totally worth this and it happened quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, like the, was it? I'm trying to think. There was like one specific day where like the stock market super crashed for the Great Depression and stuff too. The first Great Depression, am I right? <laughs> Replacing the peso with new coins. You lost a few hundred dollars. Oh my gosh. Because Mexico should consult Gator before they do anything. Live your life. I know, I know. But that's the thing. That everyone always says, like... Do whatever you want, which is great. There's a cat here, like one of those really fine ones, like stuck on my mouth somewhere. 
People always say like, oh, do whatever thing you want to do, which is like cool, great. But I really like to get input from people. So like when I ask, it'd be great if people would say, if at least some people would say something about it. And then other people could say, do what you want. But I don't mind do what you want if it comes alongside other things, but whatever. Do a couple more. Okay. Okay, I will. <laughs> um, okay, so this is three and four. Yes, so they're two-sided cards. This one is use two white chips and two black chips. The white chips do not touch each other. You're right, Jomsey. These are going to get exponentially harder very quickly, like now. Oh, dear. So two black chips and two white chips. And school starts tomorrow. I I had big plans for myself today. I was gonna like, I was gonna get up at a somewhat decent time or something. And I was gonna like look up to see if I need to actually order any textbooks. And I was gonna, I was gonna fill out my FAFSA paperwork for financial aid, because I still haven't done that. I should have done that in October. And I, didn't, I did not do a goddamn one of those things. Or I, our, con, our condolences tacos. Oh my gosh. It is like the matchstick game. That sounds kind of familiar, but I don't know if I remember that one. So the white chips do not touch each other. The chip on the right end is black. So this one is black. I'm assuming it's this. Because the white chips do not touch each other and the chip on the far right end is black. Yeah. You ordered a new ergonomic pillow. What makes it ergonomic? I can get people on the other side of the world to do stuff. You have powers. Don't abuse them. Um, yes, white, black, white, black. That's correct. I love your cat's colored basil. Yeah, she's got, she's not like the most exciting cat colors, but she's pretty cute. Okay, so this is two white chips and two red chips. I could just use two black ones, but I will dig out the colors. What was the name of the game again? It is called Logic Links. I can just I can just put the lid on the box and then people will be able to see it. Now I can't get the little bag open because I sealed it up. Way to go, me. Um two white. Oh, we need two red. Here we go. These little, uh, these little chips, they're so satisfying to like, like, if you had a big container full of them, just like digging your hands in them would be so satisfying. Kind of like, um, the Craft Reuse place has this, but if you've ever like seen a big collection of buttons and they're all in a big container and you just like dig through the containers of buttons and it has that, it makes that very specific sound, and it's just really satisfying. These remind me of that. Ooh, so this one says, it gives you one clue, and it the clue is neither end is white. So obviously, that can only really do one thing, right? Yeah, like a tin full of buttons, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That one was way too simple. The other side of the pillow is split into two main chambers. The one that goes under the neck is slightly stiffer. And the two chambers also form a slight pit at the center where the head can rest. Interesting. I would be interested to see like the product page for that pillow. I'm just curious how the chambers, like how that all looks because I, 
I like my pillow. I just, yeah, the space between like where the pillow is and my neck and stuff, it always ends up like there being a disconnect between like the pillow and then like my neck gets like weird angles and like my neck is really messed up, so. It has a similar construction to the one you got from the physical ther physiotherapist years ago. I see, yeah, ergonomic pillows. There's a lot of different ones out there. The foam support pillow. My mom had one of those where like the part where your neck goes is a little bit, it was like a little bit higher up and then the center part where your head's supposed to lay was a little bit like lower and it's supposed to be ergonomic and stuff. She always liked it. I, I don't know if I liked those types of pillows, but they were like memory foam or whatever. Hey, Acres, what's going on? Yeah, for upper back and shoulder, which is indeed fucked. Same. Um, oh, this is purple and orange. We'll do like, we'll do a couple more of these and then we'll do something else. Um, two purple, so one purple, one orange, two purple, and two orange. I just, like, I kind of want these to, like, try and get a little bit challenging, but it hasn't yet. But we're also only four puzzles in. Yeah, uh, Acres, did you get snow like Zell did? Zell, how much... How much snow did you get? Or is it not done snowing yet? The good side with the pillow is that it's not a block of foam. Feels like a normal pillow, just stiffer. I do like me a stiff pillow. Let's take a look. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Basil, you're gonna push buttons on the keyboard, come on. You got eight inches of snow, wow. Wow. I feel like we should be getting that here. We're supposed to have the snow, not you all down south. I'm curious, like, what that type of pillow is called, because I've never seen one with compartments like that. I've just never seen it. Both ends are the same color. Basil, move. Both ends are the same color. The left end is purple. Oh, well, that's stupid. It just tells you. <laughs> okay, that, that's a bit simple. How many red ones are there? There's a few of those. Ay, ay, ay. Come take it, cap all you want. We have one single inch of snow on the ground. And the rest of it's gonna melt as soon as the weather is like 30 degrees and the sun comes out. Two purple chips, one blue chip, one white chip. They sell those kind of markers and one a thousand packs. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure they do. I think um, maybe it was like teachers using these to help with like kids learning math or something. Maybe that's what it was, I don't know. Two, okay, one purple chip is directly to the left of the blue chip. Eh. So that's what this is saying. The other purple chip is directly on the right of the white chip. Oh, well again, if they don't touch, then it's gonna be like that, right? Double check. This is what six. Yep, that's that is in fact correct. Should we do another red one or should we skip to the next level of these and see if it's tricky? Or should we just get the fuck on and crochet? I think I want to try one of the green ones. Oh, these do get harder because back here there's all these other things. Um, oh, so once you get to puzzle nine, okay, hold on, maybe we'll go, some of these look like they will be harder, so we'll do like 
two or three more. Throw yourself into the deep end. Just go to the most difficult parts of the deck and suffer. Why, why would I do that? That sounds scary. That sounds scary, Jonesy. Is that what you would do? Are you a jump in feet first and floundered, figured out later type person? Because I am not one of those. I tend to be friends with a, I tend to be like very good friends with a lot of people like that, but maybe we end up being such good friends because I like it's a good balance. If they're jump, jump in the deep end with both feet, ask questions later, and I am like, well, let's do the research first and approach with caution. I am absolutely not one of those kinds of people. I see, I see. I wasn't completely sure. I didn't think so, but you never know. Um, okay, so we need two green ships. Two green, one red, one orange. I need like a little container for these because this bag all the time is not great. I think I should have a little jar. Mm, this one still has weed in it. Looking for an empty weed jar. Uh, that has weed in it. Is this one empty? No. What did I do with it? These all have weed in them. What the fuck? It might be in the other room underneath a plant. Let me go grab it. One sec. Da, da, da. Isn't it? Where the fuck did it go? Huh. Weird. Oh, I have a teacup. Maybe the teeth will work. But it's very dirty, so never mind. Not the teacup. All right. I am overcomplicating this. I'm totally, totally overcomplicating this, and it's really dumb because here's what I should have just done. Just dump them in the lid of the thing. Like, be done with it. Jesus. <sighs> Yes, cages go with the flow. Yes. Nice and toasty. No ice like they expected. That's good, though. Ice makes everything really pretty, but so fucking dangerous. Nah, all the weed boxes are full. That's a problem to have, too. It is. I bought, I bought all that, like, maybe a couple months ago. I, I smoke my weed slowly. And now that my pipe is broken, I smoke no weed until I get a new new thing. So um okay, so we're doing this one. The green is on the left. Green is on the left of the orange chip. The other green chip is directly on the right of the orange chip. The orange chip is on the right half of the puzzle. Oh, I don't need a blue chip. Why am I holding on to that? Two green, one red, one orange. So this one is trickier. It's trickier. Green, a green chip is directly on the left of the orange chip, like this basil. I'm gonna put you back on the floor. See, this is the thing. It doesn't work. Um, the other green chip is directly on the right of the orange chip. Oh, so they're just saying it goes like this. Red, green, orange, green. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's all they're saying. Seven, yes. Um, also, how, how was the movie night thing last night? Was that okay? I don't know how those are supposed to go. I've never um, attended a Discord movie night thing anywhere ever. So I hope, I hope it was acceptable. 
and if people want to do something like that in the future again, I mean, we can, but I will make sure to ask somebody I know who regularly hosts a Discord movie night thing, and I will ask them for more information about some things if it comes up again. So this is one green, one orange, and one purple. I thought it was good until the power went out here. Oh no! I noticed you left at some point, so is that what happened? The power went out? That sounds terrible. The green chip is not the center chip. The orange chip is not the center chip. The purple chip is directly on the right of the green chip. Oh, interesting. But green is not the center. Green is not the center. There's only three of them. Orange is not the center. And purple is directly on the right of the green chip. Hmm. Oh, that makes purple the center chip, right? Yeah, because these are not the center and purple's to the right. Okay, well. Um, green, purple, orange, yep. Okay, I want the one that was getting harder. Four, five, six, seven. Um, this is three greens and two orange. It was only, I was only out a few minutes, but by the time everything came back up, I was already in bed. Oh, I'm so sorry. That, that really sucks. Uh, nothing, nothing ever goes a hundred percent smoothly, right? I don't think anything, I don't think, I just don't think it's possible to have everything go perfectly without a single hitch. And Kapule, I don't know if the issues that you were having, I don't know if those ended up resolving themselves. Sorry that you were having difficulties. I can try other things in the future if it comes up, as I said, but at a certain point, at a certain point, I was just like, I had, I really had no interest in, tur in turning it into another troubleshooting evening. And I, I got really anxious for a few minutes that that's what was going to happen. <laughs> um, okay, so three green chips and two orange chips. No chip touches another chip of the same color. Okay, that means it's just like that, doesn't it? Green, yeah, that's exactly what that means. Okay, fuck this. We're skipping to green. Skipping to green, and we'll try one green. Oh, maybe purple. Maybe purple is after red. And then, um, then we'll actually, like, do some crocheting and stuff that I had planned to do. Hopefully this content is interesting enough for people. Like, I don't know. Trying things out, like, just want to stream and do whatever it is that I was already going to do, you know? I think it's about time to relax here. That means... I have to step out into the cold in my boxers. Oh dear. I think that's what a bathrobe was for. Like those fuzzy warm robes. I think that's what those are for. Don't freeze too much. Can't you just crack a window, Acres? That's what I'd do. Three black. Three red. And one purple. And one white chip. Oh dear. This is serious. This is the next level as I jumped. Puzzle 51. Okay, so there's like 50 cards per level. And we just skipped like 40 levels. It is, but you have to find your bed again too after a couple more puzzles. All right, Carl. All right. Happy to help you with that. Too many kids in this house. That's fair. That's fair. 
How many kids are there? I don't remember how many kids you have. I know it's two or three, something like that. One red chip touches only other red chips. I think that means that it's on an end. A purple chip, the only purple chip, is directly to the left of and below black chips like this, like that. A white chip is below a black chip. One red chip touches only other red chips. So that means it's a corner. The reds go in a corner. I think let's, let's try something here. To the left of and below. What? <gasps> Christian! What the what? Thank you for the resub! 12 months! One whole year! That's so exciting! Yay! Thanks for, thanks for, for being here all this time! No, Basil, please don't jump up here. That's so exciting! I really wish that I could look and be like, Christian has followed me since whenever, but he accidentally unfollowed and then refollowed on January 19th last year. But Christian has been a friend since like my first month of streaming. Purple is directly to the left of and below. A black chip. So these go here. Basil, why? Um, a purple chip, a white chip is below a black chip. Oh, so that doesn't work. I don't want to, no, I don't want the answer. See, when this red, red, black. Almost a year since my unfollow fuck up. Almost, almost. Anakin, welcome in. Meow, meow, welcome in, friend. Oh, left, I thought it was right. The purple chip is directly to the left of and below the black chip. No worries, no worries. Basil, you're distracting. You are not helping, honey. You got to go down on the, on the floor. Sorry. Uh, let's uh, get this taken care of real quick. Watch time. Seven whole days. You've lost a week of your life to me. How does that make you feel, Kapuli? 14 days. Zell, you spent two weeks of your life in this channel. How does that make you feel? Anakim, you spent one day of your life here in this channel. How does that make you feel? Four days, acres. How does that make you feel? Nine days. Wow, this is great. This is great. I never thought of it that way. At least it's not heroin. There is that song by that emo band, Boys Like Girls. I am a big fan of them. And that song where they're like, I could be your hero and you could be my heroine. And I used um, modifications of those lyrics for my MySpace page. <sighs> oh. Said like, like you could have your header at, for your MySpace page or whatever. And mine would say, and mine said like, I think it was like hero forward slash forward slash heroine. But I left the E off of heroine at the end. Because I wanted it to be like the drug, but also like the song lyric, because that made it cool. Makes me feel like I don't support you enough. I don't know. You, you can support me whatever way you want to that feels adequate. So I'm tempted. 
I don't know. I feel like, I feel like there's some way to turn that into a testimonial. Like, after spending, after spending 14 days watching this stream, Selfie's only response was, at least it's not terrible. <laughs> Considering you don't live my time zone, seven days is fairly alarming. Is it? Did my mic fuck up? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can hear me now though, right? Because it, it looks correct on my end. It's back. Okay. Once in a while, it just gets so angry. I didn't even touch anything. I didn't mess with the wires or anything at that time. Oh, I need to place a unit. Oopsies. So level three. Let's let's put these down here. Oh, so we have to get this. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's go back to the stream thing real quick because we get a um this power up thing. A collectible a collectible power up that makes units go pew pew more effectively than before. I forget, do those help everybody or how do those work? Let's do this. This. And don't place things here. Or there. All right. Let's let's just try that. I don't know if I'll ever really get the strategy of this game. There's an interference sounding noise. What? Like most tech issues, it only happens when you're not looking. Duh. Every single one. Every single one when I'm not looking. How annoying. Is there still an interference type sound? I made sure my noise suppression filter went back on after, after we had cat purring ASMR last time. It comes and goes. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey, hey you. Gotta go. Go somewhere else. Okay, so one red chip touches only other red chips. A purple chip is directly to the left of and below black chips. You cannot sit there. Your little tum tum is so full of food. I went to pick her up and she got so much heavier than last time. It sounds like a wireless signal interference, like someone was texting you. I have no text messages. I forgot that texting could interfere with that some of that stuff because, like, I haven't heard that in a long time, but as soon as you said that, like, that brought me right back. And it's that little, like, but, like, not quite like that. What an oddly specific sound that everybody immediately knows what that is. A white chip is below a black chip. So that's the tricky part. One red chip touches only other red chips. And then a purple chip is to the left of and below black chips. A white chip is below a black chip. So maybe we need to move these over to the left of and below. So if this touches only other ones, tricky. Mm -hmm -hmm. I knew you were receiving a call before the phone would ring. Wait, what? How? It's like when someone drops a TI-83 calculator in math class in high school, and we all knew what that $400 calculator sounded like when it hit. Mm -hmm. I heard it as soon as you, as soon as I was reading that. You got the solution. Okay. Don't give it away yet, because I want to still try and figure this out. Now I feel like I should be better at these puzzles or something. <laughs> hmm. This is the type of thing that would make like a really great phone game. I would, I would play hours of that on my phone if it was a phone game, but have it be non-digital is definitely better. 
One red chip touches only other red chips. The purple chip is directly to the left of and below black chips. So I think this could be a different corner, perhaps. If we put these back over here, then... But that whole thing where it's... Um, the white chip being below a black chip. That gets tricky. Doom 7071234. Not to be a dick, but are you a real person? If so, please let me know. Just because there's a whole lot of numbers back there that make it look sus. Hi! Hey! Hey, they're, they see, they, they talk. Welcome, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. I do genuinely appreciate that. And I appreciate you saying something to let us know. I love you. Well, we just met. That seems a bit strong. The cell phone will make noise in the computer speaker. Oh, I never had that happen. Is there a way to get the camera closer so the fine print is visible? I don't know. Maybe if I put it down, but... Um, it's just tricky because then I'm moving all this shit. And then it shows up in the other camera, which I don't like. Not, not really. It's a little bit close, but I can't, can't get it any closer. I mean... Still blurry, but it's not legible. Is your hair on the mic? My hair is probably on the mic. Let me let me move the mic to the other side of my shirt collar. Maybe this is better. Because when my hair is in the way, and that happens a lot because I default to putting my hair I didn't give a kiss in the first place, then. I didn't give a kiss in the first place, so the again there is going to be weird. Okay, use some traffic lights to make you kind of dumb. We'll fill up the lights to capture. It's not better. What? Is it an issue with the sound quality, or does it keep like, doing that thing where it makes that all sound? What it like? What exactly is happening? Nobody chomped the cable. White chip is below a black chip. Left of and below. Hmm. This is gonna be dumb. I think maybe I just. Cipher is this thing? Is this what you. Seems like the cable is bad. It's pretty. Bad. Okay, let me. Let me listen to this video so I can see what you're talking about. Give me a sec and I will give it a watch listen thank you for oh I saw it just do that thing with the cord I think I got it. yay it's probably right but I will it's a lot because I default to putting You're right, that is too bad. Yeah, you guys are right. I can see that it's doing it right now. Let me undo this. So I have this little doodad. Set that there. Let me change how the cord is wrapped around to go into the receiver. It's like the VHF radio of a sinking ship. Wow, thanks. 
Nothing moves. Yeah, because I unplugged it. I unplugged it for a second. My goodness. Harsh crowd tonight. Let's see. Let's see. Never mind me. I never do. I never do, mind you. Let's try it again. I mean, it's possible that, like, maybe the, the there's something disconnected in the cord for the actual, like, lapel. Okay, I have plugged it back. Uh, why? Why was it, like, nonstop freaking out there? Is it still doing it even though... And it's bad again. Just when I'm regularly talking and it's not um, doing that thing. Right now it's okay. Yeah, so when I'll sit here talking, like, I can see the sound bar. And it shows, like, the green going on the sound while I'm talking. And once in a while, if that cord does its weird thing, then it, like, red, the whole audio bar goes red. So I know when it happens. I'm just, yeah, like, it does that. It's something with the connection. It's so weird. It makes no sense. Because I was just, like, moving the cord around, and it wasn't doing it. But as soon as I go to, like try and clip the receiver onto my pocket, the transmitter, clip it onto my pocket, then it freaks out. So yes, it seems like it's very touchy. I don't know what, I don't know why, and I don't know what to do about it. Uncertain. Um, this is 51. White, purple, black, red. Yep, we did it. We did it. All right. Should we do more puzzles or crochet? If I had like a super HD camera and like a way to make it so it didn't show up in this camera, that would be better. Puzzles, all right, all right. I wasn't sure if people like those because like it's not in focus the way I would like it to be. Sorry, it's not in focus. Because yeah, I'd have to pull it, the camera down more. I shouldn't care because you need to go to sleep. Yes, Carl, you are you are up past your bedtime, but you're a grown ass man. You can do what you want. I just got here, so I didn't get to, pay, to play. Um, I got this game yesterday called Logic Links. So it's just logic puzzles with these chips and these cards. So they give you the clues about where to put the chips. I think it's fun. I think it's fun. But I don't know if other people think that's enjoyable. A little bit past. Have a lovely sleep call. And I hope, I hope the start of your week is kind to you. Thanks for being here. It was lovely to get to chat. So take care, be well, all that good stuff, and sweet dreams. So 52. Both ends. Oh, this is going to be turned and that's not good. Both ends of the top row. Hold on, let's situate the chips first. We need two blue chips. Uh, three green. Three green, two yellow, one red. Three green, two yellow, two blue, and one red. All right. Both ends of the top row are blue chips. A yellow chip is surrounded on the left and right by green chips, like this right here. The bottom right corner is green. The, or the red chip is directly to the left of a blue chip and to the right of a green chip. So that means like this, I think. Ah, oh, there's a cat hair. Of course there's a cat hair. Like that, I think.
I'm not sure if others were playing along for that one or not. Yes, that is that is the correct answer for that one. Um, 52, 53. I don't know. I think I think maybe we should crochet. Just because I want to get some of that done. The answers should have been behind the cards. The answers are in this booklet that basically tells you like summary of how to play it and then it gives you the answers to each puzzle. That's how they have it. Oh, there's 166 puzzles total. Wow, so this is, wait, 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 wait. That's green. That's like, okay, so I guess, let me double check which levels are what. Does it in here? Yeah, so red, purple, blue, then green. So the last puzzle in the whole thing We'll just skip all the way ahead, John Z. I think this is what you were after, jumping into the deep end. Two yellow, two black, one green, one blue, one purple, one white. The green chip is adjacent to and counterclockwise from a yellow chip. The purple chip touches only black chips. The topmost chip is directly across from the white chip. And neither black chip touches a yellow, the blue chip touches only yellows. That looks like it could get complex. There's cat hair all in this box now because it's everywhere and static. That's why we can't have nice things. Christian, how's your, um, how's your apartment going with the cleaning up and renovations and things? Are the chips edible? They are not. They are absolutely forbidden snacks. They're 100% forbidden snacks. They look like they should be, don't they? Oh man, I know, right? Mm-hmm. Totes, forbidden snacks. They're really nice. Apparently, um, Carl said you can get like a bag of like a thousand of those on Amazon. So if you really need them, if you really need them, they do exist out there, but please don't actually eat them. I don't know. Those could be like a fun channel point redeem or something, maybe. I just kind of wish I had a better way to get it, the camera to focus on that. It'll come the other side. Oh my gosh, that's so gross. Hopefully. Yeah, you hope. It's going well. You got rid of a bunch of garbage and clutter and ran to the towel cutter. Yay! That's exciting. Did you take any before photos? Because I hope you did, because that before and after is going to be so satisfying. Let's bring this up. Oh, my iPad is going to die. I got to plug that in. Ooh, where's the cord for that? Shit. Um, that's, that's a very good question. I think the charger for my iPad is downstairs because I had to charge my phone during the movie night. It is. It's downstairs and they did not bring it back up. It's a headphones cord. I don't think I have any backups. Ugh. All right. Mm. So tomorrow you start finishing a couple of rooms. Ah, that's so exciting. Time-lapse videos. Man, the time-lapse videos are so cool. I... I just never, ever have the forethought to do something like that, ever. Which is a shame. Okay, I don't want to put this back up the way that I had it, which was like this. And I'm going to zoom back out one. I think that's kind of how I had it. 
Yeah, because then when I end up like working on portrait over here, you guys can still see it. But yeah, it's not as high quality look as this camera. It doesn't look as high quality as I would prefer. Also, higher because I don't want it showing in the other camera if I can help it. I try to have like one met one metric ounce of production value here. And yes, I know ounces are not metric. That's the joke. Yeah, no, this is gonna be all borked. I guess that'll work for now. A reasonable amount. Wait. Oh, a re yes, a reasonable amount of production value, which isn't very much, but I do try. Um, yeah, I wish I, I never think of doing like before and after pictures or time lapse things until I'm at least halfway through the project and then it's too late to have done that thing. So that's, you know, kind of annoying. I think um, we might field trip again because I gotta go get that charger. Can't crochet if I can't see the um, the pattern. Uh, so let's droid cam again. I have a suggestion that would that would give a noticeable improvement to the video quality, increasing the bit rate from twenty five hundred to forty five hundred or six thousand. Uh, okay, Pooley, how do I do that? Is that something in OBS? Happy to give it a shot. Ismail YT Gamer, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Something in the streaming software. Hmm. Settings. Um. Output. Um. Bit rate is 25,000. So you're saying to up that to 4,500. Let me try it and we'll see what happens. So it's at 4,500 now. Let me know how that looks and then we can go from there. Does this show you the bit rate in the set like in the stream stuff somewhere how do you do that let's take a look keyboard shortcuts advanced is it in the video stats 4502 yeah is that better does it look better yes in the video stats i just found it um, is that better though? Does it look better? I don't know things about this stuff, so um, yeah, go off of what y'all are saying. All right, so let me start this. There's less artifact when there's movement on the screen. Oh, all right. Let me, I'll up it again. I'll up that again. Because why not? And then we'll see how that works. We'll see how that goes. See if it helps. I don't know. I just, um, I didn't know there was artifacting with movement in the stream. So that's, that's new information. And I didn't know, I don't know what I was going to say. I was just hoping it would be something that would help with this stuff looking grainy and being able to read those cards when I put them in here. All right, switch that. All right, we're gonna go run downstairs to uh, get the charger. So come along with me on another field trip. And I will look at the chat when we get back. Why is that really dark looking? 
Hold on, I feel like this messed up. No, it's still showing. Okay, that's weird. It's not showing my screen. So I can't see the view that you all are getting, but it is showing. So we'll just go get this and be right back. I need that charging cord. The one plugged in right here. I think droid cam is about to get fired. Meaning I'm going to prioritize using something else. Because this is not great. I don't like that I couldn't see what I was showing you all. And then, yeah, that was not great. At least now the cameras can put out the best quality possible. Yeah, that's always, that's always good. That's always what I hope they will do. All right. Hi, Dad. Yeah, he's uh, cuddled up with Fiona on the couch. He's watching some football, which he doesn't really ever watch football except for sometimes on Thanksgiving and then like Super Bowl. All right, close that. I think the video feed looks calmer now. My stream is already too damn calming, jeez. That's a joke. Um, when you say it looks more calm, what do you mean by that? What? Yeah, what does that mean exactly? Got scissors, crochet hook, other hook, yarn, head of snail. Body, pot, most of the body of the snail. Okay, so once again, the key thing here is that I have, I have to make sure that I mark off when I have completed a round. The pixels are not constantly changing on the screen when it tries to compress the image to fit that. I see. Interesting. See, again, things I know nothing about, so that's, that's good. <laughs> I feel like I probably wouldn't even notice the difference if I were to go like look at a clip from the original bitrate. I guess it was 2500 because I've never messed with it. I've never changed that in my settings because I don't know anything about bitrate. Um, 54 to 55. Do two of those. I see, I see. Um, yeah, and it's battle time, so we're just gonna go for that. And get that going here in like 35 seconds. So if you haven't placed your unit, place your unit now because you have 30 seconds. I was about to start it early, but I don't think I will. I'll just leave it as it is. The biggest improvement is games, uh, where there's a lot of movement on the screen. That makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> Almost time. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Now go. What? Or with things with many particles. Yes. Capuchin, what is that supposed to do? I think also my alerts maybe don't work right on this screen, but I'm not sure why that is. Yeah, there's stuff missing from this for some reason. I'll try again on the other screen, yeah. I, 
I need to double check that this scene has all the right stuff that it's supposed to have because it very well may not. I'm I'm also skimming the um, ASMR and I'm pretty sure I'm the only person sitting in this category not licking something. Yikes. Boba Binks, hi, hello, welcome in. How's it going tonight? Back to the map. Good job, team. Ooh, what's this one? A gold chest. Yeah, very hard, but we want this one. So let's let's fucking go. I'm gonna get crazy and use my war beast. And let's do this. I'm gonna do that. So don't place things in these areas, I guess. I don't want to do like all the battle planning, but I just, I would like us to win. <laughs> okay, let's put armored in front. Um, okay, move that out of the way. Put your armored ones in front. Don't put the rogues in front. Rogues should go behind some things because they can fly and do whatever they want. Oh, it's supposed to spam capos. Okay, when I get back over there, you can give it a shot and see what happens. Um, yeah, you put your tanks in front and then you put your melee units behind those. And then our, like, distance units are behind those. And then you, um, fill in, like, support stuff in between all that stuff. Like, like this. I guess I'm putting up battle planning anyway. <laughs> Ugh, my mouse. Sometimes it's a real struggle. But that's a me problem, not a mouse problem. What is that pink blob? What is that? That's so cool. Put some support in there. Put some support in there. Hopefully that's good enough. All right, let's go back over here. And then, um, Anakin, if you want to try that, again, you can. I don't know if I have that enabled in Stream Elements. I might not. Um, I, I can, but I guess I just never really felt the need to be able to spam Kappas, like... Like, what, if you spam a bunch of them, like, what does that even mean? I don't know. I don't want to go, I don't want to be fucking around with stream stuff right now. I really don't want to be doing that, y'all. I want to work on this snail so I can have, have a fucking hope of getting it actually completed at some point. Um, so we need two rounds of single crochet all the way around. I'm gonna leave a stitch marker in here. Oh, come on. What, why? What is the wink for? What is that for? A Pansia's channel. That is their winky flirty emote. But why? I was smart enough. It was smart enough to not show them. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. It serves no special purpose. Ew! Ew! Capuli, please don't be 
one of those. Please no fedora wearing mouth breathing nonsense. But why? Like, it's just like the sarcasm face, right? But that particular face, to me, it always feels very, like, sarcastic, but also like, yeah, okay, you're fucking stupid. Like, it always seems very, like, de like a negative connotation in, like, a mean kind of way. Maybe I'm reading way too much into it. <laughs> and I don't think, like, any of you are saying those sentiments. I'm just saying, like, that's how the, um... That's how the emote looks to me. Where fleet! Hi, hi, hi! Welcome in, friend. Glad you could make it. All right, let's get cracking on this. Where fleet! How are things this evening? I gotta, yeah, I gotta make an effort to like work on this more regularly so that it gets done. And so that I, you know, stay in practice with my crochet abilities. Because I worked hard to get to this point. It would be a shame to lose that skill I worked hard to, to learn. That's why I like Bob. There's positivity in it. I guess. I guess. Oh, you don't know what cabbage is for either. It's all like weird gamer bro speak slang stuff that I don't know anything about and I don't know that I even care to. You accidentally kill some fish. Oh no! Oh no. What happened? I got all the guppies out of the tank finally. It took days. Kill some guppies and other fish. What happened? Tell us about, tell us the story where. Talk to the fam. We are here to listen to you. We're not sure if it's capitals that it spawns. Maybe it's random emotes or selected emotes or whatever. My sleep schedule is dead than help. Can relate. Um, I think it might be a bunch of random emotes. I think it spams like random uh, Twitch default emotes maybe. Something like that. F. Seriously. That sucks. When I had my saltwater tank, a couple of times that we found dead fish, um, it turned out that one of our other fish was killing them. But I don't think that's what happened here because a whole bunch of reasons why that's not what happened here. But hopefully, hopefully it's something that isn't going to um, be an ongoing concern. Poor fishes, poor little guppies. We drain the tank down to almost nothing and it's stressed out oh, the Remino's Tetra. Oh no, that five of them died. Five or six guppies also died, but they jumped out of the tank and holding bucket. And a few of the hatchet fish also jumped out during all the stress. Oh my gosh. You missed three also, and that took two more days to catch. Jeez. That's a lot. What, uh, why were you draining the tank down in the first place? Fish need water, so I mean, I, I can understand why they were very stressed. Guppies are very cute. They're just big, fat, old battleship ladies, and they're bigger than the rest of the tank. Makes sense. There's cargo shorts and cargo pants. I'd like to see a cargo scarf. I think I have seen a scarf with pockets, actually. Uh, they put the pockets at each end of the scarf. But that can be dangerous because the scarf will strangle you if you put too much stuff in that pocket. They bully the rest of the fish and compete for food. Hey, that's the way, that's the way it works in the ecosystem, man. Alpha's do alpha's doing alpha shit. It is intraspecific competition, but also interspecific competition if you want to get technical. This started with three that came with plants, and you pulled out probably 30. Yes. Guppies are notorious 
for feeding for breeding incredibly fast. There's a book, there's a, like a children's book where that was like a bit of the storyline. I want to say it was like the book of Mr. Potter's penguins or something. I don't know. It was one of those kind of books. They're getting their own tank out of friends from a different stream. Okay, but why were you draining the water out of the tank? We still don't have an answer to that. <laughs> to catch them. Oh, okay. So you drained the water so you could catch the fish to give to your friend. I see. All right, that's one row. Got to mark off. And then on to the next one. Yes, they are fast and sneaky. The last one was so fast and sneaky, she took a day by herself. At a certain point, there's a certain point I think where it's just not worth the effort. <laughs> This might be one of the times, considering how many fish got, how many fish were killed in the process. Um, also, um, so I mentioned at one point before that the house, the house directly across the street from our house here, um, went up for sale, like, I don't know, it went up for sale like a while ago, but nobody wanted that house. Uh, college, college CS prof. Hi, welcome. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. I assume that means you teach computer science at a college level. <laughs> I would wager. Welcome, welcome. Glad you're here. Yes, it does. Very nice. Very nice. The university here, where I live, has a very, um, a very, very good computer science program. This is a very ineffective vi Victorian contraception device. What? What? Completely, the fuck are you talking about? Mm, one pregnant female will just continue the infestation. That's fair. That's fair. I mean... Are you okay with that? Do you want different fish? A crocheted condom. What? Are you are you looking up strange things on the internet or are you asking me a question? Cuz this is going to be a snail and you know that. Oh yeah, yeah. So anyway, the house across the street, it had been for sale for months because no one wants that fucking house. It was built around the same time as this one but it has had a whole bunch of different owners over the years and it has been remodeled multiple times and in different uh, and in different decades, mostly like the 80s and probably 90s. So the house looks very like mismatched and Frankenstein inside, which it just is not good. Um, and then finally, somebody, some, a couple bought it and yesterday, they finally came with their U-Haul to move into the house. So that's exciting. We're getting new neighbors. They look to be, like, youngish, like, in the, in the same age bracket. So that's nice. And their cars, they had two cars, and their cars had Colorado license plates. So that's also interesting. I have no idea why anyone would choose to move from Colorado to here. I would assume probably something to do with the university because everything is to do with the university here. But yeah, it was neat. I, I was working on something in the other room upstairs here and I was looking out the window a bit, but I didn't want to like get too close to the window because I didn't want them to see me and think I was being nosy because I wasn't being nosy. I was just curious. Apparently they have a smoker because they brought a smoker out of the U-Haul truck and took it around to the back. So, so we'll definitely have to make friends with them. 
you know, to get in on that barbecue in the summertime. We do not have a smoker. We have a regular little Weber grill, which is fine, but I don't know. Our grilling stuff is super low tech. Miss Al, why are you tagging me on Discord? Come here. Make bad jokes, but not this bad. Yeah, I don't know. But I guess, I guess, was that supposed to be a joke? Because it felt a little bit like a dig. Which house? The copycat sellers? Yeah, the, I guess. What do you mean the copycat sellers? Grab his binoculars. I'm a bird. Cuckoo. <laughs> Amazing. We do have binoculars. We have two sets actually, but those are in the dining room. Those are in the dining room because that's where the big picture window is. So that's like the better spot for looking at birds, which is usually what the binoculars are for. I was trying, I was trying to see as they unloaded the, the U-Haul, I was trying to see if they like had any cool mid-century furniture because like I really hope I really hope like it would be amazing if they were people who are also really into mid-century stuff because like maybe then they will be like oh yeah our plan is to like fix up this house and bring it back to like its proper glory and like make it look how it's supposed to but I have no idea no idea and they they may also be like us and be first-time homeowners so they have like whatever random furniture right now because they haven't lived they hadn't owned their home yet so we will find out we were trying to think of like a good way to like introduce ourselves to them or something because it seems weird to just go over there and knock on the door and be like hi we live across the street welcome that seems weird right the one who was put up for sale after you bought yours. Yes, it's that one. Directly across the street. Um, it, yeah, it went up for sale, like, very shortly after we went under contract for this house. And um, there was an Asian family who lived there, and then they moved. And this couple was moving in. And they moved in. They moved in yesterday, so Saturday, and it was exactly two months to the day after we moved into this house, because we moved in November 15th. <laughs> what if they're like the evil version of you and Dan? What? Or the good version? Oh my gosh. What? Here's to help your channel. What? What? College CS Prof, are you fucking serious? Thank you. What the hell? But um, thank you, that's um, extremely generous and kind of you. Holy shit. Thank you so much. Um, that will definitely go to use. Stream, how should we use this $100 to improve the channel? Give me our suggestions. What can we do with that? Or the, the good version weed. No, I have plenty of weed. If you were here earlier, I was looking for a container. And I was like, oh, I have a weed jar. And then I went to look and they were all still full of weed. So we have weed. That's not it. Archangel 31415. Welcome in. Hello, hello. I also have plenty of yarn at the moment. <laughs> Truckload of those colorful buttons we saw in the puzzle game. Oh, the, the chips, the puzzle chips. Um, college CS Prof, do you have any suggestions or um, ideas for what you would like done with those funds? Coffee, I don't drink coffee. I like lots of um, I like lots of things. I like when streaming. I like trying to improve my stream and make it better. Um, I like gardening and plants and 
learning. School, whether I like school is eh. Uh, I like I like most most things. I don't know. I never have a good answer for that. How about that cooking stream? Yes, we are working towards a sub goal for a cooking stream. The menu for that cooking stream will entail quiche. I don't know exactly which type of quiche yet, but we will be having quiche and um, a type of pie that um, one of our subscribers here share the recipe for the secret family recipe in his family. A new mic. This mic actually was purchased with funds from viewers like you to your local PBS station, which is me. Um, and we bought the Rode Wireless Go, these, Rode Wireless Go 2. We bought that set up, I want to say like in May of 2021. Maybe... Maybe I'll spring for a new um, lapel mic, because then that will give us a new cord, and that will help. Let's let me look that up. Let's look that up and see how much those are, because I don't remember. Let's take a look. What are you making? I am making a crocheted snail. Um, I forgot to put the picture up. So this, this little snail. Um, we are making it in the colors of my emotes. So if you look, we have um, we have follower emotes if you decide you want to follow the channel that you can use in the channel and we have subscriber emotes and all that. We have a green snail. So I'm making a snail that looks like the emotes. Strapless minimalist male outfit. What? Just slide it on and step out. Wearfully, what are you talking about? $50 by Bannerlord and the rest for buying energy drinks. What is Bannerlord? A dust cover for your dog. <laughs> Amazing. Since I'm new, you can choose. Just you. All right. Thank you so much. That was quite a surprise. It's a game, but never mind. Oh my gosh. I know, Oddwalls. Same. Being new doesn't mean you can't suggest things, does it? Nope, that's completely correct. New people can suggest things, especially if you, um, if you just like made such a generous donation to this channel, then yes, your input is absolutely welcome and 100% appreciated. All right, let's go to... So the, um, lapel microphone thing for this is it's like $68 so but I mean it's not proprietary so you know Archangel thank you for the follow um I do play games on stream sometimes I haven't done it for a bit just because um I I'm not as good as at engaging with people while I'm playing a game. I try. I try really hard, but it's a lot more difficult. Um, so I haven't been playing games, but it does it does happen sometimes. And sometimes we do community game nights where we play Jackbox and code names and what the dub in a lot of group games that everyone can participate in. We just we just did that actually last Friday. We did that last Friday, and last night we had a movie night in the Discord server. Um, yeah, maybe maybe I'll just replace the lapel mic. I'll have to take a look, because I know they're not proprietary. I can just get one, plug it into this, but um, if anybody is really dying to do some research, I'm looking... I would love to find a, oh, there's a pop filter for that. I would love to find a, whatchamacallit, one of these lapel mic things with the wire, with the, the wire, the cord, um, with the cord, I don't know, if there's one that boasts that its cord doesn't fuck up, that would be great, but I don't know if that exists. Which I missed. Uh, oh, the movie night. Yeah, it's okay, Cage. A lot of people missed it. We only had like six or seven people, so it's all right. 
And he did it because um, that's what you you all, the community, that's what you wanted. You wanted to have the movie night. So that was that was our previous sub goal was the Monty Python and the Holy Grail movie night. I'm always up for ideas and suggestions. The people kept talking about cooking stream, so that happened. Oh, that was the second the second row. So we need two single crochets and then a decrease. Oh. How how do we do the decrease? Where is my paper? I have a I have a piece of paper. Oh, it's right here. That describes. It's like a cheat sheet for all the crochet stitches <clears throat> because writing things down is how I remember them. I love your hair so much. Oh, thank you, Archange Archangel. Thank you so much. I I do too. I wasn't I wasn't sure about blue when I went to the salon that day, but then I'm now I'm a very big fan and I really like having blue hair. Here's what you have used. Ah, oh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's one that came up in the search results, but um, I don't know how that works with my setup, so we'll see. We'll see. I don't think that would work with my current setup. Because the, the microphone system I have, the Rode Wireless Go, it plugs in with that 3.5 millimeter plug. I could also just replace it, it's not a big deal. We showed another wireless transmitter a while ago. Is it the same we're using now? Uh, Anakin, do you mean like a few minutes ago? This one that I showed? This is the one I use. So the setup, it has two of these. There's two of these little boxes. Like this is what I clip, I, eh, if it will show. Yeah, it has this clip. So I clip that onto my pocket of my jeans and then it has, a little plug-in and that's what the this microphone here I put it down my shirt well I'm wearing two shirts but I put it like under my shirt and then I run it through my back belt loop and then plug it into this which is clipped on my pocket um can you try to use this box instead of the other one that's that's not the issue and I know that's not the issue um yeah these boxes are not the problem because we've been having this, the issue with it freaking out periodically, that's been happening for a while. And before I started committing to boundaries and setting time limits for streams, which I don't know why it took me so, took me well over a year of streaming to do that. Um, like my streams average six or seven hours. <laughs> and one of these battery packs lasts about right at about five hours so I would normally that's why I got the wireless go to because I had two of these and at like hour five when the mic would start dying I'd unplug this one and plug the new one in so that we could keep going <laughs> to make sure the problem is like yes I have already done that I have already done that it's definitely it's definitely the the microphone and the cord not the transmitter i appreciate i appreciate the looking out but yeah that has already been done and i love 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 that johnny can use emotes right now he was generously gifted a three-month subscription so that johnny could use emotes and i just really love that yeah, we'll find something good for that. I was, I'm still looking into like uh, a stream deck and stuff because I, something of that sort would be really useful for me. Um, but yesterday I learned about this app. What is it called? Touch Portal. Does anybody know about Touch Portal? There's an app called Touch Portal and apparently it's supposed to work like a stream deck, but it, through your phone. So... I'm gonna look into that a bit. See how that goes. Oh, 
if you're up for soldering, you try and fix it yourself. Wow, that would be interesting. I, I learned how to do soldering in like second grade. Um, and I don't remember a goddamn thing about it. But um, my dad taught me that. And then, yeah, I don't know anything about it. But I think it would be interesting. If I ever do anything with my keyboard, I have to get a soldering iron set up because I'd have to unsolder and resolder the switch. What are some of your favorite things to make? Oh, I don't know. Oh wait, I did three, hold on. I'm not sure. I like to make all sorts of things. My favorite thing to make, memories. Um, I don't know. It's hard to pick one because I just genuinely enjoy everything. <clears throat> um, I really enjoyed the miniature house that I built last winter, about this time last year. There's pictures of that on Instagram, which there are links to in the about. Um, that was really enjoyable. I really liked making the hat. That was really fun. Um, last summer, we built, I made a hat because Cage asked if I knew how, and I, or he asked if I could, and I was like, I don't know, let's find out. I guess I could grab it and show you because it's on, it's on that, that shelf back there. I can go get it after I set this up. Uh, let's do... Oh wait, that one's all boosted up. Well, let's try this. And if that's a terrible mistake, then it's a terrible mistake. The battle! I know, I know, I got it. I was deliberating. Here's the hat that I made. We made this in August. It's a men's flat cap. Made This is a prototype. It's a prototype, like a mock-up. So that's why it has stripes and potato fabric, because it's not the final item. And I, if I were actually making it, I would change some things about the design, but yeah. Oh, that's really crooked. Why is it sitting so crooked on my head? It sits like really, really short. It needs to come down here, but it is what it is. It's a really comfortable hat though, so that's nice. Yeah, I don't know if I have a specific favorite. Crochet is nice. Um, it's one of those things that's really satisfying and it's relaxing. And so like, if you churn out a little, a little, uh, it's easy. Crochet is nice because it's easy to churn out little things that are very satisfying, like little Amiga Rumi things. <laughs> Let's see. Let's give Pecos that. And let's do that. That is awesome. It's all right. If the hat was Donegal tweed and potato fabric, it would be a true Irish hat. It really would. It really would. I still, like, I still want to get more of this potato fabric because I really want to make shorts out of it. Whatever you decide to do with the donation, make it practical. I will. I, practical gifts are my favorite, so I certainly would try. Stream is down. What? Uh, yes, I'm seeing your message. Everything looks okay on mine. Drop frame zero. Huh? Let me look. Let me look. It's running normally for me. Yeah, everything seems fine on my end. OBS is not reporting any problems. Uh, yeah, I think... 
advanced video stats. Yeah, everything seems to be okay. Yeah, uh, Anakin, it might just be you, friend. Sorry about that. Oh, my contacts got really dry all of a sudden. <laughs> I refreshed and it's back. Yes, uh, Anakin, I think that was a problem on your end because no one else was reporting any issues and I wasn't having any issues either. Oh, this is level four. Be critical. Oh, this is hard. Whatever. Um... Let's do that and that. All right, cool. Good enough, good enough. What? Weird, even, even the side pain appeared? What side pain, what do you mean? You're currently working on a scrap yarn gray squares. Oh, neat. Um, is scrap yarn just the leftover, leftover, whatever amount is left on the ball of yarn or the skein of yarn? And you're just using that up. I am checking the temperature because it's fucking cold in here. Yeah, that's fine. Just as I was like, wow, it's cold in here, the, the heat kicked on, so. The one when a person is offline. I'm not sure if I know what you mean. If it's small enough, wait, it is the small amount that's not enough for anything new. Oh, okay, okay, I know what you mean. So this is two single crochets and then a decrease. So we're ready for the decrease. You put the hook into stitch one, yarn over, go through, hook through into the next one. Yarn over and pull through. Should have three on there and then you yarn over and pull through all three. All right, so we do this all the way around. So this is the start of the end of the snail's body. This is exciting, y'all. This is like actual fucking progress. We may get an actual finished project out of this. Those are very rare here. Very rare indeed. Two, and then a decrease. So we go in there and then out into the next. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, go through all three. I should, uh, I'm going to stuff this a little bit more before I go any further, actually. Just to make sure, because this part feels like it needs more materials in it, because, yeah. I know, Christian's excited. This this uh, snail is going to be for Christian um, because back in October, that was when we were celebrating my one year of streaming, which was actually in September, but we did in October. And I gave away two crocheted snails. There was the big one, which is this one, and there was the little one, which was already completed. Um, but... It is carefully in a box because I wanted to wait so I can have a picture of both of them together. And then that one, the small one goes to Zelfu, so that will go out when I finish this. Things don't, things, things happen when, whenever they're meant to, I guess. What is that, what is that line from the Lord of the Rings? Like that Gandalf says, where he's like, a wizard is never late. He arrives precisely when he means to, or something like that. That's how, um, that's how things work here. They happen precisely when they are meant to. They're never late. Ugh. 
or something. And then you gotta put all, like, you gotta work all this stuffing a bit, and then, then you can put it into the thing. There was also something else earlier today that I saw online somewhere. And I was like, oh, that would be a good thing to talk about on stream. No idea what it was now. Not a fucking clue. Sometimes I think that I should make notes about things like throughout the day to bring up on stream for us to talk about. And then I don't do that. I don't know if that's good or bad or what. A just question, my liege. Late is the hour in which this conjurer chooses to appear. Wait, what? What? What is that from? Since it's a quote. Something like that. Mm-hmm. But what is that one from? I'm not familiar with that quote. All right. Put this back. And carry on. Oh, it's also from Lord of the Rings. I see. I never really got into the Lord of the Rings and all that stuff. Saw some of the movies. Never read the books. Because my whole family read them read all of the books so many times and never shut the fuck up about it that like I can um, float my way through a conversation about Lord of the Rings stuff and make it seem like I've read them and know what I'm talking about. I use black beads for the eyes. Um, I'm not, oh, I have, I have like actual safety eyes for, for crochet. I bought a set uh, when I was, making all of these. So I'll probably use those. And I actually, that reminds me, I was thinking, so if you remember, oh fuck, hold on. I'm gonna lose track of which stitches I'm on. I'm ready to do a decrease. Let me do this decrease real quick and then I can ans I can say the thing I was thinking of. Um, go in there, yarn over. Through here, yarn over, and then this. Okay, um, the thing I was thinking was, um, so if you remember on the, the little snail that I made, that one had the eyes that were like the post and then the, the round sphere shape on top of the post, like like the emote actually has and the pink snail which is for this pattern that one does not have eyes in that style i wanted to figure out how to how to use the other pattern for the right style of eyes and convert that to whatever i need to do to make it be the right size for this if that makes sense You didn't read the books either. You watched the movies in the order of two, three, and one. You stopped reading when they met the horse riders and spent like 10 pages on introductions. Yeah, all that shit is so unnecessary. So highly unnecessary. Okay, so we did a decrease. We need two single crochets. And the, this is the reason why it's hard for me to crochet on stream because we'd get chatty, which is the best part. And then I lose track of what stitches I was on. But I'm trying hard to not fuck it up. So hopefully it will come out okay. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. So you're not going to be streaming as much or... Uh, or what, Pilot? What are you referring to there? Give me the context, please. One, two. And then 
another decrease. Um, you said last stream before school starts. So are we going to be seeing less of you? Um, not necessarily. So, so here's the drill. Here's how this works. Thank you, pilot, for the reminder. Um, yeah, so I am a full-time student. Um, school starts back tomorrow for the spring semester, the spring term. And, um, so how that works with streaming is that for the first week of school, I always say, like, don't expect to see as much of me because I need to, like, focus on school and get all that sorted out and get situated and figure out all of that stuff. Um, however, however, the, the other side of that is that the first week of school, um, if you might remember, the first week of school is always kind of a breeze because there's no real assignments yet and, like, there's nothing going on. So it can go both ways where, like, um, whatchamacallit, it can go both ways where, like, yes, I need to sort out all my school stuff, but also the, the first week of school, sometimes I don't stream at all, and then sometimes I can sneak in a stream at some point. But, um, historically I stream Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday evenings. Friday and Sunday evenings are still on. Um, Wednesday evenings are out because I have a class on Wednesday evenings. So I'm trying to figure out how to work in a weeknight stream. And I'm thinking maybe I can try to make... I might be able to make Tuesday evenings work. Because I don't like to stream two days in a row is the thing. So Mondays, Monday nights are weird. I streamed on a Monday night a few weeks ago and it was really weird. Um, Tuesdays might work. I have a class on Tuesdays also, but it's from 6.30 to 8 p.m. And I've had classes with that professor again who... I've had pr classes with that professor before and he, he ends class early a lot. So it could potentially work, but I also don't want it to end up like going too late. It's really tricky. The other option, hear me out, this might be weird. Might be weird for this community for us because we don't really do this. How do you all feel about daytime streams? Let's talk about that for a second. Tomorrow on MLK, no holiday school starts. Ah, uh, good, good question, college prop. Let me... Let me check if there's actually class tomorrow. I just assumed there was, but that's a good point. Um, my major is natural resources and environmental science with a concentration in ecosystem stewardship and restoration ecology. And I am, I am more than likely adding a minor in um, GIS or geographic information science. I thought it was gonna be like last time I'll see you guys for a while. No, never. I love I love streaming and I love spending my time here with all of you. Like streaming is my so social interaction. I don't really have any like real life friends who live close by. So yeah, this is my major social interaction is streaming. So it would be very difficult for me to just not do that for a while. When would daytime streams start, roughly? That I don't know yet, Kapuli, if I were to try doing some daytime streams in a week. Um, that is a good point, though. I could do one or two daytime streams during the week because that would give more opportunity for um, friends in Europe and beyond in other time zones. That might work out a bit better for those. But I don't know what time of day that would be yet because I haven't even begun to figure that out. If in daytime, week, weekday time streams, you would just be lurking while working. That's fine. How early would the daytime ones be? Yeah, I don't know yet. I don't know yet. We could, I could try it out because I really wasn't sure how to make, I really wasn't sure how to make week week nights work because if I have a class Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights, that really puts a big wrench in things. 
skin taker. Oh, all right. Hi, welcome in. Could do morning streams. Not so much, not so much. We, um, morning streams are a special time zone, time zone, well, wow. morning streams are a special time slot on Twitch. That's the one time when there's a much larger ratio of viewers to streamers, but I'm not a morning person. I would love to be a morning person. Unfortunately, um, my, my, Delayed circadian circadian rhythm and my narcolepsy, my actual narcolepsy, get in the way of those things. Um, let me pull up my schedule real quick, and I can answer a couple of these questions. Chemistry, that's not fun. okay. I can just do that in this window. Mm. Let's go in here. Skin taker, how are you? How are you? How are you now? But would they be before or after noon? Um, before or afternoon, my time or your time? I'm thinking they would be afternoon, my time, simply because. Why is this thing giving me problems? Hold on. Coming over here for a second because I gotta type in passwords and shit. Um, they would probably be after 12 p.m. my time because of that whole thing where I'm not a morning person and I think I have classes that started at 11 p.m. 11 a.m. Why does this not let me log in? Every fucking time. How long have you been crocheting? Um, I taught myself how to crochet last year. I don't remember exactly when last year. Maybe over the summer? Like sp spring, summer, probably. All right, let's figure this out. Oh, that's how we do it. Okay. Trying to figure out what the fuck my password is and why it won't let me in. Eh. Oh, that's wrong. Library. Is it this one? That says it's right. Those all say they're right. Oh, it might be one of those things where it only works in Chrome. That's stupid. It's an interesting finished projects list, is it? Uh, what, what makes that so interesting? I, I might need to update that list. I haven't looked at it in a little while. Yeah, it only works in Chrome. That's stupid. I was thinking about getting into macrame, anything other than a plant holder not a plant person. That's fair. That's fair. Plant holders are popular and really, really useful. Um, but there's so many other things you can make. I really, really want to make a macrame Christmas tree. That would be great. Okay. We can come back over here. So, all right. That's the wrong term. Date. What? Okay. Let's see. How do I see my schedule? View class schedule. For spring 22. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, I have on Monday and Wednesday. Monday, Wednesday, I have class from 11 to noon. And then Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah. Tuesday, Thursday, I have that personal financial planning class, um, which like there's a lecture that's done live, but it's not 
it's not mandatory to attend, but you're highly advised to. Um, I'd have to check, but that's in a different screen. So we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure something out. But it's good to know that daytimes are an option. Um, those of you who said you would be available for daytime streams, do you mean that you would be like around and chatting and hanging out or just lurking while you're at work? A cat hammock. Oh, a cat hammock would be great. That'd be great. Okay. Setting that to the side because I got, I got macrame stuff to show you. Hold, hold up. So I have these books from the 70s, you know, the good shit. This is, that's the book about learning to knit. Um, but we've got, there's all sorts of macrame things that you can make that are not plant holders. So many owls. I mean, it's a plant holder, but you could always stop after that part and make a really cool owl. Um, a, a floating plate. Oh, here's the fringed owl. These are classic. We had one of these at my house growing up. I think it was my sister's and she always had it in her room. Can make a really amazing wall hanging. Wow. Another really cute owl. Yeah, there's a lot of options of things. It was the not before Christmas. So this is all Christmas crochet. I have I have other, or not crochet, macrame. I have other macrame books too. Cage would be around to participate probably. All right, cool. I'll just scroll up and read what people said. Uh, Pilot would be lurking. Christian is fine with them. Christian, for daytime streams, would you be lurking or participating? And same question for you, Kapuli. You've seen some macrame dream catchers. That's interesting. Uh, dream catchers are problematic as a whole. So I would not ever make one of those. This is like a creepy, like, 70s Santa. Even if I didn't know that this book was made in the 70s, I could see the Santa in the wild and know, without a doubt, they came from the 70s. And I don't, I don't know why that is, but like... Do you see it? Like, I think it's because his pants look like bell bottoms, even though they aren't. You would be participating unless you must prioritize. All right, that's good to know. That's kind of cute. That's kind of cute. Oh, so that's a wreath. That's a nice wreath too. It's a Pico a Pico Twist Wreath. That looks nice. Uh, more Santas. An owl. A candy cane. And a little dog. A schnauzer. So cute. Looks like a vintage style. Oh yeah, because these books are from the 70s. Here's the Christmas tree. Look at that. Isn't it marvelous? Depends on the time. If I'm here, I'll be present. It'll be hard for the next couple weeks. Yeah, no worries, no worries. I know you're busy with your apartment and stuff. This one. This is the Christmas tree that I really want to make. And I feel like nobody else ever gets as excited about this as I am. After that, I'll probably be around. All right, no worries. Um, what? They like took the schnauzer thing and then stuck it in a stocking. They took the macrame schnauzer and put it inside a macrame stocking. So it's like a cute little schnauzer dog inside a stocking. That's so cute. That's fantastic. What? There's a little mouse. So cute. These are great. I realize not everyone's into the vintage thing. I am super into vintage, like everything, everything. So apologies if it's not your jam. I like plenty of modern stuff too, but like, it's just fantastic. Okay. 
yeah there's a lot of good stuff i as i said i have other books oh this is like a a, a bouquet of corn was that in the pictures oh yeah it is of the tricolor corn that stuff Do you remember when Bernie had the mitts and people wanted to buy the same mitts, but the mitt maker said she won't sell them? Yes, I do. Next week, you're gonna get together at your big sister's house. Is that a different sister than the one that you were staying with? Yeah, I remember about Bernie's mittens. How could we forget? Or Daddy Bernie, as some like to call him. I wonder if she would have made them if someone paid $25,000 for a pair. I doubt it because I'm guessing people probably did offer some ridiculous sums of money. Because people are crazy. What, uh, Kapuli, what made you think about that? Oh my gosh, Cypher. I just looked in the Crafts and Arts channel on Discord and that seriously looks like cotton candy. Talk about forbidden snacks. Um, wait. Counterfeit. How do you spell counterfeit? There it is. Counterfeit version of a real life miniature diorama. No, I need to edit that and be like, just FYI. Um. Yeah. I'm sure you've been asked a thousand times, what type of mouse is that? I guess we do need a mouse command to match the keyboard command. Um, it is a JTEC digital mouse. It's a vertical mouse. Um, yeah. That. <laughs> Question for newbies, why the username Snowpeep? Any particular meaning? Um, I have not been asked that in a while, so sure, I can, I can tell the story again. <laughs> um, it is an evolution of a name. Um, it started a very long time ago. Started a very long time ago. Let's pop over here so I don't forget. Um, let me think, how did this start? <laughs> um, so if you remember the Calvin, Calvin and Hobbes comics, um, so there was the boy Calvin and his tiger Hobbs. They would have lots of adventures. Um, and there was always, he milked all those crazy snowmen and all this stuff. And there was some joke in one of those comics about don't eat the yellow snow. Right, because it's pee. That's the joke. And I was thinking about those words. And so that literally is like snow and pee. And so if you combine them. Hello? Are you going to bed? Oh, are you okay? So no? Do you need me to come and talk to you? Okay, well I can stop and... If, but I don't know if you want me to do that or not, so... Okay. Um, so anyway... Um, uh, Anakin, that would be snow. That would be snow. S-N-O is a better short form because it's like two words. Um, so anyway, there was the snow thing, the snow P, like S-N-O-W-P-E-E. -E. Um, I like, I like, I liked it because it was like the joke about don't eat yellow snow and it's also a really tasty and pretty vegetable, like snow peas. And then, um, oh, this thing. And then, hold on. Electrical arts, oh dear. Um, 
let's do that. Um, so then um, there was those two words and I used to use that and I liked the way it looked. And then um, it evolved, things happened and I changed it to some take on Little Bo Peep and I changed it to Little Snow Peep, like little and then S-N-O-P-E-E-P. And then the little part eventually got dropped. Uh, Wrenches Woodworks, wow, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention very well. That story is better than what I thought. I usually are here. Oh, it is not pronounced snoo. Nope, it is the way that I say it, snow peep. Or snow or peep. I'm catching up, I'm catching up. Catless Okai or Stosai, thanks for coming in. Generic raid message, you got a jet. No worries, skin taker. If you enjoyed your time here, you're welcome to drop a follow and get notified when I'm live next. I enjoyed chatting with you. Daily Dana, welcome in, welcome in. Biking Viking, hello, hello. I'm just here for the swearing. Well, you came to the right fucking place. Someday it will just be Eep. Nah, I don't think it ever will. They write it into a stream, right? Um, yeah, I'm taking time to do this. I, I was telling a story. I was telling a story and trying to do this at the same time, and it just got all jumbled up. Also, hey, it's Mel B. Thank you for the follow. I don't know. I don't know how I missed that. My apologies. Let's do this. And... Get rid of this. Guys, no, don't put your stuff there. Let's do them over here. Anyway, coming back this way. Wrenches Woodworks, what were you working on tonight on stream? How was how was your stream? What were you doing? What are we making tonight? We are crocheting a snail. Um, like this pink one that's on the screen here, but it's gonna be green like my emotes. All right, let's see where I was at. So this is a decrease. We're finishing the body of the snail, which involves decreases and then two single crochets. By the way, you have different volumes for the two OBS scenes. Yes, Anakin, I know they're not perfect. I know. I think, I think you expect a lot more out of me than what I end up giving out in, or what I end up having. I need to redo my scenes and stuff. They, they are due for a, an overhaul, but it's a lot of time and everything to take care of that. Viking Viking 11. Thank you so much for the follow. Something, this one. I'm just, I'm trying to determine if that's the biking Viking that I know. It is, it is, because I'm already following you. Neat, thank you. Bicycles are pretty great, I'm a big fan. Free fall clash, welcome in. Thanks, Daily Dana. Read something from Wonders of Help for Christian Girls. All right, all right, one sec. Let me finish this round and then I will. We have a decrease. Now we're doing two single crochets. Yeah. Two. And then we do another decrease. And then we got to stuff it. Oh no, I feel like I'm off one. Because this should end in a perfect, like this should finish the round, but there's one stitch left. So I missed that somewhere. One, two, three, one, two. Hold on, let me... 
figure out where I fucked up. First time I've heard that. Oh, really? Yeah, I followed your stream. I don't think I have visited your stream in a while, but yeah, I used to check it out sometimes. Okay, I gotta count these and figure out where I messed up. Because there's one one stitch left over, and that's that ain't right. So we had two single crochets, and then this decrease. Two and then decrease. One, two. That looks like a decrease. That looks like a decrease. That looks like one. One, two, and then a decrease and one, two. Well, what the fuck? How many stitches am I supposed to have? 18. So we're supposed to have 18 in this round. Let me count. What's that? Mm, stream is taking is not loading. Oh yeah, it takes it's a real it's really slow for some reason. Alright, let me count these. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22. What the fuck? Hmm. Well, that's weird. Because I am not supposed to have nearly that many stitches. Okay, so we'll probably yank that out and redo it. Stream is slow today. Mm. Doesn't surprise me. It's usually pretty slow. All right, so, so this book, this book is Words of Help for Christian Girls. It is the copyright 18, 1895, or 18, copyright 1896. If it, it doesn't like to focus. Copyright 1896. It's a very old books, a very old book. Wow, I can't talk. <clears throat> so we have this as a channel point redeem that we read from. It is Words of Help for Christian Girls written by a man. Every woman looks forward as Ruth did. We don't know who Ruth is. Every woman looks forward as Ruth did to be at rest in, to be at rest in the home of her husband. Alas, how terrible in many cases has been the process of disenchantment. The shores of time are strewn with the wrecks of women's loves and hopes, and all because they have forgotten that true human love must be grounded on the love and choice and will of God. Human love cannot satisfy apart from the love of God. Human love may be the cup, but it must brim with the living water of the love of God. And if there be the love of God, it will satisfy the heart, though we should never know the sweets of human love. Jesus suffices. Jesus suffices for heaven. Can he not for one poor life? There is light enough in the sun for a single daisy. Let's, let's read a second paragraph because this was really short. Make Jesus your counselor about your future lot. It will take many wrong motives away if instead of feeling that you must attract men to yourself, you quietly go on your way, leaving him, meaning God, to choose a husband for you and whom he will. If no one comes, then don't fret. It's not yours to care. God has chosen for you the single lot that he may have all your love and that you may do for others what you could not do if you were absorbed by home claims. If anyone seems attracted to you, be sure not to look first at the outward advantages offered you, but ask if he be God's choice for you. And never allow your own heart to go outwards towards anyone, unless you are sure that you are being led by the Spirit of God. That was a good one. Any questions? Any translations needed? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, you got an ad in the middle of it. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Not just one, but three. Oh, my gosh. Satan took over. Satan did take over. I'm really sorry. I can, I can reread it. Normally, I don't, but I can reread it. Okay, I missed the point, didn't I? You did, but I'll, I'm going to read it again for those who missed. I didn't know there was an ad. I'm sorry. I'll just start over at the beginning. Every woman looks forward, as Ruth did, to be at rest in the home of her husband. Alas, how terrible in many cases has been the process of disenchantment. The shores of time are strewn with the wrecks of women's loves and hopes, and all because they have forgotten that true human love must be grounded on the love and choice and will of God. Human love cannot satisfy apart from the love of God. Human love may be the cup, but it must brim with the living water of the love of God. And, and if there be the love of God, it will satisfy the heart, though it should never know the sweets of human love. Jesus suffices for heaven. Can he not for one poor life? There is light enough in the sun for a single daisy. Make Jesus your counselor about your future lot. It will take many wrong motives away if instead of feeling that you must attract men to yourself, you quietly go on your way, leaving him to choose a husband for you and whom he will. If no one comes, then don't fret. It is not yours to care. He has chosen for you the single lot that he may have all of your love and that you may do for others what you could not do if you are absorbed by home claims. If anyone seems attracted to you, be sure not to look first at the outward advantages offered you, but ask if he be God's choice for you. And never allow your own heart to go outwards towards anyone unless you are sure that you are being led by the Spirit of God. Yeah, it was, it was an especially good segment for this, this one tonight. <laughs> Ooh, let me catch back up. So women act just like any physical objects. They're at rest at their husband's house unless a force is applied to them. Women, inanimate objects since the beginning of time, according to this book. Funny enough, my man lives in my house, right? The home of her husband is women are not allowed to own property. Yes, yes. I'm going to own property property soon enough. I believe it. I believe it. I recently became a property owner um, when we got our house a couple months ago. Although we don't officially own it because now we're like renting it from the bank. Yes, this book is copyright 1896. Please keep that in mind. Fluky. The only words that book needs are, if God wanted women to wear shoes, he wouldn't have put carpet between the bedroom and the kitchen. Shh, but then it wouldn't be so fun. Very godly, very Christian. 1896, yes, yes, this book is. Copyright 1896. Uh, where, where is it? This camera hates focusing on things. Come on. Doesn't help that I have shaky hands, but it's it's there. You gotta believe me. It's freaking out, but there it is, it's flashing. Ah, uh, where did the book come from? From God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, from God. Okay, so this is before the internet existed. A couple years. A couple years before the internet, yeah. Cameras like me hates to focus. A little bit. I don't think I'd find a counselor named Jesus. <laughs> Do you mean counselor as in, like, an attorney or a therapist? Or confidant? I don't know. So, um, I fucked up somehow in here, somewhere. Because I'm supposed to have 18 stitches and I have like three more than that. So I'm going to rip out this round. Try Spain. <laughs> yes, try Spain. You might, you might find some. Reminds me of a pregnancy book. Oh, from the 40s. I'm sure that was awful. It's recommended that you cut down to two packs of cigarettes a day to just one. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, but... 
what people didn't know. What a wild time to be alive, right? There was already chapters in this book, not chapters, there were sections of this book that talk about like wearing drab clothing on purpose because, well, how dare women wear clothing with colors and enjoy their clothing. But yes, that's why it's a channel point redeem. It is done with jest and we find it to be humorous. Nothing in that book should be taken as advice or be taken literally. And I also should not have to make that disclaimer. <laughs> Show us a plant. God damn it. Hold on. You guys really don't want me to finish the snail, do you? <laughs> Christian, I'm sorry. I'm trying. I'm trying. I gotta get this stitch locked so it does not unravel. Fluky, how's it going? What are you up to tonight? You found a medieval medicine book with pictures in it describing how to do at-home castration. All right. A little sterilization with a kitchen knife. Right as rain. Wear fleet, no. Fuck's sake, you guys. You're not you're not getting a refund. I'm only showing you one plant. Vintage women magazine had ads for amphetamines for weight loss. Oh yeah, yeah. That was totally a thing for a while. Um trying to think of what plant I want to show you all. Today's women's magazines. Love yourself no matter how you look how to lose weight, and cake recipes, pretty much. And they're also like, the medical benefits of popcorn! And like, weird shit like that. Basically, let me go get a plant. Oh, let's see what we've got. Oh, well, perfect timing. This is perfect, actually. And actually, wear fleet, I will give you your redeem too. You guys are just getting really lucky today. All right, closing the door. You're lucky. You're all very lucky that I like you so much. This is a twofer. What if when you die, you suddenly find yourself in hell? Along with you, you see Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Martin Luther King, and the Dalai Lama. What on earth? Why are we all here? And it turns out that of all things, God is a Mormon. Oh, Jesus, that sounds awful. The Mormons were the only ones who were right. Oh, fuck that. Co yeah, cocaine's used for lots of things. I'm gonna go wherever all the great musicians went that died recently. Cocaine fixes everything. I don't think so. If God is Mormon, I'm okay with hell, right? Same. Samesies. Okay, so we are focusing on Christmas cactuses. Actually, not Christmas cactuses. These are Thanksgiving cactuses. And um, they're in the same family as a Christmas cactus. Um, what you may think of as a Christmas cactus, people commonly think that all of these are Christmas cactuses. However, there is a Christmas cactus, an Easter cactus, and a Thanksgiving cactus. And they can be identified by their unique leaves. So this is a Thanksgiving cactus, noted by its leaves with the deep serrations. Cat, cat like stock is it stuck high? Stock high. Thank you for the follow. Thank you so much. Welcome, comrade. Um, and this one happens to be in bloom. This is the first one I have ever had bloom. Um, so one thing that's very unique about these plants is that they only bloom after an extended period of extended darkness. So they need to have like at least twelve hours of nighttime for like, I think it's like at least two weeks before they, that will cue, that will cue them to start putting off a flower. And they are not, they are not a true succulent. So they need, they need more water than succulents do by quite a bit. Um, Mormonism is great if you're a man, unfortunately. Yeah, it's pretty gross all around. There's all sorts of problematic things with that. But yeah, this one, um, they were 
prompted to bloom because when I moved, when we moved, um, they got reset up on the shelf, but I did not um, get the plant lights set up for a little bit after the move and that extended darkness time cued them to bloom. Do they depend on pollinators? Um, I'm not sure. I haven't actually checked on that for these. But it's been building this bud and it's just now starting to flower. Not flower. It's just now starting to open. And my hands shake so much. I'm so sorry. Like, I shake, I shake like a leaf. <laughs> but I want to show you all this. You can't really tell, but it's like look at the dimension the petals are trying to open i'm sorry this is not like in focus properly i don't have that i don't have very nice cameras but this is really exciting and this one flower is huge it's gigantic and then there's several other like little bitty buds and i also have a second one this one is badly sunburned so this is sitting on the shelf with other succulents, but because these are not, they're not really a, an actual succulent, they are very sunburned. And this one also got prompted to bloom and it is bright red. It's just absolutely bright, bright red. And it's starting to open a little bit too. So. And this one is in a, it's in a random yogurt container with several other plants. These are like when a leaf would fall off of a plant or I was at a store and I like grabbed a leaf off of a plant to try and propagate it. I would just shove it in the dirt here. So it also has these like jelly bean succulents in it. And it has a little tiny starter plant of, uh, I forget which tomentosa it is. Um, I don't remember if that's Chocolate Soldier or the Teddy Bear Tomentosa, but the Tomentosa is a, it is a succulent that will be fuzzy. It's these little bitty friends. Focus on them, camera. Well, we had it and then we, we lost the focus, so. Anyway, those are the plants. Wait, what? Do you have any fake plants? Yes, I have some fake plants that are inside the miniature greenhouse model, but I don't have any like fake plants that like decorate my house or anything. Used to breed cacti, that's how I learned patience when I had to repot them. I see, that sounds cool. What types of cacti did you, did you breed? What you're saying is that the plant like Simon and Garfunkel are you going with a Hello Darkness, my old friend reference there? Is that where you were going or something else? I started thinking about how long, the long night that starts the bloom. I wonder if pollinators are more active during winter. I have no idea. I haven't looked into that, but it could be. It's going to be so pretty. I know. I, like I said, I've never had one of these bloom before and it was totally by accident. I had no idea of that delaying setting up the plant lights would have that effect. This also needs to be transferred from this little jar, but I have too much stuff going on and I've put off repotting any of my plants and I need to repot a lot of my plants. The only fake plants I have are Lego. Oh yeah, Lego has plants, so that makes sense. So it was Hello Darkness, my own friend. All right, I guessed right. I really like that song, like in a non-ironic way. I have a, a vinyl record of Simon and Garfunkel's greatest hits. And it's definitely like from the 70s. Yeah, I need to disperse some of these plants around the house because the shelf is too crowded. The shelf is too crowded and I have to be careful where I put my plants because one of my cats will eat them and kill the plant and kill herself in the process. 
have lots of fake plants, but we throw them out weekly for new ones. I'm that kind of rich. Wait, what? What? Do you really buy fake plants and throw them out every week? Because that seems really weird. I feel like if you want to be fancy, you buy real plants. You buy real flowers to put on the table like every day or week or whatever. And then throw those out because that shit's expensive. Basil, no, you can't be up here. Oh, you're so toasty because you just woke up. Oh my gosh. What? In the moonlight, the white petals and sweet aroma attract nocturnal pollinators like moths, which some of the plants have co-evolved. Yes. The nighttime blooms reduce competition for competitors, allowing the cactuses to bear more fruit. Was that about a Christmas cactus specifically? Who would do that? Uh, I don't know, rich people. Oh, that was just for why does my cactus bloom at night? Okay, that may not apply to these since they are not a true cactus. But the environment, I know, that's what I'm saying every day. Toasty. Yeah, the cat, she gets really warm when she's taking a nap and she's all like nice and toasty and she warms up my hands. When I rub her belly. Uh, okay, let me try and count this again. Wearfully, I hope that was sufficient that you guys got a two for one. Show us a plant. I need to put a, uh, a cool down on that. I thought I had one, but. So it was, no, no, wait, 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 wait. We gotta do this. You got the same one last time. Oh my gosh, but this plant, okay, the last time I showed the plant, it was because, holy shit, it's gonna have blooms, and so the buds were teeny tiny, and this time the buds are huge and starting to open, so I think that's worthwhile. Sorry I only show you guys cool plants that are blooming or have new growth on them because that's exciting. Do you want to see boring ass plants that are doing nothing? Like... Nobody wants that shit. Oh, it was lovely. Oh, well, your your little type face thing last time on the previous message seemed to indicate otherwise. No F boring plants. Show us the basil being pet. No, I do not want to do that. I would like to get this crochet row done because I already did it once and I messed it up somehow. So I'm doing it again. Um, Fluky and where and anyone else, we were discussing the possibility of weekday streaming um, since Wednesday nights are out for me for this semester. And Tuesday and Thursday evenings are also very difficult for that because I have class as well. So we were thinking about possibilities of a, a weekday stream, like in, in the afternoon. And some people are available for that. And so if you have any thoughts on that, please share them. Um, that's the decrease, actually. I'm going to do a thing where I use a stitch marker on every time I do a decrease so I can keep track. That's the first stitch. So this is the decrease. Oh, you're trying to do the cat face. You forgot the equal signs on the front and back that make it a cat. Wasn't it like, I thought it was like this. And that, and then that. Wasn't that the kitty cat one? Friday through Monday night streams, Tuesday and Thursday afternoon streams, Monday off, got it. What? What? No. The, f the fuck is that schedule? How did you come up with that? That's, that's a lot of streaming in a week, sir. <laughs> uh-uh. If I was single and lived alone, maybe but I have a significant other who, you know, he likes to spend time with me and I like to spend time with him. 
So I don't know about all that. That's what my selective hearing heard. Wow. Uh, so this one, okay, so we're doing another decrease. So I was saying that I have class Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday evenings. So evening streaming during the week is very tricky. And I was considering um, weekday streams, which would probably be like afternoon. Wait, not that one. It's this. What is that kitty cat thing? That's like a text, a text emote that's not a text emote. Decrease, single, single, decrease. Okay, so back to the start with two single crochets. Some people were just offering if they were, some people, well, they weren't off. Yeah, they just were saying like, Oh, I would be around and I would lurk for that because I'd be at work or they would be around, but they would be more chatty and participating. So I didn't know if anyone else wanted to chime in on that note, but it's fine. So we might do another decrease. Yeah, one, two, go through the third and this is not... Um, that goes through and then back and through there. Okay, good. What about this kitty emote? Eh, what is that? That looks like a, a very angry little kitty cat is about to explode. I don't like that. Why would you ever want to make a kitty cat so upset that they look like that? Cats should only ever be happy or like temporarily a little bit less than happy. <laughs> At least that's what I think. Better than a puking cat? Oh my gosh, wow. a thing. Capoli, what is that? I don't know what that is. Um, one. And then two. And then a decrease again. Yeah, no, there we go. There we go. I wanted to write ASCII characters. Oh, well, I don't think I know what any of those are. So good luck. Be back in a sec. K. Okay. On to the next. On to the next. Wow, so many level fours in this. Decent though. Um, no, I don't want that. And let's do something good though. Just trying to put in things that are not a high level yet. And let's say start from the same side at least. Good enough. I know about ASCII characters. I, I would assume so if you're a computer science professor. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know about those personally. That's all I know. Is that a fish? Because it looks like a fish to me. So 
this is the decrease and then we do two single crochets one and two and then next decrease wait, wait, wait that's not the right way we do it this way sometimes you just get into the groove and then you make mistakes because my brain you know like muscle memory and you think you're doing one thing but you're doing a different one a different thing That's two fish having a conversation. It doesn't show up that way because there's a line break, but I, I get it. I get it. And then two more single crochets. I really wish I could remember what the thing was that I saw earlier today that I wanted to mention tonight. I don't know what the fuck it was. Welcome back. Welcome back, Fluky. Um, that's two. So now we do another decrease. Has anybody read anything interesting recently that they would like to mention to the class and discuss? Because I was like, oh, I should make a note about this thing and tell chat later so we can talk about it. But I didn't make a note about it, and I forgot what it was, so we can't. This is purple testicles upside down. Wow. Actually, on that note, I used to have a pair of earrings. I used to have a pair of earrings that um, I might have to get a piece of paper and show you what that looked like so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I'll just use a post-it. I used to have a pair of earrings that looked like this. So you'd have like the... This is the part that goes in your ear. I will lift this up and show you all in a sec. And then there was a piece, a stick, like a, a straight piece of metal with a loop. And then inside that loop. Okay, so you just have a pair of earrings that looked like this. This is the part that goes in your ear. And then there was this straight piece of metal. It was very thin, um, that had a tiny loop at the bottom, and then there was another piece of metal shaped like a heart. I had two pairs. I had one that had a heart shape and one that had stars, or had a star. I went through this loop that allowed this second piece that was heart shaped, um, it, it could move and rotate through this loop. So the problem with those earrings was that they would move around, and so the hearts would get turned upside down like like your your emote and so that that's the story of those earrings do you see the kitty waving or is it still for you i can see it it's cute i wasn't sure if it was a kitty cat or a hamster because it it looks kind of like a hamster because of the ears and the lack of noticeable whiskers or sometimes run during the day and viral switched to day streams recently and you has been enjoying it all right I mean, I'm not trying to switch to daytime specifically. I'm just trying to find a, a during the week option for a stream. And it looks like daytime might be an option, but we'll just have to play it by ear and see what works. See what happens. Looking for places to buy dry ice. You want to make a cloud chamber? What is a cloud chamber? It's better to see it in action than to describe it. Well, I'm gonna need you to describe it. Um, if there's like a YouTube link or something that could work. Cause I don't know what a cloud chamber is. All right, let me try this. I think this should be the last decrease. Yeah, and then once again, I end, oh, I end up with two extra, so that kind of works. Um, 
put the stitch marker there and then finish these last two and then I will get caught back up with chat and here and over and then the last single crochet yay the Brits have a name for these already. Plums. Oh my gosh. Of course. Of course. Well, now I have a discussion topic. Other Sophie testicle fashion wear. Oh my gosh. Our local grocery store has them in the back. Wait, has what? Cloud chambers? What? I don't know what a cloud chamber is. Like the big chain groceries. Oh, okay. Good luck. I imagine you have to go to Russia. Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what that is. Time to count this nonsense. There's, there's a lot of stitch markers. But we need to have, I think 18 was the number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Why am I wrong? Why does it keep coming out wrong? So, yeah, like all of this was supposed to be 30. Oh, I know what I did wrong. I know what I did wrong. We have to take out more rows. This might be bad. This might be bad. Okay. I know now how I have fucked up. This is not good. Not good, y'all. So that's the first one of the new round. Then this is that. Uh, yarning, yarning to be crafting. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome in. Um, yeah, so it turns out over here, um, after I did all those rows 26 to 52, 26 to 52 rounds, which was all the stuff down here, those were good. Those were good. And then um, after that, I was supposed to do this round, then, you know, the highlighted, the highlighted one, I was supposed to do three single crochet and a decrease to get us to 24 stitches. Then two row, two rounds of single crochet all the way around. And then the two single crochet and the decrease, which is what I just did. But I skipped this part, so that's why it doesn't add up. Hello, hello, yarning to be crafting, welcome in. Another one. Oh my gosh. Beetle Bat Studio. Thank you. I hope, I hope you're having a lovely evening. Thank you so much for following. Uh, I'm so annoyed that this, that I missed that. But that's the thing. That's what I do with pretty much every project. I get, we get really, we get pretty far into it and then inevitably I fuck it up somehow doing some random thing not some random thing I just make a mistake that is a fairly fairly big mistake and it requires a lot of backtracking peep it up yeah where where likes to call it that because it unfortunately is like a signature move on my part I'm not proud of it it's just the way it is, though. Um, so that's that. Maybe this is the one behind that. Grandmaster Ong. Hi, friend. How's it going? Um, Christian, if you're around, can you give me an uh, F command? I see you are from here. <laughs> from here? Like... Are people citizens of my channel? That would be interesting. I know what you mean, though. 
Thank you, Anakin. Thank you. Um, okay, so this is the stitch that I was on. We didn't start having the F command until like, I don't know, last fall, last summer, something like that. So now we gotta take this stitch marker out. So we're taking out this whole round for the second time. This is gonna be a thing. Eh, no, no. The stuffing gets caught in the threads. Oh, Wherefully was that your stream? That's so nice. <clears throat> yeah, um, Grandmaster Ong or Marvin, because Marvin is his name. Um, he has a really nice chill stream as well with juggling and cool lights and stuff. Um, I was, but it's okay because Anakim did it for me, so that's fine. Sorry, your stream froze. Okay, so I need the stitch below this one. I'm trying to catch the first stitch of each row as I, or each round as I take them out. <clears throat> and, oh dear, don't drop, so don't drop that stitch. Yeah, come back up. I'm also going to count this round to make sure that I'm in the right spot. Mm. Always nice seeing the community flow around. It is, it is. I think it's really interesting, like, when you go to different channels and see where people like to hang out or, like, which channels they spend a lot more time in. That is really interesting. Like, like Fluky hanging out in Chef de Party stream. Um, the whole like connection with that stream is really interesting because I had never seen Chef's stream on Twitch, and I found his Twitter account through some weird like late night thing where I was on Twitter for some reason and digging around and whatever and I came across his page I think I think he posted a picture of something he made it might have I want to say it was like some homemade Crunchwrap Supreme looking thing that looked amazing <clears throat> and I might have looked up his Twitch account from there and then I followed because I was like oh that's cool maybe this is a cool cooking stream and I never got around to checking it out until, well, no, I never got around to checking it out after I followed. And then on Christmas Eve, he raided me because apparently Fluky hangs out there a lot and suggested it, which was super nice of him to do. And then afterward, I raided over there and hung out a bit. And so it's interesting how that works because it's not always in the way that you would think. Big Bean Wolf, hi, welcome in. Thank you so much for those bits. How how are you? How's how's it going? How is your Sunday? How long you been on Twitch now? Not that long. Not that long. What is my account age? It's my account was created September 6th of 2020. Cause I didn't really watch Twitch before I streamed. I I made a Twitch account with the intention of streaming. I had watched snippets here and there when we would, like, my partner would bring up Twitch on our living room computer TV thing for, like, games done quick. And when there was a Twitch Roku app, we would watch creative streams a little bit here and there. But it wasn't ever, like, a priority at all. So I made an account with the intention of streaming and... Then I made an account so I could do a little bit of recon and like watch some streams to get an idea of how things worked. And then I started streaming like 10 days after I made my account. You've been busy going through bins of stuff and pins. Oh dear, are you doing like New Year's sorting and doing some 
KonMari-ing, KonMari-ing, sometimes, which is a small world. Um, it can be an incredibly small world, specifically within Makers and Crafting. Uh, Makers and Crafting is an incredibly small world, and it's, I don't know, some people have said, like, it's kind of incestuous, but that's kind of a strong word to use, but it's just extremely interconnected. Like, it's just so, so small. Because everybody knows everybody. Cloud Chamber is a plastic or glass box filled with IPA gas and cooled. Then you're able to see a bunch of different particles interacting with the medium that cause the alcohol to precipitate or something. That's cool. Ah, oh, thank you for a time-stamped link. What a pal. Bring that up and pause it for a second. Um, your partner got you to Twitch, you said once. Yes, yes. My, yes, I've been here over a year. It was, I joined Twitch September 6th of 2020. So September was my one year mark on Twitch. Um, yeah, my partner start, he was the one who got me into that. He, he's like, he was in like, I don't know, August of 2020. He was like, I think I will start streaming. Um, and he wanted to stream video games. And I was like, okay, go for it. Um, cause he was looking for like social interaction in the pandemic and which is still the case, but, um, he starts, he wanted to start streaming video games like World of Warcraft and stuff he likes to play. And then, um, I, I was like, oh, I wonder if I could do that. And then I looked up like stuff people stream that was not games. And I saw something about like some guy streams himself doing math homework or something. And I was like, oh, well, this person can stream homework. I can totally do that. And I initially went into it with the like minimal effort mindset, like, oh, I will just do homework streams. Sure, that'll be fine. And like kind of as a joke almost. And then I did, I did find the makers and crafting section like the first day that I happened to go on Twitch. And so then I was like, oh, people do crafts and sewing and shit. Well, I can do that stuff too. So I guess I was kind of variety mindset also from the beginning, but my partner started it. And then I was like, well, if you can do it, I can do it. <laughs> Cause I'm a little bit competitive. Um, and so, so I did start streaming. Um, and I started streaming in Makers and Crafting. That is my home on Twitch, but I do bounce around. Um, but my partner does not stream anymore because it's very difficult to, um, stream games that are extremely popular. So it was not enjoyable for him in that way. But he does appear on my stream sometimes. Depending on the shape of the trail, you can tell the types of particles. Oh, that's interesting. Pretty close. Oh, you started in July of 2020. Nice. Um, yeah, your, it says your account was created April 11th of 2020. Nice. That's pretty cool. Well, Marvin, I feel like I, I feel like I wish I was as, I don't know. You're just such a nice presence and like people of talking to you and stuff. I wish... I wish I was that good at engaging with people. Or maybe it's the juggling. Maybe it's the juggling that people go crazy for, which would make sense because it's really awesome. Who? Yes, you. Yes, you. Who else would be talking to? Yes, you. <laughs> it's either, maybe it's the jug. It's a combination of the juggling, you and your personality because you're wonderful and entertaining and interesting to talk to. And also all your really awesome effects. I feel like channel was dying in the summer. Everyone suffers in the summer because people go outside. People go outside and they travel in the summer and they're not cooped up indoors like now in the winter. Happens to everybody. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 
23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay, so I still have 30 rounds on here. And I think I did two rounds of that. I think I did, I think I did. So we need to take this out. It's me, obvious. Uh, for one little part it was, but the rest wasn't. I think all of it has to do with some luck, really. Oh yeah, it does. It does. Luck is part of it. What the fuck is this? That's really weird. Oh no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Let me fix it. That goes in there. There we go. Mm. Sorry, ups and downs. Mm -hmm, it is. I'm not sure the juggling is that entertaining. I just enjoy doing it. Twitch has given me the excuse to keep at it on the weekdays. That's fair. I feel the opposite. I go on rants sometimes, and I'm surprised people still come back. I think. I mean, I do that. I do that too. You're right. You're right. Thank you. Uh, thanks for those bits. That's very sweet of you. Okay, so this round is done, or yanked out, because it wasn't supposed to be there. Now I need the stitch right below that. We are um, reversing some mistakes here. And can we shout out Grandmaster Ong? Because he is really a lovely human being, and also an excellent streamer. Um, he mostly, he sits in just chatting, but he does lots of different things. Um, and he's a phenomenal, phenomenal juggler. Thank you, Bigby. I just followed A. There you go. There you go. Yeah. But yeah, this stuffing gets really stuck in there. Which is really annoying when that happens. Oh yeah, I was gonna check if school actually starts tomorrow. <laughs> and I never actually got to that point of seeing if my classes actually start tomorrow. Let me, let me, let me actually look at that. Because of course, now it logged me out. Go figure. On um, MLK Day. Yeah, I was trying to determine if it actually, if I actually have a class tomorrow or if I don't, because I might not. Uh, actually, let's do that. Uh, wrong screen. Let's do that in the Course Explorer. Are you full-time in school? I am. I am a full-time student and the spring semester starts tomorrow. Wait, is it this? No, that's not the screen I want. Schedule. Is it under resources? I forget where all that shit is at. No. Why is it so hard to just get a list of my schedule? Probably because when you go to a huge school, um, nothing is simple. Uh, it's not. I found it the other day, but whatever. We'll do it this way. Why? Why? That's not... Not what I wanted. Oh, because I'm not logged in. That's why. That's why it's not working. Duh. It's cool you kept at it. It's cool that I've kept at streaming. I I very much enjoy streaming. It is um it's really, really good for my mental health. 
um, partly because um, being in a pandemic for two plus years now, um, streaming is my primary social interaction these days. I was talking about this earlier because I don't have, I don't have hardly any um, real life friends who live close by. Most of them have moved or I've moved, things like that. So I have a lot of friends scattered across the country and across the world. So I don't get to see them in real life very much <clears throat> anymore. It is. Resources, no. There was something, oh, my courses, there it is, for fuck's sake. Um, so, I'm in, I'm in this one, it says it meets 118. Oh, right, that's on Tuesday. So that one starts Tuesday. Maybe I don't have anything tomorrow because I think, I think all my classes are Tuesday, Thursday. Oh, Monday, Wednesday, online lecture. Uh, AD2, no, that's not it. Here's the online discussion. Here's the online lecture. It says it meets 118.22. So yeah, we probably have school tomorrow. I probably have a lecture at 11 a.m. for Intro to Asian American Studies. Yay. Mm-hmm. It looks like I do. I do enjoy the social aspect of streaming one too. Mm -hmm. It's pretty great. You have a lot of real life friends, yep, all over the world. I feel people sort of change as time keeps going. Yeah, people do change. They People change, but they also don't change. For the longest time, all my friends were jugglers all over the place in the world. That's so, that's so cool though. Seems these days the people I talk to most is on Twitch or Discord. Same, same. Some on Instagram, but I don't have very many followers on Instagram. So like the people that I interact with on Instagram are mostly people that I don't interact with on Twitch or Discord. So like they are not people I consider friends because like, like they're people you see in the feed, but you don't directly interact with them. So like that's very different. There are a few people who like are from the garden which is the community of this channel here there's a few people on instagram but not a lot so if you're if you're here hanging out and you don't follow me on instagram there's a link in the about and i usually follow people back so just saying you're gonna go now anakin thank you for hanging out it was lovely um you're in discord so you know we'll all be chatting in there every day as we do You've created a following on Insta over the last decade, but I don't post on there anymore. Wow, why Why is that? I mean, everyone has their reasons and I totally understand like social media gets to be way too much sometimes. I regularly like step away from it. I don't really feel that much of a community vibe on there. I was on it early and it got to like 12K, wow. Wow, that's impressive. I, I, on my, on my personal Instagram account, I used to have like two or 3,000 followers in like 2012 when I was selling vintage items through Instagram. But then once I stopped doing that, like, and then I didn't use Instagram for years and years and that drops down, which again, like that's fine. Cage, it's completely okay to suck at social media. Social media is dumb. <laughs> it's not dumb, but um, but society would, ha would have you think it's more important than it is. It just exists solely to make people feel bad and to make people feel, um, like they're not good enough. So you're better off without it. So yeah, you use it for juggling. Oh, and you were selling equipment too. I see. Snell crochet. Yes. Red syrup. Hello. Um, yeah, I've been working on this for a while. I'm fixing some mistakes tonight with it. Um, 
So I think, I think this is where I needed to do those things that I skipped. <laughs> okay, I need to do three single crochets and then the decrease. Let's see, open that. Let's see that. I gave myself less so you guys get more. I don't know if that's smart or not in this game because being the captain thing is it's a very double-edged sword. And if you do like playing stream raiders here, you're welcome to add me as a favorite captain. It is appreciated. And I am going to be making an effort to run stream raiders every time we're here. Um, if we're doing a stream where I'm just sitting here at the desk, I will run Stream Raiders. If we're across the room doing machine sewing or something else, I probably will not run it because it's really annoying to run back and forth. I am logging off for the night. Ah, uh, Big B, thank you for saying hi. It's always great when you're able to stop in. I know you're super busy these days. Take care, and I hope your the start of your week is kind, and I hope you can get enough rest to feel good about the start of things. So, have a lovely rest of your night, friend. All right, let's go with this. I think this will be possibly the last battle. I'm not sure yet. No, oh, fuck it. We'll stay for this one too. I guess because I want to finish I want to finish the snail and there's like a few steps left so we'll see people third good first week of school thank you let's have some actual water like what is that weird Water, what a novel beverage. I drink lots of, I drink a lot of water compared to some people, so. When I'm streaming, I don't drink enough water. Because I, I don't know, I'm talking, I'm doing other things. And also because I always have NOS during stream. Okay, so this is where I'm doing three single crochets and then a decrease. That thing I did not do before, but I was supposed to. And the yarn is fucking split. Gamble all. Oh, Jesus. Well, you, you just done did that to yourself, sir. So one... Two, three single crochets, and this will be the decrease. Now go this way and do that. I'm going to mark, um, I'm going to mark the decreases like I did before because it makes the counting so much easier uh where fleet how do you um how do you feel about what just what what just happened to all of your brownie points do you have any any anything to say about that shrug that's fair that's fair I know some people care more than others. Sometimes, I mean, if you get lucky, maybe somebody will share their points with you or give you some points, but nobody's even gambled any points here in a while. Three. That three? Yes. One, two, three. So we'll do another... 
My retirement points? What? I didn't think I had that many. Apparently, it, um, you had 70, you had almost 73,000, which is pretty good. Oh, dang. Capulli is also out. Yo. Lady Luck is not kind tonight. Sorry about your bad luck, friends. My hands are so dry. I don't think there's lo enough lotion to make it normal. I hate winter. Um, yeah, Cage, you want to get, you need a good lotion. You need like, um, oh, what's that stuff? It's like, there's that like fisherman's friend stuff that's supposed to be like a really good balm for super dried out hands. I was up like 600k at one point. Tis the ups and downs of gambling. They will do that. Yes, Capoli loves nothing more than to throw something away. That's completely true. One. Two. Three. <clears throat> um. Oh. I random thoughts in my brain. I was thinking that, um, so the lights in our kitchen, there's a center light and that one works fine. And then we had like recessed lights in the ceiling and they were working fine. And then a couple weeks ago, they just suddenly stopped working and we have no idea why, but that's something I want to get figured out before whenever, before the unknown time in the future when we're supposed to do a food stream because that other lighting is really helpful. Lotus710, thank you so much for the follow and welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Trash. What, what would the trash command do, Samuel? What would the trash command do? So we're on another decrease. Yeah, I really like that I'm at a point in my crochet abilities where I can actually like notice, I can actually figure out when I've made a mistake and I can figure out where I went wrong and I can fix it because there was a long time where I had no idea what I messed up. Use a Neutrogena hand cream for when they are cracked. Interesting. I don't know if I knew that Neutrogena made a hand cream. I mean, they might, but I don't know. Wait, what? So the trash command would say, where Flea has thrown Capri in the trash? And then you'd have untrash. What would untrash say? That's really funny though. Um, I don't know how to write a command like that, but I want to make it happen because that's really funny. Um, Warefleet, can you put that, exactly what you typed in chat about trash and untrash commands and the names and everything and the phrasing, can you put that in Discord in the suggestions channel so then I can remember it later and figure out how to do that? I noticed a late night crochet stream. I thought I'd join in my crochet product as well. The snail to the bottom right, the pattern. Yes, it is. It's the pattern we're making. Um, the goal is to have a snail that resembles the emotes for the channel here. Welcome in, Lotus. What are you working on? What kind of crochet project? I set them down nice. <laughs> if you put, if you can throw all that in Discordware in the suggestions channel, that would be really great. 
I'd make it a command right now, but I'm just not sure how to do the thing with the usernames. A mini octopus, wow. Beetle Bat Studio, thank you. It is, I, th I hope it's gonna be cute. I'm, I'm nervous, but I'm always my own worst critic of that. I'm not nervous, I just, I just hope it turns out the way I, the way I want. One, two, this one, three. And then another D piece. I've been working on this, I almost called it a squid, this snail project for a while. I did take kind of a break from it for a couple months though. Because, you know, it happens. I was very stressed. And I kept, when I was really stressed and I ended up not crocheting, oh fuck, for a couple months, I had good intentions and I would intend to crochet and I would like bring all the crochet stuff to the living room, like while I was going to watch TV and crochet or something. And I would just lay on the couch in the silence with no TV on and I would do nothing instead because that decompression time is really nice. Two. Three. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What color is the mini octopus? That's three, so we need another decrease. Um, Beetle Bat Studio, do you do any types of making and crafting yourself? From your name, it seems like it implies something like that, but maybe not. Eh, no, don't, don't do that. It's purple and it's going on top of a cat hat. My friend, oh, so it's a cat hat, meaning a hat for a cat, not a hat shaped like a cat. At first I thought it was a hat shaped like a cat with an octopus on its head, but no, it's a hat with an octopus on it that is intended for a cat. That's going to be amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. I hope, I hope to see photos of that completed because that, so, that sounds so great. One, two, and three. Perfect. Perfect. I love when I have a round that goes so smoothly with no issues. It's so ridiculous. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But so wonderful. You do a lot of different crafts. Same. Same. I do everything. A bit of everything. Maybe the fact that I do a bit of everything. Maybe that's the reason I don't finish a lot of projects. I don't know. What is that thing? Oh, those are wings. They're like angel fairy wings on the fish. That's wonderful. This is another project you get asked to do. Sweaters for a chicken couple. That chickens and sweaters, it's so nice though. It's so cute and ridiculous. That's so wonderful. Always jumping around between things. Oh yeah, there's no other there's no other way to be, let's be honest. No other way to be. Basil, I know you want to jump up, but please don't. Uh okay, so we've done this round. We can actually check that off for real now. Now we do two rounds of single crochet all the way around. I'm trying to potentially finish the body of the snail tonight. That's kind of a lofty goal because I am not fast at literally anything. 
Um, but you never know what can happen. Mm, that's the stitch. Okay, and that's... So this will go underneath to mark the first stitch of the round. Actually, it goes under the next one, not this one. So we do two, yes, two rows of single crochet all the way around. Uh, Beetle Bat, what are some projects you have going on right now? I know there's like always tons of them, but <clears throat> off the top of your head, what are some projects? you have going now. One, that's stitch one, so I'm gonna mark it. And take this one out so it doesn't make things weird. Anaphylactic knock, hello, hello. How's it going? How are you this time soon? Also, for anyone new this evening, um, I just want you to know if you're hanging out tonight, thank you for that. Thank you for being here. Um, if you recently followed, thank you so much for that. Um, but if you're following and hanging out tonight, and then if I'm not live for several days, I don't want you to think, oh, that streamer was weird and then like unfollow or something. I'm a full-time student and school starts again tomorrow. And historically, I stream on Wednesday evenings during the week, but I can't do that because I have a class on Wednesday nights. So I'm trying to figure out what to do during the week. So I may not be on this week until Friday. So I just want people to be aware. I'm currently crocheting a sweater for your husband. Nice. It's your first sweater and he's been asking for one since we met. Oh dear, how long ago was it that you met? It's always a pleasure to come by on these Sunday evenings. Thank you. Thank you for those very nice words. Unfollow. Hey, rude. Rude. So this stream is kind of like your funeral. Oh my god. Y'all are harsh. I'll be harsh tonight. Has unfollowed for lack of full-time streaming. Listen, if y'all want me to be a full-time streamer, that would be amazing, but we would need this channel to provide more financial support to my household than it does. It would need to actually like pay a bill <laughs> in order to make it full-time, you know? So that's not up to me. Like I could, no, I was like, I could stream more. I can't, I can't, but it would be great. It would be amazing if I could stream like every single day, but it would definitely be in shorter amounts. But I don't know. I don't know about that. Is it better? Do you think it's better to stream more days for shorter amounts of time or less days for longer amounts of time? What do y'all think? Almost seven years. Oh, so long awaited sweater. Bad at finishing big crochet projects. Same. This is actually my first big crochet project though. I made, I did a granny square. I made a little bitty dinosaur thing that looks like shit. And I made, I made a fried egg and I made a adorable pomegranate. Um, and then the, the, oh, then I made a, a very, not a very small snail, but I made a small snail of a different pattern from this one. So yeah, this is my first big crochet project. Oh, full, full time streamer, quite a trick. It really is. It really is. Last year, last year between, um, I think, I think it was like between Christmas and when I went back to school on January 20th or whatever, I streamed every single day for like four hours a day. It, I had a blast. It was really fun, but 
The problem is that if I'm streaming every single day, I, I did not stream on weekends, but during the week I streamed every day for four hours or so, I think, unless it became like six hours because time management is hard. But um, it was a lot of fun, but the problem is that if I'm spending all that time streaming, stuff in my real life um, can often suffer because of that. So like, real life comes first and all of that. So I, I did want to make my partner angry by <laughs> streaming every single day. Because that whole like being autistic thing, it's very easy for me to neglect actual responsibilities and things in favor of doing things I enjoy doing. <laughs> and things I like to do and would prefer to do instead. It's very easy for me to do that. So I have to, you know, actively make the choice to be a good partner and human being and not shirk my responsibilities and the people that I care about. Including myself, which is why I stopped streaming for six plus hours every single stream recently, because it's best to preserve my own energy. And I don't know, I still don't know why it took me so goddamn long to figure that out. Wait, what? What? Hold on. Um... I'm just catching up. You had a 20 day streak, but mostly because work was slow. Oh, so you've been going at it. That's, that's fair. It's better for shorter, but more if you can only choose one. Less time, less days, but longer could work if you're able to rally the community. I'm not able to rally anybody. I wish I could rally people in my stream, but I'm not, um, well, you know, we keep things pretty chill here. We keep things pretty chill. So this is never going to be like the big, the big, like exciting hype all the time stream. Like we get excited about things, but we also keep our composure. <laughs> Prof says less is more, fewer days at longer times. All right, interesting stuff as you go. I feel like it would make it more difficult and like maximum tension. Yeah, uh, Lotus, I don't know. I. I'm not experienced enough at crochet to really have a preference on that. The pattern that I'm following suggested stuffing, it, it says to stuff it as you go. So that's why I'm doing it that way. Um, yeah, I don't know. There's no other way to decide. I'd pick the option that produces the best content quality. How do you measure that, Capoli? How do you measure the content quality? Because I would love to pick, I would love to default to whatever option produces the best content quality. <laughs> what about a dust sock for the needles? No. What, what needles? My needles live in pill bottles. Or no, my needles live in a needle case. My straight pins live in a pill bottle. I want to try streaming every day once I'm back living alone. I think, yeah, every weekday. I think that would be a cool idea if you do it for like, I don't know, two to four hours. Don't burn yourself out. But do like two to four hours every day or start with two hours so you don't burn yourself out and then yeah that could be cool especially if you're living alone I think that's something that is healthy because it helps like build a routine and gives you people to talk to which is important when you live alone especially in a pandemic it can be tough or tricky finding the balance yeah sort it on my own right now so you can do the back-to-back -back streams while work is slow yeah it would be so nice to have that freedom because if i was single and living alone i would totally stream every day absolutely hello people here it's cool to see the channel grow in the last few months for sure it's been real weird it's been really weird um i don't know what happened like in the last month I just looked at the channel stats today before a stream because um, I got the Twitch payout and um, I got that the payout notification and I happened to look at the stats page and 
from December 13th to January 13th, there were 111 follows. We got 111 new followers in the last month, which is bonkers. That's like crazy town. Mm. Heck, if the pattern says so, at a first go around, usually it's best to just follow the pattern. Exactly. That's what I was going with. Just follow what they say and just figure it out on the other end. One metric could be how you feel. If doing a stream every day makes you feel less stressed, I doubt it will improve content quality. Wait, what? Oh, it makes you feel stressed and not less stressed. Yes, me being stressed every day would be very bad. Let's minimize, minimize and eliminate that at all costs. Yours is usually three to five hours. That's what I'm striving for these days. I used to, as of like, I don't know, more than a couple weeks ago, I would stream on average six or seven hours. Um, and I've always done that. And I don't know, as right now, after having this mindset change, I don't know why I always did that. And I don't know why it took me over a year. I don't know why it took me like 14 months to figure that out and have that thought process. <laughs> um, <coughs> Kate is lucky if it makes it two hours. Everybody's different. You gotta do what works for you. Can you do battle plans? I got a quest. Um, sure. What, what kind of battle plans do you want? And what is the quest exactly? Started streaming was really isolated and alone. Oh, in Serbia. That's so interesting. During the pandemic, to practice talking to people and get a routine. Yeah, that's exactly the reasons I was thinking it's helpful if you're living alone. I feel like I'd be way more comfortable talking to the screen living alone. Yes. Yes, 100%. Because there's nobody sleeping in the other room and things like that. Mm -hmm. 111 followers a month. Yeah. From December 13th to January 13th, according to my like channel insights, it says there were that many, which is absolute insanity. I have no idea, no idea, because there were months where I got like two followers, <laughs> like not that long ago. I feel I have a lot in a month, but a lot of that are migrated people that are not on Twitch from the juggling community. A lot of them had fallen off because desktop life is a whole different life. What do you mean? What do you mean desktop life is a whole different life? If you just do some... That works. Okay. I've been doing them. Like, I put all the signs to not place units in an area. The free space one. Oh, is that what that means? I never knew that's what that meant. <laughs> 199 this month. Wow. There's a high turnover in my channel. Interesting. How do you how do you figure out that there's a high turnover? You don't want to be like me. High follows, but not retention. Twitch is a desktop kind of life. It's hard on mobile. It is it is really hard on mobile because the mobile app sucks so fucking much. Your viewer average is low. So is mine. My viewer average is very low. We don't usually discuss stats here, but we can. I don't care. Let me pull some of them up so I can tell you accurate information. You get lots of follows, but your averages haven't really climbed. I mean, same, same. Um, I think it's because some people are incredibly engaging and people I don't know, they're just incredibly engaging and charismatic and people are just very drawn to their energy. Um, I have, I've never been one of those people. I would love to be one of those people, but I'm just not. Um, and just the way it is. Because I've seen people who have very, not very low, but people who have like, I don't know, like... I don't, I don't, I don't even know how to phrase it. Like people who have not very many followers, but they 
the ratio of like view average viewers to followers is much much higher than I've ever experienced so it's just that some people are more I don't know engaging and charismatic I guess gotta give the viewers what they want well the problem with that rare fleet is that you viewers never tell me what the fuck you want I'm always asking and you all will never fucking tell me it's like that that thing where he's like what do you want what do you want and she's like eh, it's not that simple but it's not that simple is more feedback than what you guys give me yeah cage you've never been charismatic me either i get it there's yeah there's also different styles mellow ones draw mellow people and i'm a mellow person same <laughs> There's some of them that have super low follows and high view counts for sure. I know, I'm always super jelly of those because that's that's what we always want, right? But can never go wrong with that. Does that mean I need to install Buttspot? I thought about adding Buttspot, but I didn't really do that. It's hard to gauge what the viewers want because it's fluid. It can be fluid. I do. Um, I always say like VIPs and subs their opinions count more so like I always want them to tell me what they want and I want actual feedback if I say what what the dub you will slice my head off no I won't we played what the dub but you were not there <laughs> but we will play it again sometime no I'm new but I love the vibe here so far beetle Death, thank you for saying so I appreciate that um this stream is a chill roller coaster we have a chill demeanor overall and we keep it very real but it is a wild ride shit gets very weird here but it's pretty chill overall because apparently i'm too fucking chill for my own good or more cat butts yes the mic is a bit low i know that i know is that better i raise it up some i need to revise my scenes i am aware Mm -hmm. it was fun it was thanks for yeah thanks for suggesting that completely i can i could as soon as we started playing it and we got the hang of it i could immediately understand why you like that game so much and it was it was a lot of fun more action more pizzazz more car ride streams god damn it the car ride streams okay real talk i would love 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 to do like more actual irl content and like I would love to take stream on a walk um, to this like it's, it's like a nature reserve sort of thing in my city. I would love to take chat on um, like out for nature walks. Guys, we could go on nature walks and I could tell you about shit like we could do that. But the problem is that I don't know what's needed for that kind of setup. And I know that it's expensive, like two things. I don't have the stuff needed. And I know it's expensive, so that's the holdup. <laughs> but I would, I would love that. That would also solve the problem of how, like, Dan never wants to go on a walk with me, but Chat would go on walks with me. We could go places and do stuff. Book snail, what is that? Oh, it is a cat butt. That's funny. Your mobile Wi-Fi is not that strong in the city. Yeah, I'd, I'm not sure. I'm not sure how it is in my area either. My area either. You can use mobile Wi-Fi or the mobile router 200 and pay a monthly fee. You need a phone maybe. Yeah, a gimbal would be useful. It is a commitment to be an IRL streamer, but it, I think it's so interesting and I love it. Like, I would love to do that. Nature Rock gave me an idea. A camping stream. It's something you enjoy. It absolutely isn't. <laughs> Talk about something expensive. Camping stream. Show me a plant, but in the wild. Uh-huh. Wouldn't that be so much fun? I've just done IRL walks in San Francisco streaming using the Twitch app. It uses a lot of data. I have unlimited data, luckily. Um, but yeah, I know that it would like suck out the battery on my phone. And I'd be worried about... Um, what am I saying? I'd be worried about 
like dropping signal. That would not be great. Uh, let's erase this. You can put a few things there. All right, there's your battle planning. You can try it out with just your phone. Yeah, I need to. I just, the thing about me is that I, I am very particular about what I do and I'm very purposeful with things that I do. So like I would not, I would never be comfortable just going out with my phone and streaming from my phone, whatever, whatever, with no overlay or anything. I would want to have something set up that is to my standards because it's just the way that I am. Yeah, you watch a fair amount of IRL streams. Last stream, when we raided, um, we raided an IRL streamer from Pakistan. It was really awesome. He He's definitely newer. Um, it was really, really cool. And he was like riding in the back of a public transit vehicle, riding down the street, and you were just watching traffic scenes in Pakistan, and it was really cool. It made me... It made me homesick for the country. The closet full of trousers cut in half. So we can redeem it. Show me a pant. Oh my god. Just using a phone. It seems more personal, I think. Um, I mean, it does. Most of the people that I see anyway who stream IRL do it from a phone. Seems like the usual way to do it. What? Let's do a chat trip to Skinwalker Ranch. What the fuck is that? Because of battery life? Yeah, you gotta plug it. You gotta plug in your phone cage. I'll pick up Capoli at the airport. You didn't put any plans, just places not to go. Oh, what are the, what's the plans then? Okay, then here, put some armor people here. Um, put some support here and there, there. No, no, wait. Okay, are these, am I doing the right support stuff? Like, I don't know, hopefully. I added, I added some things. I hope my battle planning is adequate. Um, I wish I'd caught the IRL Pakistan stream. It was really cool. Um, I wonder if I can look up who that was. Uh, I'm not even sure. Skywalker Ranch is near here. Is that what you mean? Skinwalker. Oh, Skinwalker Ranch is a paranormal hotspot. I see, I see. Is that like for ghosts and stuff or like aliens? I guess that would be extraterrestrial, not paranormal. So ghosts and stuff. Where is that located? I've never heard of it. Um, <clears throat> uh, which one is this? So we did that, I think. This was one round of all the way around. I think I need to do a second round of all the way around. It's in Ohio. I see. I see. Let's start with IRL streams closer to my home and then we'll see about going out of state. <laughs> but uh, where I like, I like that you like to dream big. That's good. Good to have goals. So I will mark this as the first one in the round. There's been alien sightings, crooked sightings, ghost store, all sorts of creepy things. Oh dear. You can see the last raids in mod view. I don't know if you can see them as a streamer. Oh, can you pull up mod view and see who we raided? Because I don't remember the name of the account. I guess if you find it, we can do a shout out for that channel because it was really cool. 
they were gonna go to like some furniture expo happening in Pakistan. I didn't stick around for that because I needed to go to bed, but it seemed really cool. I also always like, like, I also want to take, I also want to take chat to the craft reuse shop here that I get all my supplies at, because I talk about it all the time. Um, I just feel like I will feel really, I'll feel really awkward going into that place because I'm a regular there. They know me. I'll feel really awkward going in there, like talking to myself the whole time because it's, like, they're not going to know what I'm doing. The ori origin of skinwalkers comes from Navajo. They're basically evil neck rancers that can shapeshift. Um, that's not a funny thing to say, Where? That's, like, kind of messed up. Like, don't say stuff like that. <laughs> and then there's also a bunch of UFO stuff. Okay. You can't, you're on mobile. All oh, right, no worries, no worries. Can I see my own channel from Mod View? I mean, I can answer that for myself, hold up. Show mod icons, yes. Um, review recent raids. Oh, wait, that's raids into my channel, not out of my channel. Mm. I don't know. Skinwalkers are a thing out here. So there's a Skinwalker Ranch in Ohio. Oh, but you live, Fluke, you live in Arizona, so you have, like... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Area 51's in New Mexico, right? That's the origin. That still seems like a fucked up thing to say. Like, that sounds like some, like a really racist origin thing to say. I mean, if it originated with those native people and they are the ones who said those things, then okay, that's one thing, but... If not, then no thanks. Chat guesser. Oh, GeoGuessr stream game might be fun sometime. I would love to play GeoGuessr. Um, but apparently GeoGuessr costs money. Like, I don't know how much GeoGuessr costs, but yeah. But this this stream generally does not break even, so. I try to stay away from things that cost money most of the time. Oh, you're in New Mexico. Oh, sorry. I thought you were in Arizona for some reason. Or maybe I just get mixed up sometimes. That's what the Navajo themselves call them. Oh, okay. I was... It wasn't the skinwalkers part I had a problem with. It was... Um, or that I was questioning it was they're basically evil necromancers that can shapeshift. Um, where fleet? Okay, let, let's clarify because maybe I'm just misreading things. Are you saying that the Navajo people are basically evil necromancers that can shapeshift? Because that's what your message is saying. Or maybe you were trying to say that the skinwalkers were the evil necromancers that can shapeshift? That might make more sense. Yeah, I know I know places to go to find out equipment that I could use for IRL. I'm actually in I'm in the Discord for the like IRL streamers on Twitch. They have a Discord community and I'm in there and there's a whole channel about like equipment and stuff. I just I just know that it's very expensive. Christian, good night. Thanks for coming in. It's nice that you're able to stop in. I know you're super busy right now with renovations and all that, so thanks for taking the time to be here. 
GeoGuessr is free. I was always told that GeoGuessr was free, but then if you play a certain amount, you have to pay for it. But I don't know what the limit is where you have to pay. I just assumed it was very early on that they were like, no, you must pay us. And so I just didn't bother. Uh, come on. Stupid yarn. Mm -hmm. Come for the Noho lore. Okay. I don't wear fleet. I don't know why you would say that. I don't know. Okay. It just didn't specify which there you were referring to. And so the way that it read, the way it read wasn't great. And so that's what my brain went with because that's what my brain fucking does. Okay. I'm sorry. I take it back. Everything is good. I properly understand now. A nice rest of stream and a good school start. Thank you. They believe they're evil necromancers who shapeshift and they call them skin markers. Beetle that. Thank you for that summation of and summation and clarification. I do appreciate that. GeoGuessr Pro is two dollars a month. Is it? Well, what the fuck? No one else ever. Ex no one ever said that they were always just like oh but then you have to pay so i'm picturing like between like 10 and 20 dollars a month which is way outside my budget <laughs> well maybe i don't know maybe we'll play chio guesser sometime if people want to do that I hope believe in skin markers for sure. Evil beings, we might translate that to a necromancer who shapeshift. I thought necromancer, necromancy isn't just controlling the dead. Um, starting on monthly cost of one ninety nine. Hmm. Good to know. Good to know. I I never looked into it. I just assumed. I'm just, I'm going on the website right now just to look at this because I didn't know. Yeah, we, oh, wait. GeoGuessr offers a free account where you play GeoGuessr for free and enjoy most of our different game modes. For unlimited play and to unlock additional features, we offer a pro account starting at a monthly cost of $1.99 with a free seven day trial. Okay, so it starts at $1.99 and then you can go up from there. So I wonder... I wonder how worthwhile the 199 is, if that lets you do all the things you'd want to do, or if that's just for the base level, which you're still very restricted, because sometimes they get you that way. We did that and that. So now we are ready for two single crochets and a decrease all the way around. Oh my gosh, it's already won. Okay. All right. We should wind this up. <laughs> Wait. Uh, oh, I said I was going to finish that map. So 15 minutes. Okay, that's fine. Cage, good night. Sleep well. Thanks for the, the nice words. Whenever I've played on stream, it's always the free version. Ah, again, I didn't realize this. I'm learning so many things. I found out what the catch is. $1.99 is true if it's billed annually. For monthly payments, it's $2.99. They always get you, but still not a big sum. It's not, it's not. It's just one of those things that like, if I'm not playing it that much, then I don't, if I'm not playing it that much, I don't wanna be paying a monthly subscription for it, you know? And I assume it's probably one of those that if you paid like $25 for a game, that's very reasonable. Um, so if we say we paid for that, then we'd have access to GeoGuessr for a year for the $1.99 version, assuming that gets you everything you want, which it probably doesn't. But then 
Mm, oh, we're doing two of these. Okay. But then I just assume that they automatically renew it instead of telling you ahead of time. But it, if it works the same way that it works, like when I subscribe to something on my phone through the app store, then that's fine because sometimes I go and I pay for a subscription of a certain amount and then I cancel it right afterwards so that it does not automatically renew. So that could be an option. But if it's one that cancels your access like immediately after you cancel the subscription, then that's bullshit. Marvin, good night. Thanks for hanging out. It was very nice to chat with you. Thanks for hanging out with us. We'll be around a little bit longer, but we're not staying up too much more. This battle with Stream Raiders is our last one. Two. Now we do a decrease. But yeah, I think um, I might be able to swing a stream like a Tuesday, like a Tuesday afternoon-ish, but it would be shorter for sure. Because I have that class from 11 a.m. to noon, and then I have a class at... 6 30 p.m. So potentially we'll have to see what works. I'm glad I was able to come by tonight. Me too. We'll mark all of our decreases to make sure we know where we're at. Do, do, do. I think I was think going back to that like IRL streaming thing we were talking about and I think there might be a way I think like uh, I want to say Streamlabs well Streamlabs has the mobile app and I know you can do mobile overlays in their app. I just wonder if there's a different way to do it. It's too bad there's no like mobile version of OBS. Also, I feel like I can see it now. We'll go out and we'll try and go like on a nature walk and then Everybody's just gonna be like, oh no, the stream is dropping, the, the quality is terrible, it's freezing, it's freezing, and that would be severely upsetting. You saw it today was Sunday, but it's already Monday. It is technically Monday, yes. You could always zoom to your home OBS. Um... No, I moved. I moved my hair. My hair's right here. Like, not my hair. The microphone is right here. My hair didn't do anything. Could always zoom to your home OBS. Um, balloon Dan, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? My hair, I moved my microphone to the opposite side of where I usually put it. Specifically so my hair would not get in the way. Just for that reason. Uh, this is two. We're ready for another decrease. Wow, this is going quickly. No, and then I split the yarn. Fuck. Mm. Yep, this is making for some tension on the yarn. Great snow pepper. Oh, there were there were two people that were here for the pepper conversation. It was Fluky and someone else. 
was it where or it was I don't know who it was when we had that whole discussion about people thinking my name was Pepper which is fine because I don't know Pepper's not the worst name like Pepper's kind of a cute name in order to get your normal overlays you could use your normal OBS to window capture Zoom app on your computer and use your phone Zoom app to connect to that with Dan at home to connect Zoom up. He would, whatever I would do would have to be something that I can operate all on my own. I could not rope him into that responsibility for my stream. He does more than, more, he does far more than his fair share of like things around our house and that is a boundary for us, is that, like, my stream stuff is pretty much all me. Which is probably why some of my stuff is not as cool as other people's, because I don't know all the fancy effects and stuff yet. That was two, so we're ready for this decrease. But that is an interesting idea about using Zoom. I could potentially do something like that. Because I do have, I do have an enterprise Zoom account, so I can I don't have limitations like I would with a free one. But I could also use, I could also potentially use um, the Streamlabs app to come up with an overlay that's either the same or very similar. I think I just haven't looked into it. A name like that, you'd have to go to medical school just so you could become Dr. Pepper. Absolutely not. I am confident there are plenty of people with the last name Pepper who are doctors, and I'm sure they get so much of that. And like those kind of things would like those kind of things are never as amusing as people think they are. A PhD does also work because you are still a doctor, correct? Correct. But usually, usually doctors don't go by doctor and then first name. Because the whole thing was that people thought Pepper was my first name. And my first name sounds nothing like that. And um, that's one, two. Oh, fuck. And I need to take this stitch out. because this is a decrease. Oh, come on. What the heck? Did, what did I do? All right, there we go. And there's one left over? What? Guess we'll have to count and see if I did it right. Mm, I know quite a few that go by the first name, especially if you have a difficult to pronounce last name. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. That is true. Can relate. And really going by only the last name is ego. Yeah. Names are weird. Like your parent, your mother pooped out a kid and then they gave it a label and like they pick a name and a label for their offspring based on whatever the fuck. And then like that label follows that person for their whole life. But like, what if they pick the wrong one? What if they pick the wrong one? Because my name, I don't think my name suits me. I don't like my name, so I don't use it. Um, and I've, I've thought about changing my name but I also can't think what other name would suit me. That's why I've always liked the idea of multiple middle names oh, to give like options of names to go by. That's fair. And then some places that have some, there's some, I don't know, places, cultures, countries, whatever, 
where multiple middle names are common, and then there's some where no middle names are common. Like, I think it's, I want to say it's Poland, Polish people. In Polish culture, traditionally, they don't use middle names. That's what I've always heard anyway. The more, the better. Names have personally attached, and no one can guess that before birth. <clears throat> Even at birth, like, you can't, you don't know who that person is yet. They just, they are very fresh. You don't know them. You don't know them yet. Eh. It's very, it's incredibly weird to me when <clears throat> people are expecting a baby and they, like, pick out a name ahead of time and then they like refer to the unborn child by name before it's born it's really weird to me oh god if anyone needs multiple names with multiple spellings it's both oh. what do you mean let's let's discuss I have, I have several names that are all very long, and I don't like any of them. All right, let's just stuff this snail. Actually, let me cross off that row, that round. We're almost done with this snail. Guess how you say this. Oh yeah, Polish spellings. Those are fun. Um, Krasuski. Krasuski. Something like that. I have a name that's apparently hard to pronounce, so I'm, I tend to do a decent job at some, th like, weird looking names, but not always when the, if the letters are given pronunciations that are not phonetic, then yeah, all bets are out the window. Sheshesky? Yeah, like when names are given pronunciations that don't go with the letters, then yeah, all the rules go out the book. All the, all the rules go out the window. I almost said all the rules go out the book. It doesn't make any sense. Snow Peepsy. Ew. Ugh. No. No, no, no. <clears throat> I'm really annoyed that I don't have the name Snow Peep on Instagram because some other fucking person has it. But I have that name literally everywhere else. So it's really annoying that on literally any platform, I am Snow Peep. But on Instagram, because that person took it, I have underscore Snow Peep. And I, it's just really annoying. I get why you go by the shorthand one. Um, because I used, I mean... Oh, I explained. Um, so, Fluky, are you just asking for the origin of that name? I did explain it earlier, but for you, I will explain it again. Um, so, in... Hold on. Yeah, you were here. I know. So, um... So I start, it started in like very, or like in 2001, maybe. Um, like Calvin and Hobbes comics, yes. Um, Calvin makes all those snowmen, blah, blah, blah. There was some joke in some Calvin and Hobbes about not eating yellow snow because it's pee. And so the first iteration was just snow pee, like the word snow and the word pee with two E's. Um, I started out with that, and I also was like, oh, snow peas are a delicious and really cute vegetable. And so I kind of connotated it to that. And also, um, so that was the first iteration. 
I also liked the way the letters looked together when I wrote them out in a like, I don't know if it was like a calligraphy or a graffiti script that I was doing artistically at the time. Um, and then, um, then it evolved from that and I want my name to be Yarn Snow Soak Snow. It wasn't, it was not as cut and dry as that. So it wasn't, that was not the thought process. And it wasn't the reason. The, the yellow snow joke was just the thing that got the wheels turning in my head, turning the words over in my head and all of that stuff. Anyway, so then, I don't know. Time went, time happened, things evolved, whatever. And there was some, I don't know, I don't know how little Bo Peep got involved, okay? I have no idea, but somehow that got involved. And um, my AOL messenger, my AIM messenger username was Little Snow Peep, like Snow Peep as it is spelled now with little at the front. And then over time, I got rid of the little portion because I think, I think there wasn't enough characters to enter all of that on some platforms, so it just kind of got dropped. My guess is that you had light skin and a urine fetish. I mean, I've always had light skin, but that's the only true part of that. Contact is the reason. What? What do you mean? What? I like how somehow along the way you added more P to the name and somehow it's less about urine. Uh-huh. Why everything happens. Um, Balloon Dan, please explain. P. P, get it. I do get it. I do. Very clever. Yep, I've never been overly into urine in any way, I promise. Yeah. I mean, urine isn't gross, but like... It really never had anything to do with pee, I promise. <sighs> I just think jokes about not eating yellow snow are funny. <laughs> you could just tell people that you have light skinned and are a voyeur. That fits. I mean, everyone's a little bit of a voyeur. At least a little bit, aren't they? If being honest. Although some people are way more into that. But, I mean, that's not wrong but that's also not the reason. I would, I would not use that as my, my reasoning for my username because that, that just ain't it. Not a PP voyeur. Mm, nope. Not at all. Ooh, I get 10 uh, Warby scrolls. That's neat. I like those. Yeah, we are not not starting anything else. Oh, I should have, I should have collected these a while ago. My bad. I was trying to like, I don't know, be polite or something and not like spend time on these screens. Mm -hmm. 10 units to level 20. All right, working on it. Yeah, not, not one of those voyeurs. Oh, we can upgrade. Sweet. Oh, and this one. Excellent. Anyway, anyway, my neck hurts. College prop, you're still here. Excellent. Thanks for sticking around. I think he's referring to the science show from the past three, two, one contact where everything happens with its moniker. Oh, I don't think I know about that. That sounds interesting. I, the first place my brain went was to the Jodie Foster movie contact, which it's a pretty good movie, but do love me some Jodie Foster. So you're going to admit you aren't going anywhere and start the next battle. No, where I am going to go somewhere very shortly. I'm just debating on if I want to actually finish this. Because there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven rows left to finish the body of the snail. 
should I go to bed or should I finish the last seven rows? Let's do this. Oh, go to there. That's the screen I want. No, that's not the screen I want. This is what I want. <clears throat> dun, dun, dun. Okay, here's here it is. There is a poll. I made a poll about what we should do, please vote is at the top of your chat. If you do not see the poll, please refresh the page and the chat, the, the poll should show up at the top of the chat. There. Such a good show. The theme, theme songs, lyrics, three, two, and contact. It's the secret. It's the moment when everything happens. It's the answer. It's the reason why, the reason why everything happens. Wow. Good disco music to it. Interesting. Um, Balloon Dan, if you put something in Discord, can you put something in Discord in the live stream channel about that show or like a link or something? Because I would like to check that out. That sounds like something I would like. Okay, so we have to do two rounds of single crochet all the way around. There's a poll and part, part of the poll is like, do I go to sleep or finish the last seven rows? which the poll is for 10 minutes so i will do the last few i'll keep i'll keep working on this for those 10 minutes at least and this way this way yes you made mexican hot chocolate last night whole milk dark chocolate vanilla, cinnamon and cayenne you just got it just got cold enough again for it nice nice i like I like hot chocolate, I just never really think about it. It also barely gets cold enough for that stuff now, here anyway. Eh, nope, take this off. I don't know, are there any more origin stories about things that anyone would like to ask about? While we continue encouraging everyone to vote in the poll, I know a lot of people have left and are lurking because they are asleep. But if you are around and you are awake and you are hearing this, please do me a huge favor and vote in this poll. What? I'm thinking about going for a card ride. At this time of night, you're crazy. It's raining and stormy and I could drive to the edge of a dune and look out into the ocean, but I'd have to warm up my car up for like 10 to 15 minutes. Wear fleet. Stay home. What the fuck, man? No. <laughs> no. At this time of night, you're crazy. Are you calling wear fleet crazy or me crazy for wanting people to participate in a poll at this time of night? Or both. Maybe both. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It depends. Do you have the perfect playlist at the ready? Oh, god damn it. Because if so, absolutely. I got a good one. What's your playlist? And I could roll a thick joint. I cannot roll any joints and I broke my fucking pipe. This is what is left of it. This, this is what is left. Look, I'm so fucking upset. I broke it yesterday like half an hour before a movie night started because I was cleaning it and I was like shaking out the water so I could set it there to dry and I looked over this way at something and I was like shaking it kind of in the sink and my stupid hand I smacked it on the side of the sink and and guess what else guess what else the fucking, the Etsy shop where I bought it in August has mysteriously disappeared. I had this thing favorited and saved for like a few years 
before I bought it. And I was like, oh, maybe I can just buy another one. No, the Etsy shop has disappeared. And I found the Instagram for the artist and they posted something in December and I sent them a message asking if there was anywhere that I could purchase their glassware. They have not responded and I do not expect a response. I am highly upset. Oh man, no question. Why are you still here? Do I need to mail you a joint? I mean, sure, if you mail me a joint, I will smoke it. I like how you kept its corpse to keep you mad. I didn't keep the corpse to keep me mad. I was debating about if I could attempt to glue it back together. So at first I rounded up all the pieces because I wanted to make sure I had all the pieces because if I didn't have all the pieces, I was gonna need to get the shop back out and shop back every inch of the bathroom because I don't want any glass getting into kitty paws. So I collected as many pieces as I could find to make sure I had them all. And then I put them on this tray, this little plate, which is actually a vintage Pan Am airplane dining plate. Um, I put it on here because I was cleaning off the bathroom counter before I got ready for stream earlier. Kapuli, have you voted in the poll? I guess the next stream will be about glass blowing. No, no, no. I've been picturing you naked. Oh, Jesus, what is this? What is this? Yeah, where fleet? Who you been picturing naked? I want to like open this in spot. Maybe if I click on it again, it will. Oh, that's so stupid. Mm -mm -mm. I can send tasteful names, just ask. Oh my, is that a pipe? It is, Pilot, it is my broken pipe. The one that I fucking broke yesterday just before movie night. And I'm very sad about it because I don't have any rolling papers or any other apparatus from which to partake in the devil's lettuce. Do, do, do. Where is that playlist? Uh, where, Fleet? I can't get to your... I can't get to your playlist in... Oh, wait. Yes, you can. I was like, here's the playlist. Why can't I find it? It was in front of my face. Disregard. Interesting. All right, X that. How did it break? I was cleaning it and it had been cleaned and I was like holding it vertically to like let the water drain out. And I was like shaking it a little bit and I looked away for a second and my hand smacked it on the side of the sink. Also, please vote if you have not voted. The poll has a minute or so left. Please vote. Because your votes do matter. Ah. And the, oh yeah, so Pilot, the kicker, the kicker was that um, the Etsy shop where I bought the pipe has disappeared and no longer exists. And this thing is so cute. It has a rainbow on it. Look how cute. Look how cute. I don't think I will find any more. Where is the poll? At the top of the chat. Top of the top of chat. If you don't see it, refresh. You have like a minute. Top of the chat. Top of the chat. Is this your first day on Twitch? Fluky G's. Do you want a seedling or two? <gasps> what? Sure. That sounds cool. Sure. Wherefully, you know you're allowed to. You can send me whatever. I'm not picky. I love getting mail. I haven't gotten anything at my PO box in months and months and I just renewed it. It was, it's like $91 for six months of my PO box and it just sits there empty all the time. No one sends me stuff anymore. 
top of the chat to you, ma'am. I know, right? Donde el apoyo. Sorry, Spanish, not great. I posted a picture of some of them in the Discord earlier. I don't remember. People post a lot of things. Send you something. Remind me next time I'm here. Um, I wish there was a way to get Johnny to remind us of things. Like, I wish there was a command to get the chat bot to, like, add, like, add a note. And then you could put, like, the, the date that you wanted to be reminded of it or something. It's probably asking too much. You're in n almost a sleep mode. We had six votes for finish the last rose. All right. It's probably something I should not do, but here we are. Do, 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 do. Seventy-five percent. Two people voted. Go to bed. If you voted, go to bed. Can you make yourself known in chat? I'm just curious. Just curious. All right, fine. I will start the next fucking battle. Again, probably gonna kick myself for that, but... Well, that looks messed up. Okay. Wow, Cormac McCarthy there. Wait, what? What? Why? What do you mean? Um, let's do that. Please make yourself known and anyone who voted like you as well. That's not Cormac. No. I was just curious, like, who are, who are the responsible people here? That's all I wanted to know. I just wanted to know who... Who are these nice people who are looking out for my well-being rather than entertainment value? Because <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. Like, I don't know. That was my motivation. Don't speak up. She gonna ban you. Bullshit. I don't ban people. I didn't even ban that stupid motherfucker the other day. I still wonder, like, because this is my brain. I overthink everything. And I still was wondering, like, should I have banned him? Was it okay that I let that go on as long as it did? I don't fucking know. I just don't like banning people. Plus, you know, trolls tend to show themselves out, so. That's Joseph, my God, Joseph McCarthy? I don't know if I know who that is. The only McCarthy thing I know of is like, wasn't that like the, the trials where they like thought people were communists and it was all that stupid shit? I think that's a trap to find out the guilty ones. It's not a fucking trap. I just want to know who the nice people are who are looking out. I'm sorry the microphone did a thing. I didn't do it. I didn't do anything. It just happened. I just saw it. What did the motherfucker do? Um, so recently I had a, um, a go live notification that just says Snow Peep has mentioned you in their stream because it's clickbait and it's hilarious. And this person who I think, I guess they had recently followed the channel. I don't know if they came in from a raid. I don't know how they found the channel, but, um, they started sending me whisper messages on Twitch saying like, I saw that you mentioned me, what did you say? Tell me what you said, blah, 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 like all this stupid shit. Like they sent me like six, a series of six messages over my four hour stream. Instead of coming to the stream to ask, they were like sending me all these messages demanding to know what I said about them. And I couldn't tell if they were like being sarcastic or serious or what. And then the other night they showed up in stream and were like demand, they were like all caps demanding to know what I said about them in stream constantly. And people in the chat explained, they were like, dude, it's just a notification, blah, blah, blah. And this person would not let it go. And like, it was kind of funny, but it also was like kind of annoying. 
and and then this person started being kind of aggressive and they were like calling me names and I was like you can call me a slut that doesn't actually mean anything and we don't slut shame here we also don't ban trolls we well we ban them for low effort or Christian does um I usually let them tire themselves out because I don't deal with their shit I don't take their shit I don't give them what they want um and apparently completely found out that he was streaming on his own channel at the same time he was like playing a game with like no mic and no camera or anything like that but he was taking the time during his own stream to come into my stream and yell at me so he was essentially inviting himself over to my house and then yelling at me about it um and then he <clears throat> he threatened to murder all of my mods which was weird because no mods were present at the time because Bigby's busy and Christian's busy with renovations recently which is why we're looking for a third mod um but so when he threatened to murder my mods and then he wanted to ban everybody from my channel and I was like that's weird we've never been to your channel but sure say whatever and then some people went ahead and reported his account because he was making death threats which is perfectly fine thing to report and then his account disappeared so that was that once he started making threats it was maybe time to go right right McCarthyism. yeah you get accused of communism and in order to let yourself off the hook you have to name other communists correct hope kitten 19 hello hello how are you this fine night welcome in I'm still not sure it wasn't a bit. Yeah, I really have no idea. Like, there's too many of us here who are, like, actually autistic and others who are some variation of neurodiverse. Like, there's too many of us here to to know, to ever know if it was for real or for fun. Hi, Vengeance. How are you? How you been? I saw you popped in recently and it was like you said something and it was in the middle of like a chaotic moment and I felt bad because I don't think I said anything to you. I vote that guy be the third mod. No. Absolutely not. I wonder if the FBI could get involved in that threat. Or now he he probably does have a new account now. I have no clue. You wanted to find a stream to chill on where you cut a truly unholy amount of bias tape. Oh my. Well, you found the right place. Thanks for hanging out here. How much bias tape do you have to cut and what the heck is it for? I have made my own bias tape and once I figured out the way to do it, I actually really liked it. But yeah, it can, it can be really fucking annoying. I'd like to know what if you said something and what if you would have told him everything, what then? What? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, I wonder if the reasoning behind it all, like what was he trying to achieve? Correct. Correct. Like if it was a joke, like a bit thing, sure, but then it like didn't stop. So maybe the person is like, I don't know, misguided or not all there or something and took it very literally and is paranoid or something I have no idea I don't honestly care to really give it attention and time to be discussed but that's fine we're just here hanging out and we can talk about whatever I think there's some around 50 yards on this continuous strip it's for sunset dragons more do I have no idea what that is is that a cosplay thing or an anime thing or I don't know what that is. If he's a streamer, he'd be stupid if he made affiliate. Yeah, like Vengeance. This person was streaming on their own channel. And then during that came into my own channel to like actively spam my chat. <laughs> like what? I am curious, like, how many followers he had and how many viewers he was streaming for at the time. But I never went over there. I've never visited that person's channel, so I don't know. Eh. 
There is a fuzz stuck to my hand. OMG, you're stream reading and I am. Um, I decided to bring back stream readers. If it's a stream where we're just hanging out here at the desk, I don't mind it. But if we're sewing across the room or something, I'm not going to run it because I don't want to run back and forth all the time. Oh, yeah, you do have to submit your tax info. That's true. I feel like the mouthpiece of my water bottle smells like... It smells like weed smoke, which is weird, but also I just cleaned my water bottle today with bleach, so who knows. I got the not all there vibes, but can't be sure. Right, we will literally never know. Zero viewers, not surprised. I kind of assumed that. He also said that I'm next. He will ban me. Oh yes, he was going to ban Capuli and also make him his bitch. And we told him that he could not have both. He must pick because they are, in fact, mutually exclu exclusive. Uh, so it is cosplay. So that Dragon is an artist. Reasons characters. Oh, I guess couture fashion. Oh, that's from Brave. I see. I don't know if I actually saw Brave. But that is really cool. I like seeing stuff like that reimagined as couture and stuff like that. That's really awesome. If somebody threatened to stalk a female streamer in your city, but she left, some mainland guy going to look for a Japanese girl in Kaimuki. Yeah, have fun with that. So it's probably trivial to most people out there that listen to music regularly. The less depressed I've been of late, the more I've been listening to, and it's been pretty great. Okay, let me reread this. The less depressed you've been... Okay, so as you've been less depressed, you've listened to more music? Because I, um... Bluey, I can kind of relate to that, actually. One more innocent thing happened to Glorgana last night. 14 year old kid popped in, was trying to get her to rate his channel. He kept like streaming for 20 minutes and would pop back in and heavily hint that it would be super cool if she rated. It was weird and funny, especially they fixed it on her so much. Yeah, that's really weird. I have no regrets making my channel 18 plus. Thanks for that. You're enjoying it. Oh, that's so nice. I um saved it and i was gonna give it a listen maybe like tomorrow or something why he thought taxidermy and finger skateboard tricks went together i'm unsure i mean in my mind they do like i am 100 percent certain like glorgana lives in chicago and i live a couple hours south of that but if we lived closer and we weren't in a pandemic i'm confident that glorgana and i would 1000 percent be irl friends i wonder if he got spooked when i said i reported him maybe i don't i don't know i have no idea um fluky yeah i can kind of relate to that i got my antidepressants january 3rd so i'm a couple weeks in and it's it's definitely helping some um but now that school's gonna start we'll really find out for sure and i might need to up it a little bit after the first month but it is helping and i have um I have wanted to listen to music more and I have sought out music more which and I have been able to enjoy it more because previously like I just don't really care and it doesn't do anything for me so I do know what you mean I don't listen to music on the regular she's going on the skinwalker ranch trip oh is there like an actual trip being organized somewhere I thought you were just suggesting random shit. <laughs> oh, this is one crochet and then a decrease. Okay, we have to stuff more stuff in here. Not actually. Oh. So you're saying Glorgana is going on the hypothetical Skinwalker Ranch trip. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Okay, this is totally random and maybe a little bit left field, but um, is there a specific meaning when people put TTV after their name on Twitch? Or I see some people, if they're on Twitter or Instagram and they're a streamer, they put TTV after their username. Does that mean anything specifically? 
Oh, so it was on your mind because you talked about it. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. While your depression was worse, music just gave my brain more time to fixate on negative thoughts. Oh, so you'd gravitate toward podcasts and talk radio. It means they stream on Twitch. Right. Oh, does TTV stand for twitch.tv? Because I didn't actually realize that. <laughs> no, I was thinking, um, I was kind of thinking of changing my Instagram username to just snowpeepttv. Um, because I felt like that might be better than underscore snowpeep like it is now. Because at least if people search, they'd be more... Right. They'd probably be more likely to find the right page instead of starting with an underscore, you know? But I just wanted to make sure that I, like, understood what that meant before using it. Uh, more stuffing. Stuffing is over here. My favorite is the people on Twitch with TTV in their name. Yeah, the people who are on, yeah, that's a bit like, that's like wearing, that's like wearing the band shirt to the concert. Have I ever told why I joined Twitch originally? I don't know if you have, Kapuli. I would love to know the story. No. Where? No. I feel like that implies things. And that's just not how you and I are. We are pals and friends. Because you are a genuinely, like, fun person to chat with. And I would consider you my friend. But combining names, that, that, that's... No. <laughs> Unless it was, like, on a game, like, Champed Up or something, where you had to combine people combine like a monster made up of these two people then sure not in a relationship sense i know i know that and you know that but anyone else seeing it would think that so i might just change it to have a ttv after it because that does not look it does not look awful and at least if people search they can find me i'm just really like would i be would i be really like mm, would it be would it be terribly out of place if I were to message the person with the Snowpeep Instagram account and like asking them to change their name slightly? Would that be like horrifically bad thing to do? <laughs> Cause I thought I've thought about it. Out of line, that's the phrasing I was thinking. That's what I was looking for and I couldn't quite get it. <laughs> I just add where to things. I don't actually think you should add where to your name. I I didn't think so. <laughs> Pretty standard social media stuff. Though usually you offer to buy it from them. But Instagram names are free. I would need like help crafting that message. Although that did happen to me once with roller derby names. It is a whole story. I don't know if I've ever told it on stream. We were watching Let's Play videos on YouTube. And you notice you had a Twitch link there. So I decided that maybe I will check out what this person does in streams because the YouTube videos are a separate thing. So you made an account. But I've been on Twitch from early 2020, but I still haven't seen any of her live streams. So you came to Twitch to watch a specific account and you've never watched their account. Have they just never streamed in that time? Yeah, it's a small account messenger. I would maybe not mention you're a streamer since she might want money. Yeah, I ain't no pro streamer. Like I said, this this channel does not pay any bills. It does not break even. No, chan other people in channels my size do much better. <laughs> yeah, I would... Um, maybe that can be a group project for a different day to help craft a message to this this person. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I also, like, I felt awkward messaging them about it because, like, they have more followers on Instagram than I do, so it also makes me feel a little bit weird about it because they'll be like, this account is tiny because their account is bigger, even though they are a tiny account, too. 
I did mention roller derby. I played roller derby since 2012, although no one has been playing roller derby for the last two years. Can't be time changed. It's mostly because I didn't follow her. Ah, uh, I see. I thought that I would just search again another day, and then I found something else on Twitch and Fresh even existed. That sounds about right. Sounds about right. Their account is also tiny. Also tiny. I know it is. I know it's tiny, but their account is bigger than mine, so I think like no. You play roller? Get the fuck out! Where? Where do you play roller derby? That's so fun. I've only actually I've found one other streamer who plays roller derby who I've actually met in person and like I. I don't know that I know them, but they are like a roller derby acquaintance and I've skated with them, which is really funny because they are also in Makers and Crafting. Um, Kapuli, have you bothered to search for their account like while we're having this conversation? Which one did I just do? Okay, I'm doing... Oh, I'm still stuffing this. That's what I'm doing. I was like, where am I at on this? Terrible instances. Why did I why did I do the poll and why did I stick with it? Maybe on my two-year Twitch anniversary, I should look her up and go there and tell her she's the reason I've been on Twitch for the past two years. <laughs> do what you need to do, man. I'm curious what the account is. Like, I want to know now. <gasps> Get the fuck out! You're my neighbor! I've I've played corn fed. I've played corn fed. Get the fuck out. Oh my gosh. How long have you been with them? Cause like I might have skated against you. <laughs> uh, so so there's like a seven degrees of Kevin Bacon, but in roller derby it's like one or two degrees. It's it's ridiculous. Landlock Newfie, hi friend. Nice of you to stop in. I joined for a specific streamer. I watched only her for a while and then on a whim hopped onto a maker channel while I was sewing. Now I'm friends with that streamer and I'm one of their mo Oh, that's nice. What, um, Hope Kitten, what channel was that with the sewing that you watched? That's well. You've been with them since 2015. I feel like I probably skated against you. Because I'm just over in, like, Champaign, Illinois. So... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mama Samu. Hmm. So the derby team here is is or was um, Twin City Derby Girls, which is such a terrible name. Don't even get me started. Oh, wow. She has a lot of cosplay stuff. That's really cool. Neat. Um, so question, where and Dan and others talking about emailing that person, or not emailing, messaging that person about their Instagram name. If I should not tell them that I'm a streamer because they might want money, what motivation should I give them for needing them to, like, what reasoning should I give them for needing them to change their name? The derby world is so small. Oh yeah, it is very tiny. It's ridiculous. Like I've definitely skated against corn fed with one or two different two different leagues that I've been with. And um we could have if you've played in mixers, we've probably skated with each other. Hilarious. I mean, I guess maybe say you're a small time makers and craft streamer and you'd like the name. That's not my very, that's not very compelling. Oh, but I could. Hmm. Okay, so everybody in chat right now, hold on, hold on. Follow, follow me on this. Um, fo follow me here with this, not like literally and figuratively. Um, if you're in chat right now, 
you have Instagram, click on the link I just put in chat, and go follow my Instagram account, because if we can beef up my followers a little bit, then I will feel better about going to this person and asking them to change their name so that mine can just be Snowpeef by itself. Um, but I think it would be, I could realistically go from the angle of like having a business and being like, I use this account for my business. So it would be really, you know, helpful <laughs> if I could have that, have the correct name. I don't know. Uh -huh, the motivation. Yes, I think that's a good question. It's a pain to shed all your followers and regain them. Wait, what? Who's talking about shedding followers? That's not happening. I'm not getting rid of my Instagram account. Not at all. You can change your username without trashing your account. You've got a couple of friends and your stepmom who play earlier. Oh, that is really cool. Where at, uh, Hope Kitten? Or jump her with the roller king and make her give up the goods. That's literally not possible because it's the internet. Guest a stream with her or make her something on stream. We don't even know that this person gives a fuck about those things. Do you want me to talk to her? I can be very persuasive. Can you though, Capuli? What would you do? No, she will lose all her if she gives you the account. What? I don't think so. I don't think that's how that works. You can change your username and you don't lose them. Rose City, okay, so Portland, Portland. Rose City is the largest roller derby league in the world. They have, they have like 500 skaters or they did at one point. Yeah, the username can just be changed. It's not as earth moving as all that. Mm. More stuff. You're all terrible influences tonight. That was from Seinfeld's pilot episode. Nice, nice. This is a classic social media marketing issue. If only we had someone here who specialized in social media marketing. Man, I wish. Like, I, I dropped out of marketing as my major too early because social media hadn't really taken off yet. But man, having a degree in social media marketing would be so useful. A like IRL friend of mine locally, <clears throat> we don't really hang out. She's incredibly busy. She is the creative director for one of the local park districts. And she like her park district regularly wins awards throughout the state. Like she is incredibly good at what she does. And she also does like reselling part-time on the side and she's just naturally phenomenal at it and she like makes youtube videos and does the whole thing because like that's literally what she does for her job so it's just second nature and i wish i wish i could have like half of that <laughs> like that ability and knowledge and ease of doing all that and knowing what to do with all that data because i don't oh, man the data is I love the information in the data, but I never know what to do with it. Oregon and Washington. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, the other part is stuffed. This is one single crochet and one decrease. I also like how adding that emote to Johnny's message makes it throw across, the, throw the emote across the screen. I don't know. I think it's, I just think it's really nice that Johnny has a sub and can use words. One, this will be a decrease. Uh, no, this way. Because I also, like, I've been getting very slowly back into reselling on the internet, but I am far more casual about it. Um, but I, I was going to make up, like, cards, a card to throw into each item, like, when I send it out, because that's just a good thing to do. Um, 
and what was I going to say? Um, oh, it's because it's a good thing to do. And I would love to have something on there that's just like, I would love to have like the symbols of the different social media places that I want to use and just put my, say that like, this is my username on all of them. But because of the fucking Instagram thing, I can't. I have to throw Instagram separately and it just ruins all of it. It, it ruins my branding, okay? It really does. <laughs> Oh, or, mm, I don't know. Another idea, potentially, is that I could, I could, um, I could change my username across the, well, I could message this person first and be like, hey, can I just, can you, can you modify your username in some way so I could have that one? And if she says no, I could just change my username across the board to Snowpeep TTV everywhere, but I would still also make new accounts to to um what is the word? Not obscure, to occupy the Snowpeep username across all of those platforms anyway. No, I would not make it plural. No, that bitch should make hers plural. I can't follow you on Instagram because you might guess it's me and it would blow the cover for my stocking account. Kipuli, it will not, it will not blow the cover. Please just do me that favor. Do you have a non-stocking account? Squatting. <laughs> Username squatting. Winterfleet, no, you are not helping. Person who is not helping. This, this guy yeah right here but i i appreciate your humor i know we're just joshing around and yes i will start the battle in just a second no i only stock oh my gosh okay, just follow it i won't I won't notice there's other people who have followed me today. I promise, I promise not to look at any of the accounts who have followed me today, okay? I will never look at them. How is that? I will remove the notifications. Like, you can swipe and erase the notification. So, when I look at my phone after stream, completely, if you go and follow my Instagram account, when I get done with stream, I will just go and delete the notifications of people following me. And I never look at my followers list because who's got the time? And it will be okay. I am not gonna stalk anybody. I think y'all really don't understand just how busy I am all the time. Not busy, but like how far behind I always am to the point that I will never get caught up with all the things I have to do. I'll even go follow my softcore Instagram account to make you feel better. You have a softcore Instagram account? Because now, now I'm intrigued. <laughs> what about trademarking the name? <gasps> Ooh. 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 There's a suggestion. What about that? I've never considered it. I have no idea what even goes into that. Uh, college prof, do you know what goes into that? Can you? Tell us a little about that option. That might be neat. I know people always joked about like, oh, if you want, want to be really serious about your roller derby name, you can trademark it. And there are some skaters who have trademarked their names because they, their name has been their business. But yeah, I don't know the first thing about that. That's an interesting idea. Dun, dun, dun. 
and then throw some of this. Done. Um, wait, what? She's got a whole notebook with your pronouns and everything in it. Oh my gosh, I do not. Guys, I even stopped writing down the sub names for stars because I ran out of pages in that tiny, tiny notebook I was using and I'm just too fucking busy to make stars all the time. I might make stars at some point in the future, but like, guys, come on now. And nobody got the time. Trademark it and then sue her, oh God. Then there are those who change their Twitch name every two months. Oh no, I will never be one of those people. I am far too consistent for that. Google search, and that was a way to get an Instagram white name taken away from another user. Oh, interesting. Interesting. College Prof, thanks for that idea. Um, if there's any straightforward information about, or quick information about how to trademark a name, that would be cool. I liked when you made stars all the time. I did too. I like making stars. I just, um, I, li I literally ran out of pages in that notebook. It wasn't a very thick notebook. Um, and then, I don't know. I don't know. I guess I could start again. I'd have to go back to, let me, let me get the notebook if it's the right one. And I could potentially tell you when I last. Well, maybe not. I was thinking I could tell you the last date that I wrote down stars, but and I think that notebook is in a box, so I can't. Do you have a file on me? I do not. An old school binder full of evidence. Possible a cork notice board with notes and red yarn. No. You flatter yourself. You flatter yourself all you want, but you are wrong. The way I've been making bias tape for three hours and the strip isn't even fully cut out. That's that's how I roll, kitten. I mean, it never works that way for me. What the fuck is this? Oh dear. Oh dear, I just lost like five stitches, guys. This is not good. Or y'all. I don't want to say guys. I don't know. Somebody do a Google search about a trademark a name. Let's let's get at this from the right the the right angle. Both 90 degrees and correct. I'm not ironing it into shape tonight. Oh yeah, not tonight. That's another another step of the project for another day. One single crochet, one decrease. I actually just trademarked the name in the time we were talking about it. Um, you better fucking not have. Why the fuck would you register my name to you? I hope you're joking. Because that would not be cute. Like, I'd have a backup plan, but that would not be cute. Mm. Okay, so that's one. Mm, no, this is, this is the decrease. And no, close the stitch marker, fuck's sake. 12 more rows. You can do it. We can both do it. We have 12 rows and I have... Where'd it go? I have one, two, three. I have five rows left. God, this is not the speed I should be working at. Fuck. I don't want to stay up all night. I have school at 11 a.m. Wait, what stitch did I just do? Yeats, bro. Uh, amazing. I I am 100% here for that energy. What was the poll? The poll was um, to vote on if I should go to bed or if I should finish the last seven rows of this snail body. 
to finish it. And the poll voted to the winning option was to finish the last seven rolls. I think I have class. Um, the schedule says that the class starts tomorrow. So I assume I will get up and make my way over here to my computer and see if there's a Zoom meeting. If you become the leader of the Catholic Church, you should change the name to Pope Sneep. Oh my god. Oh my god. You have to fill out a form online. It's like 50 bucks. Is there a... Can you throw a link in the chat? Okay, so this is the single crochet. This will be a decrease. This gets really difficult at the end because this gets very tiny. No, I keep doing this wrong. Fuck. Mm, oh, wait. Uh, yes, okay. This is the single crochet. We go in. We have two. Then we go under again. Now we have three. Eh? No, we have three. And then we mark this. Oh, I mean, yeah, that, the result was finish the last seven rows. The University of Ten has no class tomorrow, which is why I'm still at my grandmother's. What, uh, Hope Kitten, what are you studying? What's your major? You are off tomorrow as well. I mean, I checked my class schedule. I didn't check, like, the university schedule. Let me look. Let me look. The spring calendar. The academic calendar. I will look right now. Mm. January 17th is the deadline to cancel registration. Um, it says January 18th is the first day of instruction for pop one and pop two. Oh, part of term. Okay, full 16 week semester says January 18th. So I guess that is Tuesday. So I guess I don't have a class tomorrow. I should probably just log in to the the online class website maybe that would tell me i just haven't logged in here i will just look at the class and find out for sure course schedule january 19th okay so i do not have class tomorrow that's good i'm a theater manager with a costume focus and apparel semi oh, that's so cool i love costuming oh my gosh i love that that's fantastic your sister was a theater major for a while. Yeah, I know a few people who've gone that route. You took the weekend to go see grandma and use her space for dye work. Oh, nice. That's really cool that you have, that you have grandparents around um, living and both nearby that you can do that. That's really, that's really awesome. Now she works for the Red Cross. Interesting how that, an interesting um, change, I guess. This is a single. And this will be the decrease. Then we go in here, do this. Yeah, too many stitch markers. And bias tape. Man, bias tape is no joke. Are you are you making it or are you using one of those little bias tape maker things? Cause the time that I made it, I just did it all freehand. I found it not difficult once I figured out how to do it, but she was behind the scenes management in theater. Okay. Sort of does a similar thing for Red Cross, although in theater it was also set design. 
Okay. I also don't know the word, but I know what you're talking about. Is that dramaturgy or is dramaturgy a different thing? Because I know somebody who was working on their master's in dramaturgy. And I don't know what dramaturgy is. One. And this will be our decrease. I think this is the last one. No, go back in. And then we have one single crochet. Can you hear this yarn like squeaking against the metal of the crochet hook? Stage management and set design. Maybe. Your fashion classes are stress. It's very different than theater costumes. Oh, I bet. I bet. That's probably kind of difficult because I'm sure like they're probably teaching you like different ways of doing things in each one. That would drive me nuts. Oh no, that's the wrong clip. Those are both correct terms. Yeah, I've heard both of those, but dramaturgy is the one that I don't know what that is. I guess I just could look it up. I just never bothered. Thanks for hanging out with me here tonight, everybody. I I super, super appreciate y'all like hanging out, chatting right now. This is really nice. Dramaturgy. Dramaturgy is the study of dramatic composition and the representation of the main elements of drama on the stage. That tells me nothing. What is it? A dramaturge is... A dramaturge is a dedicated person on the creative team whose primary task is to support the play's development by asking key questions, starting conversations, re researching, providing context, and helping the artists as they work together to tell the intended story. What? Since e since East... Wow. Since each piece of theater is unique, the role of a dramaturge is further defined on a project-by-project project basis. Each process requires a customized approach that begins with a deep understanding of the play and the generative artist's goals. Wow. I'm just... yeah, weird, weird. Can I post a link? Sure. Oh, take an Instagram username. Thanks. I will take a look at that. Thanks, college prof. I'll take a look at that. Um, your best metaphor is that the fashion environment in room is a neurotypical brain versus the theater being infinitely more chaotic, organized, neurotypical brain. I understand that metaphor. Ooh, so the, the fashion stuff would be difficult. I last semester, briefly, um, I was taking these courses in GIS, which is Geographic Information Science, and it's about like satellites and aerial imagery and making maps of the real world. And I loved it and I wanted to do more of it. So I was like, I should take a class that has, that's like more background on that. Because um, the first class I took, I really loved and it was taught within my major such as, which is natural resources and environmental science. And I had learned it under that umbrella, which was great. And it meshed in my brain, like the more chaotic, organized, neurodivergent, here's what you need to know, all that. And then um, I was like, let me take this geography class to get more background on the GIS stuff. And it was awful. I, I got in the first lecture the first day and I was lost immediately because they were going at it from like the super like math science angle like way too like uh, absolutely none of it <laughs> your favorite prop is a drama church oh she's also a theater and Africana black studies cross 
Neat. That's an interesting combination. <coughs> that makes sense. I've always looked at the dramaturgy as the play or production's historian. I could see that. That makes sense from what I was reading. That I think that's a good way to put it. If theater roles were majored in ploides, the dramaturges would be the ploidy. GIS is great. <clears throat> that that can is empty. Oh my gosh. I don't even know if ploides is even a correct way to say that. Hi Timber, welcome in. They do the big research things. That makes sense now. Um Oh, this is from 2019. We can see. Um, oh, that's about a deleted Instagram name. Oh, it's been used or acquired. It usually says it's unavailable. Get the name trademarked. Um, not too generic. Uh huh. All I need to do is make sure that someone else hasn't done it already. Excellent, excellent. Um, wait, what was? Change up that name. If none of the other methods work, then there's one more option. That's why Wait, which is why my prop teaches most of the theater history course. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I was just looking at the trademark thing. So let's click on the link in the article that college prop sent. Oh, trademarking a company name. I don't know that I needed to be a company. Um, how to trademark a name? Six simple steps. That's what I need. A company name versus a trademark. I want to read this. I really have to pee. I'm gonna BRB for a minute and go do that and I will come right back. But I'm gonna leave this on the stream readers page. Um, I'll be right back in just like two minutes.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry, the microphone's being a shit. I will buy a new Jeez, that's awful. It's so touchy. I'm so sorry. I will use some of the nice funds we received to, I guess, trademark my name and, um, I guess the combined total is more than that, but it's fine. Sounds like a broken wire inside the cable. Might be. I don't even know. <clears throat> Okay, so registering a business name. Yeah, I'm not opening a business. Um, a trademark is a symbol or word, slogan. Mm -hmm. The owner of a trademark has the right to prevent others from using marks that are confusingly similar. I wish I had like a proper logo of my name for streaming and my like presences with the snow peep name i wish i had like yeah a proper logo and shit but you know um i'm just reading about copyrights real quick in the u.s it's handled through the u.s patent and trade office okay <laughs> Common law trademark only protects rights in a specific geographic territory. Uh, a logo for time. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean? How would that even work? Mm, okay, this should be 12. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, we're all right. We have two rows of single crochet to do. What do you mean a logo for time management? I don't understand that. Go through, go through. Mm. Remember, trademark must be unique enough to distinguish yours from others that are in use. Yeah. Come on. Why do you need a logo? I don't need a logo. I just think sometimes that it would be nice and um, it would add some continuity. You know, sometimes I think it would be nice, but I don't know that I need one because I don't have one. So, yeah, we've gotten all this far, we've gotten this far without one. And maybe not even a logo. Maybe logo is the wrong word, but I don't know. Some type of symbol or icon or image that goes with my name. Because the profile picture that I use is very old. <laughs> it's very old. Can you draw? Um, I mean, kinda. Depends on what what it is. What is that? Go into the stitch. Thank you. And then it's a piece of cake. You just draw the logo. No, not even. Because I don't, I can't. Okay, so logo design is really hard. It's really hard to be good at it. 
I am not good at logo design when I went through school for graphic design originally. I'm not good at logo design because that's why I realized that I didn't want to do graphic design. I wanted to do the actual printing and I wanted to do the taking, take those creative ideas and... Oh my god, it's going nuts. Oh my gosh, it's like non-stop. What the fuck? Um, but yeah, that's why I realized I wanted to take other people's things and put them out into the world by printing them. So I got out of graphic design and got into the, the actual print shop end of things, which I enjoyed way more. Does it need to look like the logo of a multinational company? No, absolutely not. <clears throat> Absolutely not. Nah. No. Even if it was just like the name Snow Peep written in a specific font or stylized in some way, like that would be perfectly adequate. Adequate. Sorry. Like, it doesn't need to be anything fancy. Just something consistent to put in um, profile picture spaces, basically, I guess. I don't know. I haven't spent a lot of time thinking about it, to be honest. I must go to lurk mode for some time. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Capuli, for lurking and thanks for hanging out and being excellent. Please consider using your stalker account to follow my Instagram. Um, okay, this needs to be the second round of single crochet. And then, after we do this one, we put our last bits of stuffing inside. Do, do, do. Oh, come on. This is really difficult when the opening is now very small. Where fleet? Did you fall asleep? What are you doing? Hope kitten, how much bias tape do you have left for tonight? No, don't split the fucking yarn. Thank you. Ay, ay, ay. So quick when you just do single crochets all the way around and it's just really nice. going to get really annoying after this because it's going to be all decreases. All decrease and then all single crochet. And then we close up the butthole. I can barely stay awake. Oh my gosh. I enjoyed this stream and I have to catch many more in the future. Um, College Prof, thank you so much for coming in and um, thank you so much for that donation that really was quite surprising and it's hugely hugely appreciated i think it's going to go towards replacing this faulty microphone cord 
and uh, potentially trademarking my username. So thank you for that, really. That helps make those things possible. And I hope we'll see you around. Um, if you use Discord, we do have a, an active, lovely Discord community. Um, you can click that link, and all we ask is that you set your pronouns in the reaction roles in the pronouns channel, and that will give you access to everything. Um, I normally stream Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday evenings. Um, right now, Friday evenings and Sunday evenings, and I'm working out something in the, for midweek because I have evening classes Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So um, as long as you, yeah, you're followed, so you should get notified the next time I'm live. And thanks for, thanks for hanging out all this time. I really have enjoyed chatting with you. And I hope you have a nice sleep. Go that way, okay. All right, so now, now we put in the last bits of stuffing. Oh my gosh, it's real, it's real. We're gonna have a finished slug. Because is, sna is a snail without a shell, is that really anything more than a slug? Because I think it's just a slug at that point. But I've also never um, looked up the difference or anything. Is anybody still hanging out who has not fallen asleep? Because if so, I would like to know that because it's nice to have somebody to chat with while I'm finishing this up. Oh no, people are dying. I hope we win. You're close to sleep, but you're here. All right, good to know. Good to know. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate that. And thanks for coming to movie night and being um, so active in the community since you started hanging out. It is noticed and it's appreciated. And bring in your friend on board. That was unexpected. Uh, Lee seems nice. You're building a car in My Summer Car Game. What is that game? I've never heard of it. I don't like cars, but it's strangely captivating. Fair enough. Fair enough. We'll start this one, but this is definitely the last one. I'm here. I'm just crocheting, so I'm not chatting much. No worries. No worries. Thanks for being here. It will be nice to have this finished. Because I started this in October. And I made a smaller snail. It was for my celebration of one year streaming. I made two snails um, as part of a contest. They were like prizes for a contest instead of just doing this outright giveaway. Um, we had one that could be won through random drawing and the other one was won by the person who had the most points in the competition. So Zelku won the points in the competition which was for a small snail that is already made in a box somewhere. And the big snail was won by Christian, who is my longtime mod of the channel. Oh, I should place a unit. Let's do that. And we'll just do all of that. Good enough. Time flies. It really does. It really, really does. Although, since starting antidepressants um, at the beginning of January, that has helped a, f a little bit, at least, with some of my problems with time flying. So that's nice. 
Like, I seriously would have a problem where, like, I don't know, I would, like, do something and I was like, how did it take 20 or 30 minutes? And it's just craziness. And I still have that to a degree, but um, that is something that it has helped. You play a Finnish teen in the summer while your parents have gone away. Sort of survival based, you have to rebuild an old car, do errands, to earn money for food, car parts, etc. <clears throat> Go to the store, deliver firewood chores, drive on back roads in real time, like 10 real minutes to get to the grocery store in 1995. Whoa, that's interesting. Is that something on Steam or is it somewhere else? If you um, throw a link to that in, I guess, the games channel in Discord. I would be interested in learning more about it. Time blindness. Yeah, it's it's not time blindness. It's lack, for me, it's lack of executive function because I don't really have any. Rural Finland and on Steam. Interesting. Oh. The app with my pattern is updating. Convenient. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe I need to clean this better. Like, the front of the mouthpiece in my water bottle, it smells like... Like... And... It smells like, I don't know how to explain it, like if you had an ashtray that was full of old joints, which is weird. Like, yeah, I smoke weed, but I don't smoke weed like every single day. <laughs> I don't smoke weed enough to have like permanently transferred that smell to my water bottle. I think I just need to clean it better because I cleaned it before stream, but I did like a, a not very thorough job of it. Yeah, because it was like it was getting really gross. So I, I used some bleach, like a bleach and dish water, dish water, like bleach with some dish soap and hot water. And I got the inside, but I didn't scrub. I didn't scrub the lid the way I normally do because I get like down in all these threads and everything. And I did not have the right brush for it. So I'll have to do that tomorrow. Because Yeah, that is a weird, weird, weirdly specific smell. Um, okay, so this round we are single crocheting all the way around. Not single crochet, we're decreasing. Oh dear. Oh dear. And we should have six. We should have six stitches left. Yeah, that happened too. Yeah, that is the one issue with reusable water bottles. Why did I do that? That was stupid. Don't take out that stitch marker. Ow. Actually, do because I need to put it on this loop. Uh, go in. Go in the next one. Then we bring it back through. A snail emotes are so cool. Thank you. Thank you. I wish, um, I don't know. I wish I could take more credit for them. And I wish, I also wish I could come up with something just as awesome that was my own design or a more original design because they are they're not created by me or commissioned by me. They were kind of an open source um, emoji of sorts. Wait, 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 that's not the way we do that. And I'm always scared that the place that created it is gonna like find me and then like sue me or like get angry at me or something. But I don't think that's how their thing works, but I'm an anxious person, so I 
think of these things. I have modified them and made a couple of them, sort of, but but no, they are not my own original design. I found them when I was actually looking for inspiration for snail emotes that someone was trying to design for me. I com was commissioning someone to design the snail emotes for me, but I think, unfortunately, it was just a clash because, like... I felt really bad. This lady makes really cool emotes. She's designed emotes for lots of people that are really nice that I really like. But every design, like thumbnail or idea that she sent me for a snail was awful and was nowhere near what I was going for. And I just felt really bad because I know she was really trying. Ow, come on. Separate these and go through there. And then go through the next one. But yeah, I don't think I could come up with one that was like a different design that could be better in any way because they really nailed it on the colors and everything. Why is there one fucking stitch left over? What the hell? Maybe I messed up at some point and had an extra stitch in the round. I don't know. I will count and find out. So there should be six, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Somehow I have seven. How the fuck did I have seven? No, I don't want to rip out anything. God damn it. Okay, I need to put a stitch marker here, <clears throat> and I need to count again. A spare stitch for when it goes flat. If only that was how it worked. Um, is it getting too late? Um, I don't think so. I don't think that's the issue. Counting in crochet for me is just difficult. Because it's like all these teeny tiny little things and you have to count every single one and when you're crocheting you have to get underneath every single loop and it's very easy to skip one or not pick it up where you're supposed to, especially while chatting with people. Okay, so let me count this. This one should be 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven, eight, nine, and I slipped and I have to restart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And yet there's a thirteen. How the fuck did this happen? Rage. I'll count it again just to be sure, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This is not what I wanted. I will take out this room too. Banisar, good morning. How are you? I was thinking of you the other day because I hadn't seen you in chat recently and I was sad because I enjoy your contributions to the conversations and I know that I've been not streaming as late so that is a consequence of that. Come on, 
Get out of there, you fuck. Mm, okay, so if this one comes out... We mark this one and this one right here. All right, cool. Your visitors from Stockholm. Ah, oh, so your sleep schedule is weird. No worries, no worries. That's interesting. Are your visitors uh, relatives or friends? Nice of you to stop in. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. What the fuck? Guess I'm going to undo yet another round because I have to go back until I get to the part where it's not fucked up. And this might get to the point where I don't actually finish it tonight. A close friend and her lover. It's awesome. We have wine every night. Oh, goodness. That sounds like fun. I like your choice of the term lover. That is interesting. Oh, no, school night. It turns out it's not quite a school night because I checked. I ended up checking the, um, the actual, like, academic calendar. And Tuesday is the first day of the term. So I do not actually have class tomorrow, which is good. It's good to have a point to call it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I mean, originally, I was only streaming until midnight, and here we are. But I don't mind. I don't mind going past a little bit if we're chatting and everyone's enjoying themselves and if I'm just finishing something up like that's completely fine but if it keeps not going the way I need it to go then that's a different story mm. three day weekend sort of eh. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if it's that at this point since school hasn't started, but yes. The sentiment is appreciated. Uh, yeah, it is a bit more than midnight. A bit more than midnight. I'm just, I'm just proud of myself for setting time limits and boundaries because that is a new practice, a new practice for me and... I think overall, in the end, it will have better results all around, but it's just very different at the moment. I don't recall you playing streamers before. Yes. Um, Bayonet, sorry, you would not have, you would not have seen me playing streamers before since you just came in in December. Um, I used to run streamers all the time, and then I just got really annoyed with it because... It would be really annoying to have to stop whatever I was in the middle of every 30 minutes to come and run this thing. Um, so I got annoyed with it and I, I just stopped having it on stream. And then recently I was thinking that I might be nice to bring it back. And so I decided that I'll bring it back um, and I'm fine running it on streams where I'm sitting here at my computer desk working on something. Those I totally don't mind because I'm right here and it's very easy. But if we're doing a stream where I'm at my sewing machine or not directly at this desk, I will not run it for those streams because I don't want to be running back and forth. You have returned with great success. Excellent, Kapul. I'm glad to hear it. What, uh, what were you greatly successful in? Returning or whatever you had to leave and go do? Sounds like a good practice to do. 
I hope it goes well. Thank you. Me too. You're greatly successful at returning. You were, in fact. You were, in fact. Okay, now we have to count this again. I'm trying to figure out where I went wrong with my count. I have one extra stitch that should not be there. So this one we should have, oh uh, fuck, we should have 12 maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I mean, it's entirely possible that the place where I fucked up is uh, when I was doing the decreases. That's a very good and likely place to mess up. Oh, come on. Come on. What? Chi Town, hi. How's it going? Has been a minute. How are you doing? Mm. Okay, gotta be careful with this. So um, that one and this stitch. Wait, not that stitch. This one. That did a great return. What? Also had success in the theme. Alright, let's count again. All of these count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18. So this has 18 and is the right amount. So I messed up in my decreases somewhere. By the way, do you need a rate suggestion? And if so, do you have time and energy to hang around for a few minutes in the rated channel? Um, possibly. Who is your suggestion? I can check it out. I'm happy to check them out and see if it's a place that I would like to raid. Because it might be something that I would want to do a different day, but it also could be something that I would do today. Late night, early morning, mucking about. The early morning sun creation is going. I actually am very close to finishing the body. Um, I just discovered a mistake and had to backtrack a little bit, unfortunately give you a surprise as a reward for rating. Interesting. What kind of reward? What, like, what kind of surprise is it? I don't know if I like surprises. Dark Souls. Jeez, what is this game? Wait, you can get DoorDash in that game? No, this is an ad. God damn it. I was like, that's a weird game. Pleasant surprise. All right. I will keep that in mind. He's an opera singer. Is that the surprise? Does he sing opera for you if you raid him? You're not singing or gaming or singing and gaming at the same time. Huh. That sounds fun. I will keep this in mind. Wearfully, you're back. I didn't realize you had left. I wasn't sure if you left or fell asleep or what happened there. I can spoil that much. Yes, he'll sing for you. All right, all right. This is an, this is interesting. I'm interested. I will. I will keep that tab open. Okay, so I have to repeat the single crochet and decrease. 
thank everybody for sticking with me through this time of trying to finish this thing. I did not want to be up this late, but I am, I am really excited to actually finish part of this project. Uh, this goes here, and then that becomes the first stitch. Oh, come on. You did go to the beach. I see. I see. It was windy as fuck. There was a big old mound of sand in the parking lot. So, did you come back? How far away is the beach? Thanks for those emos, Triton. Good morning, Swizzle. Swiss Forge. Swizzle. Good morning. Ooh, long stream. I know. I was going to stay only till midnight, um, but I'm really close to finishing the body of the snail. So I decided to stay on and finish it. And then I made a mistake and had to undo a lot of it, but, you know, I still am, and I'm still committing to finishing it because I don't have class tomorrow like I thought I did. And and i'm doing it because i feel like in my mind it makes up a little bit for for not having wednesday streams now and since i don't know what i'm doing instead of that yet potentially and maybe probably a daytime stream like on tuesdays or wednesdays one that's a decrease. I'm gonna go ahead and mark my decreases like I did before. This is one single crochet and one decrease. All right. I tricked her into staying, kind of. I did a poll. I put up a poll so we could, people could vote. And the options were if I should go to bed or if I should stay and finish the last seven rounds of making this project. And chat voted that I should finish the last seven rounds. And here we are, because I made a mistake in the stitching. That doesn't seem right. Swiss Forge, how are you today? Path life, yep. I'm really close to finishing the body of the snail. Why do you want that to be a quote? Wearfully, why do you want that to be a quote? That seems strange. It sounds trippy. Are you high though? Did you already roll that fat joint you were talking about? Because that sounds like something that would sound trippy if you're high. One single crochet and then we do another decrease. And this one goes in. And we use the stitch marker, because counting is hard. You're doing good. You went on an hour long drive to drop off a finished commission at the painters and got back. Very nice, very nice. What, uh, what was the item that was commissioned? Um, I'll be honest, um, person who just followed, I do not know how to pronounce your name, but thank you for following. Um, yeah, I'm not even sure where to start with that. If you would like to tell me how to pronounce your name, I would love to know. A little side table, a little metal side table. That sounds interesting. Um, so this was the decrease, and this is the single crochet. 
is it was it like a square table square table or round table Lysella Langa crochet unless the L's are not pronounced like L's in which case I'm really sorry Lysella Langa crochet thank you thank you for following and best friend Lucas speaking of opera singers best friend Lucas thank you for the lurk glad you could make it um uh, one wait that's the single crochet so we're back onto the decrease best friend lucas how are you doing uh, two i like i like when we can trick him into chatting with us i was commissioned by an interior architect so it's round has a bold hammer mark finish all over. Oh, like the like small little like indents all over. That's a really cool look. You start a new job on Tuesday. <gasps> what? What are you going to be doing? That's so exciting. Congratulations. Because you, you were managing a Starbucks. Something like that, right? Last, last I recalled, you were like a manager at a Starbucks, I thought. Good night, Balloon Side Dan. Thanks for being excellent and hanging out so much tonight. And thanks for the nice words. Yes, exactly. Ah, oh, that's such a cool look. What, um, what color is it being painted? You're going to be working for a recruitment firm doing IT recruiting. So like, how does that work? How does recruiting work like that? I don't know how that works at all. So I don't even know questions to ask you about it. <laughs> Finally getting away from the billion dollar soul sucking siren. Proud of you. That's gotta feel really good. Is um, this recruiting job, is that something that you like, I don't know, how does someone even get into that? They're painting it white of all colors. Wow. That's so weird, especially with that hammered styling all over it. I don't think that, I don't know, off the top of my head, I don't feel like that would really bring out, like, I don't feel like that would be an, um, an asset to the design, but I also don't actually know what it looks like, so... Those are cute bunnies. Oh, wait, I'm about to do this wrong again. Yes, I've been working on this snail since October. I took a break for a while, but it's going to be really nice to finish it. That is not the stitch we want. We want this one. Well, after I finish this, I got to do the shell and the eyeballs which the eyeballs might be tricky because i have to adjust a different pattern i'll be talking to employers looking for certain types of employees and then you go find a pool of employees and then basically sell them to the company in more or less where it's getting people hired and making money doing it. Okay, so like headhunters for different industries. I've heard of that, but I just really never understood how that worked. It's an, I don't know, to me it's an interesting concept. Cause like I worked, I've worked through temp agencies in the past. And so I know like temp agencies kind of do that too. So you just do it on a permanent basis instead of a temporary basis, right? Is that kind of like how that would work? I would not have put it white. Let's paint like look. I can't. You would not have painted it white. Put it like this. They wanted a second one in fire black. And hmm. What is a fire black and finish? How does that work? Because that's not paint then. That sounds more interesting. So yes, my my thought of like. Ew, why would you paint that way? Okay, I'm glad I have that. Yeah. Uh, 
so that's the single crochet away to another decrease and this goes in mm -hmm. hype in the chat or something Let's start. And let's do this. And do some of this. And call it good. Where fleet, do you still need me to be doing battle plans or no? Because if you don't really need me to, I won't. But yeah, the like recruiting thing. I don't know. In my head, it's like how temp, temp agencies find employees for companies and then they like rent them to the company. And then, so yours is like that, but you're just, they pay you a fee for finding that employee for them. So that's kind of cool. Your voice is very quiet in the stream. You're saying, yeah, everyone keeps saying that. I haven't, um, I also don't have proper alerts showing up on that screen, so I need to go in and fix it since I just added stream readers back like last stream before this one. So I haven't uh, checked that it matches everything else. Really like all my scenes need a revamp, but who's got the time? Not me. So that's the single, this will be the decrease. Go that way. And then there is a single crochet. And now I will count to make sure that I have the right number of stitches this time. I just hope everything works whenever I stream. Pretty much, pretty much. And I, forgive me if I'm way off in misremembering, but Swiss, were you, were you able to be there at the movie night last night or was that only last week? Because tired right now and I don't actually remember because I know one you said you were there but then last week we rescheduled it and I know were you the person did you leave because it was like choppy and stuff and it wasn't working on your end I know a couple people have that but I want to say you were one of them but time time is hard and my brain is tired right now Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, oh dear, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. These, I mean, these look kind of incorrect, but maybe they are right. That's a decrease. That looks like a decrease, I guess. Hey, I'll look at now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. I have twelve. Oh, geez. Oh, goodness. Um, hi, hello, hi, welcome, raiders. <laughs> uh, you were there. Uh, I was so stutter you couldn't follow. Oh no. Senecia, is it Senecia or Senecia? Thank you so much for the raid. Thank you so much for that. Welcome in, everybody. Darker Strange, hello, hello. How are you tonight? 
Sanisha. Is it Sanisha or Sanisia? Thank you for the follow. That Pepsi hype is really fun. Anna is late. Welcome in. I'm always late for everything. We are friends of Ever Katrina. Yes. I love I love Ever Katrina dearly. Dearly. She is like one of my most favorite streamers and she is a fantastic friend of the stream. I said it correctly. Which one is it? Is it Sinesha or Sinesia? Like an S sound or an SH? She is the bestest. She is. She is. I wish I was like half as awesome as she is. S sound. So Sinesia. I got it. I got it. Sinesia. With an S sound. Excellent. Leia. Like cinema. Yep, yep. I just wanted to check because I offered two pronunciations and you said, yes, it was right. So I had to clarify. I appreciate that. What were you doing on your stream tonight? And yeah, what were you, what were you up to? I hope your stream was excellent. Um, for those who may not know me, I'm Snow Peep. I do all sorts of different things, but Makers and Crafting is my home. And tonight we are working on finishing the body of the crochet snail that you see in the picture on the screen. Um, I'm making it green to match my emotes. And we're very close to finishing the body. Anna is late. Thank you so much for following. I really, really appreciate that. That snail is adorable. Thank you. That's so nice of you to say. I have one, two, I have four rounds left to close up the butt. I was supposed to be my stream. I was supposed to end my stream at midnight. That was my goal. And then chat persuaded me to stay and finish the last seven rows or seven rounds. So that's what I've been doing. And then I made a mistake and had to undo three or four rounds and you know how it goes, it's just always like that, but we uh, we do lots of different things here, and it's it's a wild fucking ride. It really is. Shit gets real weird here, but we always keep it real and keep it chill. Okay, so this is one row of single crochet all the way around. Can't wait to see the final version. Thank you so much. And a gem. Or her or them, I don't assume. Yeah. We'll get there. I don't even I don't even know if the snail has a gender. Like. Maybe this snail is one of those cool, like. One of those cool organisms that has like all the parts and can just it's like all the all the sexes. Why not? Uh, oh, so you were crocheting. It's one thing I would really love to learn, but never got to. There's always time. There's always time. I taught myself to crochet last year because I just, like, I knew, I knew lots of people on stream, from streaming. I knew lots of people from streaming who do that, who crochet, and they make it look super easy. And then I taught myself how to do it from YouTube videos and some things like that. And it felt like it was cheating because it was really easy. <laughs> knitting, knitting is a lot more, excuse me, knitting is a lot more difficult. I'm not good at knitting at all. Uh, Sanisia, what were you working on on your stream tonight? Go in and around and through. It's gonna be two rounds of this, which is not bad. It's pretty simple and straightforward. Yeah, no, this way. And, and I, I don't know. I wonder if I'm gonna end up putting more stuffing in this because I, I stuffed it, but then I had to take some out and it looks like it got pushed down more.
It's way past my bedtime, so I always leave. Thank you, uh, Dark or Strange. Thanks for leaving a lurk. I really, really do appreciate that. And thanks for coming in on that raid. I hope we'll see you very soon. You were playing Cyberpunk. I see. Maybe more crafting streams. Haven't done one in a while. Sure. Whatever, whatever makes you happy. I was meant to check out your page. Let me pull that up. We mostly do embroidery on the stream, especially machine embroidery. Oh, nice. I, I enjoy some machine embroidery myself. Oh, you're streaming lots of categories. Two spooky ghosties. <laughs> Come for the terrible jokes and lots of gay puns. Stay for the deep and cozy convos. Oh, I like that. That sounds nice. Just skimming and reading stuff. Um, are you saying embroidery is the thing you usually do each stream? Or are you saying if you, whenever you do have crafting streams, that's the thing you end up doing. Uh, triple with the camera set up for machine and birdie, which is why you've been avoiding them. Um, what, um, what kind of camera issues do you have with that? For mine, um, my sewing machine is combination, so it does sewing and embroidery. I do not have an embroidery only machine. Um, and the problem that I run into is that the camera that I'll have pointed at it to watch the embroidery machine, it will, um, the light, the light on my sewing machine is very bright and it ends up, um, it ends up like, what is the word? Like washing out the image so like it's too bright and you can't really see what's happening and really the answer is that I need another lamp over in on that desk but I just haven't uh, gotten one yet whenever you do a crafting stream it's been embroidery and tinkering I wonder if we have the same machine because same well what kind of machine do you have Mine is a baby lock machine. Um, I have a baby lock accord. Um, but yeah, I think it's a matter of like, just the lights are all LEDs these days and they're just incredibly bright, which is great when you're sewing, but when you want to show it on a camera, it's difficult. I wonder, um, I wonder if there's a, I wonder if there's a way to turn off the light in your machine's menu. I don't, I haven't found one in mine, so probably not, but I know, yeah, I know for mine, I need to like get another lamp over in that area of the room because it's very dark. And so the light ends up getting out of balance because it has to overcompensate. And, uh, what was I going to say? I just went completely big. Oh, the other thing you could do instead of getting another light in that area is, um, go into the settings for the camera that you have pointed at it and mess with, like, adjust the brightness and that stuff to see if you can get it to calm down and show more the way you would like it to. Baby lock sounds like a dance. Do the baby lock or are you thinking like pop lock and drop it? Trouble setting the right camera angle that shows the whole process. Yeah, because the light's too bright. When it's embroidering, it's too shaky. So it pushes the camera off the table. Oh, okay. Um, that is... Yeah, that would be a problem for sure. You might consider putting some kind of padding under your sewing machine to help absorb all that vibration. 
and you might consider putting your camera on a tripod next to the table. Baby, lock and drop it. Maybe. Maybe. Um, brother machines are similar to baby lock. They have similar user interfaces and there's some, some close similarities to the machines, but they are, they are different brands and some things are different. Okay. So this is the second one. Now we're on to the round of just decreasing all around. That's, um, that was a sewing project we did not too long ago on stream. Actually, we made a padding, we made a, a pad to go underneath my sewing machine to help reduce the vibrations during embroidery and such. It was a fun project. I enjoyed that. It was pretty straightforward and easy enough to complete. Air and head out. Um... Uh, Beetle Bat Studio, thanks for hanging out. Um, it was lovely to meet you and get to know you a little bit. I hope I hope we will see more of you um, since you are a neighbor. Um, that's a lot of fun. Have a wonderful rest of your night and a good sleep and all that. I will. Um, I'm gonna try to make a weekday stream this week maybe but otherwise i will be back on friday normally i would stream on wednesday nights but school is making that not possible so i'm adjusting my stream schedule this week that sounds like a really bad description of childbirth wow, wow. it's just so funny as i always see crafting streams and yours is such an aesthetic always Pretty, and whenever we try and stream crafts, it's just meh. Well, I mean, no one's ever good at. Well, I take the back. I was gonna say no one's ever good at something they've only done once, which is false because there's plenty of people who are just amazing at everything they try. But I am not one of those people. Um, but I have had time to improve it and get better at things. It hasn't always looked like this. It's taken a lot of work and time. And Katrina, I think Katrina is not a good example either because her partner literally does set design as his job. <laughs> so she's incredibly lucky that she has free access to that. <laughs> I would love that, but that is just not possible. So it's not, it's not always as simple as all that. <clears throat> All right, that's one decrease. That's true. That's why I love crafting community. We're always super supportive. Yeah, the makers and crafting community of Twitch is... It's a truly lovely spot on the internet for the most part. It's... It's an incredibly small community that is very, I would say, pretty close-knit. And I pun not intended, but, like, it's a very small community. Everybody knows everybody. But that's why it's even more important for everyone to be supportive and be kind to each other. Because, yuck, can you imagine if, like, Makers and Crafting, if everyone was like, Ah, fuck that guy, he's my competition, blah, blah, blah. Yuck, but I love that it is not the case. All right, how many more? This is, it gets, it gets really difficult at some point when you have to, <laughs> you have to keep finding stitches and you can't even see them because it's gotten so small. That's three. <laughs> There's no escaping us. We're like a happy cult. 
I guess so. I guess so. Sometimes it is, I don't know, for me, sometimes it's really awkward because of like how close the whole community is, but I think it's probably just a me issue because, well, I'm really fucking awkward and I overthink everything. <laughs> Go back through all of these. We broke a thread, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, we had decrease all around. We have one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we have to do one more decrease. How? I'm not sure, but we'll figure it out. One and two. Oh, maybe that just works out because there's two. Yes, that's exactly how it works. Oh my gosh, Banisar. What an explosion. Let me take a look. Let me get this sorted. No, stay on the crochet hook yarn. All right. Your friend finally woke up, so now you get to entertain. <laughs> that is how it be with hosting. Have a great day, Banister. Thank you for stopping in. It was lovely to see you. Enjoy your guests. Also, the sewing community especially. Everyone has a love-hate relationship with sewing. Mm -hmm. There's a nice unspoken understanding between everybody, and everybody's super helpful. Yeah, I think, I mean, yeah, I think that really is true. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Whoa. We have this one. And now we single crochet all the way around. This is the last round. We have six stitches to finish the whole fucking thing. Very, very excited. All right. One. Two, wait, no. Mm, two, 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 two. Three. Mm, four, four. Five, five, wait, yeah, five, five, mm. and six, yay. The last stitch is in. Um, I just need to double check how to fasten that off and finish it off. Um, how do you fasten off crochet and weave in your ends? Let's double check that I don't fuck it up. So, wait. We have a loop left. Cut the tail, wrap the yarn around the hook, and pull it through. It says to leave a very long tail. It says, fasten off and leave a very long tail for sewing the body to the shell later. But it doesn't say how long of a tail to leave. It was the final countdown. Thanks for all the support, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. I just, I guess I will leave a whole fucking bunch of it because we've got the yarn to spare. Might as well. Um, so, 
you wrap the yarn around the crochet hook and pull it through the loop. Let me take out the stitch marker. Three feet, I mean, however much this is, hopefully. Round the hook and pull it through the tail. Pull it through the loop, I mean. And then you tuck it in, pull the tail tight to tighten it up. It creates a nice knot that the yarn cannot unravel. And then, oh, they're just, they just weave it in a little bit. I'll weave it in a little bit, but I'm not gonna do too much. The instructions for the pattern say to sew this hole closed, but I don't know if I'm gonna do all that. Cause pulling this tail through every time that will get very old very quickly. I just want to weave it around a little bit to make it strong, as strong as possible. It is, um, Senecia, it's funny. I just was thinking like you, it, it looks like you usually stream video games and then you do crafts sometimes. And it's kind of funny um, that you came in through way of Abra Katrina, um, but there was another streamer who I found one random day where she was doing something in Makers and Crafting, and um, she normally plays video games, and I happened to meet her the day that she did a crafting thing, and then she does that once in a while, but it's not her main thing. It's just interesting to randomly encounter that, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. Okay, so I don't know how to ensure that doesn't unravel, but it's fine. It's fine. Let me figure out a way to keep this yarn from getting tangled. That will be interesting. Maybe I should like get a, a piece of cardstock and I'll wrap it around that to make sure it stays so it doesn't get all tangled up. The last thing I want is a huge knot of all of this. Now here's the end. Here we go. I will even take it just to make sure we don't get ourselves in trouble. Do, do, do. This works out well for timing with the stream readers battle and everything. Capuli, uh, Capuli, are you still around or maybe he's doing work? I don't know. I guess I'll find a way to clip that or something, but you are okay. Because we will we will be raiding soon. Uh, you definitely inspired me to do more crafting. It was mostly the space that was standing between me and streaming. But now I think I should just do it. Uh, yeah, just go for it. Just do it. And if it's not perfect, that's okay. Nobody's stuff is ever perfect. And it's just you versus yourself, really. The body! The body! Behold! Ta-da! It's that thus spoke Zarathustra, that thing. I can't talk right now. So 
since you already do a lot of embroidery off stream yeah just go for it just go for it looks only slightly phallic listen okay y'all are obsessed like i'm just gonna need everybody take it over their um what is the word i'm thinking of their Oedipal complex or whatever, their Oedipal obsession, something like that. Let's run this shit. What is this thing? Is it a lot? Not so much. Uh, we'll take... Uh... A whole bunch of us and not a lot of them so let's just do that i guess i can pick up these stitch markers oh my gosh i feel i feel a bit silly now that it took me so long to finish the whole thing the body um because like I've only worked on it for two sessions and we finished it. Like, it should have been very quick. And yet it took me months. But hey, being, stu being super stressed and also super depressed will, you know, make a mountain out of a molehill. So. So this is exciting. Yay, we won! Hype in the chat! Um, kidding aside, it looks really good. Very consistent density. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, I was kind of concerned because of how it had me add stuffing as I went along instead of adding stuffing at the end. So... I am glad that it worked out okay. I just hope I didn't overstuff it. That would be bad. You're heading out. Super tired. Oh, for sure, for sure. Uh, Sanisha, thank you so much for reading. It was so fun to get to know you, and um, I really enjoyed chatting with you. So I hope we'll see you again. Take care and sleep well. What? By the way, I still didn't get the post package. Kapuli, what are you talking about? Bakos. Bakos Deloing. Thanks for stomping in, friend. But today we have a bit of snowstorm. Oh, the package you were deliberating the other day. Right, right, right. You had to go to the post office to pick it up. And you, there was something else you needed to do at the same time. And I don't remember what that was. Yes, the post, the package that's been at the post office for a week now. I remembered, I remembered, it just took me a second. Um, yeah, that is the last Stream Raiders battle. We are not finishing that map tonight. All right. Let's, let's do the thing. I'm ready to raid and to go do all of that and go the fuck to sleep because this is way past my bedtime. I'm very tired. All right, we are raiding this streamer that Kapuli suggested. And yeah, we are going to be in Discord in the meantime. As always, anyone's welcome to join us there. We just ask that you set your pronouns in the pronoun channel. Um, I will keep people updated in Discord and on Instagram about when my next stream is. We will have a stream Friday evening. Um, I don't know if I will be able to work out something midweek or not. We shall see. But I will mention it in Discord or whatever when I do. So thanks for everybody for hanging out. Kapuli, come with for that raid since you suggested it. Mm. 
Good night, Lucas. Congratulations on your job. You should post in rants and raves in Discord about your new job so that everyone can be excited for you and congratulate you. And you can reap that sweet karma. You're super welcome, Swiss. Thanks for hanging out. Um, yeah, thanks everybody. Y'all are real nice. I like you a lot. Let's go see this person who's gonna sing opera to us. Come along for the raid for the opera. Okay, bye. Uh, where? Here, here's the right screen. Of wizardry and witchcraft and magic needed snow peak. 